<clears throat> and there it is right there. Uh, 24 hours is a long time in politics. No, just three, four hours is a long time in politics. Even three, four minutes is a long time in politics. Roll up, roll up, ladies and gentlemen. One man went to mo. Uh, we're doing it again. Yes, we are. Of course, we are doing it again. You know we're doing it again. And you know when we do it. So we're doing it exactly right now. So if you're available, partake of your uh, partake of uh, what is going on on, on here. Uh, the session has commenced and your company is required. That thing that happens around about this time happening exactly at this time. So gather, let's uh, happen together. One man went to mo. The eagle has landed. Another savior. Holy, 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 Adimebujuku. Another savior. Another savior. Holy, 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 Adimebujuku. Well, this is Mobier. This is dedicated to the gallant heroes of the Nigerian Biafra War and IPM families all over the world. I remember the Nigerian Biafran war mm, in the thickness of the Biafra genocide. Hey, one man revived the vanishing hope to life. Ah, let the great Biafra army the fight. And they were singing out. Holy, 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 holy. victory mm, in 
And there it is right there, the Dorset tones of the farmyard singers from the eastern part of Nigeria. Holy, holy, they sing. Holy, holy. So, holy, holy, as guys, I bring you this. Um, uh, Ex-PDP presidential aspirant Peter Obi joined Labour Party. So, uh, somewhat predicted by a lot of people, led, of course, by x Zero, that this was uh, likely the scenario that will... Uh, player for Peter B. So how hard the mighty fall in is really what you have to conclude. So somebody that straddled the topmost of the most important places in Nigerian politics is now in some satellite backwater, uh, just a dusty uh, uh, party where he would now be that uh, big fish in a little pond. So from a uh, um, not a little fish in a big pond, but a medium sized fish in a big pond. So he has now gone to become a big fish in a little pond. Big fish in a little pond, uh, ex-PDP presidential aspirant, Peter B joins Labour Party. So uh, th there it is right there, and that is how it has played out uh, for, for this uh, chop. Uh, so that's how it has played out for this chop. But now, uh, what is even in play is the question. The Nigerian, uh, this has to be yet the worst run election that we have ever had, even going to surpass uh, 2019 in just uh, just the cock handedness and the amateurish way that matters are being handled. Right from party to the umpire, breaking 2023 elections, uh, electoral body INEC extends deadline for party primaries by six days. So, this comes as no surprise, of course. This is an instruction from Malam Buhari to Mahmoud Yakubu to extend it because he has not yet perfected his plan uh, uh, as to what he wants to play out uh, against the Yorubas within the uh, uh, APC. The uh, INEC assured us that that date is set in stone. So whether the parties are prepared or not, that's their tough luck because they've set a deadline and they've had the entirety of a good six, eight months to calibrate towards that deadline. But when the uh, APC are not screening their, their, their presidential candidates, and in the, in the time that their primary should hold, Buhari junkets off to Equatorial Guinea to go and attend some obscure seminar, that tells you already that there was something in the works. So he knew something that nobody knew, and this that he knows now, public knowledge, the instruction, of course, that he gave to Mahmoud Yakubu, he dutifully carries it out. 2023 elections, electoral body INEC extends deadline for party primaries by six days. So quite how they justify that, we'll find out. They will tell us blah, 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 and goo, -doo, and goo, 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 goo. Blah, 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 goo, 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 and instruction from daddy. So daddy continues to instruct. Ad Buhari directs Adamu to prune APC presidential aspirants that down to 10 to name successor afterwards. So th that's it now. So a field of 80 of 28. So uh, uh, Adamu now directed to cut it down to 10. So who makes that list of 10? And what happens to the people who don't make that list? And what happens to their 100 million naira? All of that in play, Buhari directs Adamo to prune APC presidential aspirants to 10 to name successor afterwards. So enough already. Just finish it one way or the other because it's getting somewhat rather tedious. Maybe it just wants to wear us down with attrition, but more likely just the low wit of the guy who has an intention but does not have the cranial functioning to carry it out. Enam Dekano's family writes to Simon Epa wants Finland-based disciple to desist from using IPOB leader's name for material gains and broadcast. So, so once upon a time, self-style Simon uh, uh, Nandikanu disciple, but how can you follow somebody who does not want you behind him? Get away from my back, uh, be gone with you, you know, depart all Satan and all that. Nandikanu's family writes Simon Ipa wants Finland-based disciple to desist from using IPOB leader's name for material gains and broadcast. 
So quite what uh, comes off the back of that, we find out shortly. This we find, I might abandon a lot of headlines because a few headlines have come in. The, the first three headlines I've just read you now, they've come in as, uh, well, three of the four headlines I've read, read to you. They've come in after I had put out the thumbnail for this uh, session. So there's just too many headlines on my screen. So I might abandon quite a few of them. Uh, Supreme Court dismisses Amity's appeal to stop uh, 96 billion Naira fraud probe by Wiki. So, of course, it's widely known that um, um, Rotimi Amity looted the treasury of River State to cascade it into Buhari's uh, uh, campaign, which was then what funded that uh, proportion of Buhari to the Aso Rock seat in 2015. I want, I want my money back, says the uh, tough-talking little man from River State. Supreme Court dismisses Amethi's appeal to stop 96 billion Naira fraud probe by uh, WK. So quite what plays out there and why this has taken this long, all of that we'll find out shortly. So this now next headline, a moment in time. This is a historic moment for the Nigerian uh, evolution. Senator Aisha Tu beats Ribadu, ex-governor, to win APC Adamawa Guba ticket. So this is the first time, to my recollection, and I think I can fairly say that with some confidence, that this is the first time that a female is carrying a, a, a real a senior most uh, ticket within the Nigerian space, a gubernatorial ticket, which is just a step from a presidential ticket. Because where do you go from a state house rather uh, other than to a Rock uh, Villa? So now she now puts it to the test then, the female underrepresentation that we've always uh, clamored about, that we want more female representation. She hearkens to that call. Senator Aishatu beats Ribadu, ex-governor, to win APC Adamawa Guba ticket. So quite what played out there, we find out uh, shortly. Uh, let me see which other headlines are. Uh, I should bring you. Okay, this one was advertised, so I must bring you this. Our 2023 presidency, Peter Obi unstable. We have withdrawn our support group. So it looks as though Nigerian Nigerians now are just beating a hasty retreat from that uh, wiki narrative, uh, from that rather uh, Peter Obi narrative. So uh, he's been abandoned right, left, and center uh, as he desperately searches for where to park his ambition and it's landed it now at our Labour Party of all places. He courted heavily, of course. Um, he courted heavily, of course, the uh, NMPP, but uh, but uh, Kwakwanso, uh, we did say in an earlier session that uh, uh, hell will freeze over before Kwakwanso uh, cedes his seat to some guy from uh, Anambra State. So get lost. You can be my bag carrier, essentially, what Akwakwanso said to him. And did that did not satiate his ambition, which has now gone to park in a, in a Labour Party of all places. Enough of the nonsense, says uh, Nigerians. Uh, Peter will be unstable. We have withdrawn our support uh, group. So who that group is and who they represent, we find out shortly. Supreme Court orders uh, Dakuku, Peter side to pay 6 billion Naira damages for accusing Odili of bribing judges. So this is a peculiar, uh, just a satellite storyline that just comes from the ethers. So quite what is in play there, we find that out shortly. So all of that in play, super chat from Alexander, who insists that it is the landers, it is the lander that has landed, not the eagle. So he wants me to pivot that uh, uh, catchphrase to uh, the lander has landed. So just for today and for the benefit of uh, Alexander Superchart, one man went to mow, the lander has landed. The lander has landed. The usual accoutrements, as you are coming in, please click on the like button. You yourself will be seeing the impact. We're just growing exponentially, just off the back of your thumbs up. So the most important thing that you can do to support the platform is to click on the like button. That's just the most important thing. Two most important things that you can, if you spend your time here regularly, there's no reason why you should not be subscribed. Even if you're offended by the narrative, it engages you in some form that you spend hours on end here 
and there's an effort being put in to engage you in this manner. So to acknowledge that effort is it, at no financial cost. I do not see why, you, why, why it's such a chore for anybody to click on the subscribe button. So please do that immediately and right now. Click on the like button as well because that propels the YouTube algorithm and we are seeing the results. So click on the like button and the subscribe button as a matter of must. You must click on those buttons. So the next button then, which is the, uh, the, the invitation to come and join me on screen, is this hyperlink that I'm posting in the comment section now. So you can click on that hyperlink at your discretion. That is not compulsory. If you feel like coming on the screen, to have a conversation with me around the talking points after I've read them out, click on that uh, link that says StreamYard, then that brings you into a studio space. And as soon as I've finished reading out the talking points, then I'll let you onto the screen and have a conversation with you around the talking points. It's an open microphone session, and the open microphone is the hyperlink that says StreamYard. So as you set about clicking on the like and subscribe and making the decision if you want to come on the screen or not, let me provide you with a little bit of a, a liquid nourishment. Your calabash to the ready as we join the guys. And there it is right there. May death have nothing to do with us. Potent, powerful prayer uh, by the, uh, pardon me, potent, powerful prayer uh, by the care guides. So potent, powerful prayer by the care guides. Iku Koneri Wagweche, as guys, I bring you this. Ex-PDP presidential aspirant, Peter B joins Labour Party. Former governor of Anambra State and erstwhile presidential aspirant on the path platform, um, former governor of Anambra State and erstwhile presidential aspirant on the platform of the People's Democratic Party PDP, Peter B has formally joined the Labour Party to contest the 2023 presidential election. Correspondents gathered that Obi registered as a member of the party on Friday in his word in Anambra State. He is expected to contest the party's presidential primary election next Tuesday. Correspondents had on Wednesday reported that Obi was planning to dump the PDP for Labour Party. He is living for the Labour Party a source had told correspondents. The results of various primaries of the party conducted so far have shown who most of these delegates are loyal to, the source has said. So he, Obi, 
is under pressure to leave the PDP for the money bags. We are currently looking to find another party to accept him. Obi had resigned his membership of the PDP today, two days before its presidential primaries. He said his resignation was because of the recent developments in the opposition party. In a letter dated May the 24th, 2022, and addressed to the national chairman of the PDP, EU Chair Ayu, Obi said he had already informed the chairman of the PDP chapter in his Agulu World 2 in Anambra State. I am writing to intimate you of my resignation from the PDP, which was, which was conveyed to the chairman of Agulu World 2, Anacho, Anocha, local government area, effective Friday, May the 20th, 2022. Consequently, I am writing this letter informing you of my withdrawal from the PDP presidential primary. It has been a great honor to contribute to nation building efforts through our party. Unfortunately, recent developments within our party make it practically impossible to continue participating and making such cons constructive contribution, Obi said in the letter. So there it is right there, Labour Party. This is where he has sparked his ambition. So when will that ambition be fulfilled though? Uh, uh, the primary is still in confusion. Breaking 2023 election, electoral body INEC extends deadline for party primaries by six days. In the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has shifted the deadline for political parties to conduct their primaries for the 2023 general elections by six days. It was announced by INEC's National Commissioner and Chairman of Information and Voter Education Committee, Festus Okoye, on Friday in Abuja, few hours after stakeholders from various political parties met with the leadership of the electoral umpire led by INEC chairman Professor Mahmoud Yakubu at the commission's headquarters in the nation's capital. The politicians through the platform of the Inter-Party Advisory Council had again appealed to INEC to adjust the timetable for the forthcoming polls. The chairman of IPAC, Sani Yabig Yab Yabagi, of the the chairman of IPAC, Sani Yabagi, of the Action Democratic Party, explained that adjusting the timetable of the election became necessary because of the current timetable, which he said was too tight for political parties. In response to the appeal, INEC explained that the demand for a 37 to 60 day extension of the deadline for primaries and the nomination of candidates could not be granted because it would affect other scheduled activities on the timetable, the statement reads in part. The commission has decided to allow the request of political parties. Uh, the, commission has the, the commission has decided to allow the request of the political parties since the six day period does not conflict with the next scheduled activity, which is the submission of the list of, nominate, of nominated candidates and any of the subsequent timelines which remain sacrosanct. Well, you tell us the timelines remain sacrosanct, but this timeline that you've shifted also was sacrosanct according to you once upon a time. The statement reads in part, the commission has decided, has decided to allow the request of the political parties since the six day period does not conflict with the next scheduled activity, which is the submission of the list of nominated candidates or any of the subsequent timelines which remain sacrosanct. However, this request is granted in respect of outstanding primaries only without prejudice to those already concluded by political parties. The commission will not monitor already concluded primaries. So, so there it is right there. What that quite means, I don't know. Uh, so let's just look at the dates. So they are meant to submit their, they are meant to submit their, um, their, their, their names by the 3rd of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of June. 
and they are telling us that that data has not changed. So quite what extension has been granted, I'm not quite clear. So if anybody is any clearer on what is going on, you may want to explain, but Buhari plays his hand again. Let's just reread that, uh, uh, that statement. The statement is in part, the commission has decided the commission has decided to allow the request of the political parties since the six-day period does not conflict with the next scheduled activity, which is the submission of the list of nominated candidates or any of the subsequent timelines which remain sacrosanct. So we might have to check INEC our uh, timeline. Uh, uh, let, let me just uh, check that quickly. Uh, INEC uh, timeline for 2023 Nigerian election. So let's see if we can, we're able to dig that up. Um, or, 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 so, so we dig that up just to, to just to see if they've actually set a bar. Uh, what was the timeline? Uh, pardon me. Oh, 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 all right. I'll post this link in the comment section if anybody can dig this up uh, whilst whilst I continue with the reading. So let me post this link in the comment section if anybody wants to have a go at digging up just exactly uh, what uh, what change there's been uh, in the process. So from from that we go on to to this. Um, Buhari directs Adamu to prune APC presidential aspirants to ten. To name, to name successor afterwards. President Mohamed Buhari has directed the national chairman of the All Progressive Congress APC, Abdullahi Adamu, to work with governors of the party and shortlist 10 presidential aspirants from which he will pick one as his preferred successor. Correspondents report exclusively that the president issued the directive to Adamo on Thursday before he departed for Malabo to attend African Union Extraordinary Summit, a source with knowledge of the development said Friday, asking not to be identified. The source further said that President Buhari gave Adamo approval to begin the screening of the aspirants, although it is uncertain whether the process has commenced as of Friday night even as the party's timeline for its primary seats slated for Sunday and Monday may be adjusted, following INEC's readiness to approve a seven-day extension to political parties to conclude their primaries. It, it, uh, <clears throat> it now appears the president is now ready to formally make his preferred successor known to the governors and party leaders, and this should happen after they have selected 10 aspirants for him to choose from. So he's allowing the leaders to narrow the aspirants to 10 from about 23 aspirants that bought the nomination forms, and then he will pick his successor from that group of aspirants. This way, no one will say he's imposing a candidate on the party. So it is a win-win for everyone, the authoritative source said. Some of the contenders in the APC are Vice President Jemi Oshibanjo, former Governor of Lagos State Bola Tenobu, ex-Minister of Transportation Rotimi Amechi, former Minister of Niger Delta, Goswila Pabio. Others are Cross River State Ben Ayade, Devu Mahi, uh, Kayo Defayemi, uh, Emeka Nwajuabi, and Senator Ken Namani. Uh, Yaya Yahaya Belo, Mohamed Badaru, uh, Sani Ahmed Yerima, uh, uh, um, Ibonaya Onu, uh, Rocha Sokorocha. <laughs> is Rocha Sokorocha still on the list? Is the question. Rocha Sokorocha and uh, Ibukule Amosun. The party has said it will screen all aspirants that obtained its nomination forms. Its National Organization Secretary Suleiman Gungu, who made this known, said, as far as the party is concerned, all the 28 aspirants that paid and picked up the forms for the nomination as presidential aspirants, nobody has formally written us that he has withdrawn his aspiration. 
all the forms of the 28 will be taken to the screening committee at Transcorp Hilton Hotel. So there it is right there. So uh, but quite when that screening will take place, we don't know as um, INEC throws a spanner in the works. So this is what goes on in Nigeria. They are just, they've not even perfected their rigging. This is just symptomic. This is a, uh, this little cameo is, uh, is just, uh, it exemplifies the administration that we've just been through. Even the simple act of rigging an election is somewhat convoluted and tedious for them. Um, uh, Nandi Kano's family writes to Simon Epa, once Finland-based disciple to desist from using IPOB leader's name for material gains and broadcast. The family of Nandi Kano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB, has formally written to Simon Epa, a self-proclaimed disciple, to stop using the name of the agitator for material gains. In a letter addressed to Epa by Magnus Johnson, the family said the Finland-based Nigerian should not mention Kano's name nor use the agitator's image in any office broadcast. The letter dated May the 17th warned Epa to stop describe de describing himself as a disciple of Kano and should stop disguising as a member of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB. It also won't equal to stop defamatory publications against members of the Kano family and ensure such does not occur in any of his broadcast. The Kano family warned that Equa's failure to comply with the demands will attract costly legal actions, including petitions and criminal complaint against him to the Finnish authorities. The family also threatened to institute injunctive claims against Ipa for civil injuries. The letter reads, the Kanu family, both in Nigeria and in diaspora, has retained undersigned to formally demand from you as follows, that you should forthwith cease and desist from using the name and image of Marcy Nandekanu either in your broadcast or otherwise, for any material gain whatsoever, including fundraising. You should forthwith cease and desist from addressing yourself as a disciple of Marcin Nandikano, either in the guise of you being a member of IPOB, which we are informed you are not, or in any other manner relating to the Biafran agitation, that you should forthwith cease and desist from any further defamatory publications against any member of the Kano family, whether such publications are personally uttered by you or by others that you invite to your social media networks, that you are hereby given 14 days from the confirmed receipt of this legal mail within which to comply with the demands in this letter. <clears throat> At your failure or refusal to comply with the demands herein will result will result in costly legal actions against you, including but not limited to the following: a direct criminal complaint against you to Finnish authorities and or to any European country in which you are encountered. Two tortures and injunctive claims against you for the civil injuries enumerated above. C, petitions against you to the Finnish authorities that regulate legal practice such as you are currently applying in Finland. Finally, you are hereby warned that this legal mail constitutes a pre-action notice that no further formal warning will be forthcoming to you before our commencement of the foregoing legal actions against you. Thank you for your anticipated cooperation in regards to the content of this legal mail. So there it is right there. Uh, the battle has commenced. We've always pre predicted that it will come to a point where Simon Ipa, Ipa will become so big that he will collide with the Nandikano space. And just as we said, this is it now. So that collision has now taken place. So the decision Simon Ipa has to make now is, has he built up enough of a following 
to break away uh, uh, on its own and form a ri rival ag agitation group to rival the Kano space. We did say that this guy was not coming to uh, take part. He was coming to take over. And he has now emboldened and recruited enough of a followership uh, for him now to have a go at uh, taking over. So this is and desist now, not to use Kano's name, not to refer to himself as Kano's disciple, not to make material gain. So all those uh, social media coins that he's collecting, that stops, but, or does he? So does he then take this on board? But we don't expect him to take this on board. We expect him to leverage this letter to promote himself even more and act even more aggressively. He's based in Finland, and he will think that what can they do to reach him? So how that space plays out, we'll find out in due course. So from that to this, Supreme Court dismisses Amechi's appeal to stop 96 billion naira fraud probe by WK. The Supreme Court has dismissed an appeal by Minister of Transportation Rotimi Amechi to stop a 96 billion naira fraud probe by the River State Government in a lead judgment prepared by Justice Emmanuel Uwagi, uh, but read by Justice Adamu Diaro, the Apex Court dismissed Amechi's appeal on grounds he cannot claim, not, uh, uh, let's do that again. In a lead judgment prepared by Justice Emmanuel Ugi, but read by Justice Adamu Diaro, the Apex Court, dis the Apex Court dismissed Mr. Kano's appeal on grounds he cannot claim not being given fair hearing as no one is on trial. The court also ordered Mr. Kano to pay the sum of one million naira to River State Governor Jensen Wike as cost. Mr. Kano, represented by Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Latif Fagwemi, had asked that the Apex Court restrict Mr. Wike from scrutinizing his eight-year term as Governor of the state as it was aimed at witch hunting and embarrassing him. In 2015, River State had constituted a panel of inquiry into the alleged fraud. Governor BK tasked a seven-man panel headed by Justice George Ome BJ to investigate the lawful or otherwise sales of valuable assets of the state. The Commission of Inquiry submitted its report to Mr. Wike, noting that persons who would have, uh, the Commission of Inquiry submitted its report to Mr. Wike, noting that persons who would have refunded mismanaged funds and others have been identified for immediate prosecution. In light of the Supreme Court ruling, Mr. Wike is expected to appear before the Commission of Inquiry to give an account of how the 96 billion naira was withdrawn from the coffers of the state and how it was spent. The list of, valu the list of valuable assets include Omoku gas turbine, Afam gas turbine, Trans Amadi gas turbine, Eleme gas turbine, Olympia Hotel, and the award of contract for the execution of the monorail project. So this is what is sold uh, to fund Buhari's uh, uh, 20, 2015 presidential thrust. Uh, Amity's suit at the High Court of River State and Court of Appeal had earlier been dismissed, prom prompting him to appeal to the Supreme Court. So of course, uh, that, there, nothing is ever going to come of that because of course, Buhari is a party to that suit. Senator Aishatu beat Ribadu, ex-governor, to win APC Guba ticket. Uh, Senator Aishatu uh, Binani has emerged as the winner of the All Progressive Congress APC governorship primary poll in Adamawa State. She beat five other contenders, all male, to clinch the ticket. The chairman of APC Adamawa State Electoral Committee, Gambo Lawal, announced the result on Friday. According to the presiding officer for the poll, she scored 430 votes to defeat her closest rival and former chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC Nuhu Ribadu, who got 288 votes. 
other contestants in the race were the immediate past governor of the state, uh, Jibrila uh, Bindo, a House of Representatives member, etc., etc. The former governor came third with 103 votes. A further breakdown of the results showed that Nandas, uh, and then it goes on to tell us who the losers are. The primary, which took place at the Lamido Cinema in Yola, the Adamawa State Capital, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Friday's victory makes the senator, who represents Adamawa Central in the upper lawmaking body, the first female governorship aspirant of a major political party in the state. Defeat, so that's, that, it doesn't actually say in Nigeria, but in the state. Uh, defeat also makes her the second female flag bearer of a major party in Nigeria. The other person to have achieved that feat is the late former Minister of Women Affairs, uh, Aisha Al-Hassan, who became the APC governorship flag bearer in Taraba in 2015. So I think uh, Alexander Gomez actually mentioned this in the comments. She, she however, lost to Governor Darius Ishaku. Whilst she challenged Ishaku's victory to the Supreme Court, the former minister lost the case. Senator Binani's win is a major upset and a plus for the women folks in the country. She will be aiming to become the first elected female governor in Nigeria's history. So far, Binani is the first woman to fly the flag of a major political party in the forthcoming election. So blah, 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 and on it goes, but uh, the trust of it. So uh, let me just give you the rest of it. Uh, in our speech after the victory, the 50-year-old commended the committee for the successful conduct of the primary and promised to work with those who contested with her. Some of the agents equally lauded the election committee for the peaceful conduct of the exercise. The other contestants also accepted the result and pledged to work together to ensure APC wins the governorship poll in next uh, year's election. So I, I, I want APC to win everything they ever participated in, but I want that woman to win that seat, just to record that. Um, okay, so what else are we going to? Is that the full? Oh yeah, let's go to this one then. Um, so this is back to Peter B space. And let's see if this is the, so, uh, Okay, so let's go to the Peter B space. Uh, actually, let's go to this space first, and we make Peter B the last readout. Supreme Court orders Dakuku Peter side to pay six billion naira damages for accusing Odili of bribing of bribing judges. The Supreme Court on Friday dismissed the suit by former Director General of the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency Dakuku Peter side, seeking to pardon me, seeking to set aside a 6 billion naira damages awarded against him for, de for defaming the character of Dr. Peter Odili, former governor of River State. In a judgment delivered by Justice Adamu Duro, the appeal court, uh, the appeal by Peter Side was dismissed for want of merit. The apex court upheld the decision of the lower court of the lower court, which imposed a fine of six billion naira against Mr. Peterside to be paid to Mr. Odili as compensation for his defamed character. Mr. Odili, in October 2016, dragged Mr. Peterside to court, demanding six billion naira as damages for character defamation. In the suit, the River State Governor the former River State governor had claimed that Mr. Pisaside, during a press conference in Port Harcourt, defamed him in his allegation that Governor Yemsin Wike's Supreme Court victory was hatched by him. Mr. Pisaside, under the platform of the All Progressive Congress, contested against Mr. Wike of the People's Democratic Party PDP in 2016 election in River State. So there it is right there, just to record that skirmish going on in the creeks. So finally, this final readout, and then we'll come into the room to see who is available. 2023 presidency, Peter Obi uh, on, uh, 2023 presidency, Peter Obi unstable, we have withdrawn our support. 
The political group has said it has withdrawn its support for the 2023 presidential hope. Uh, uh, a political group has said it has withdrawn its support for the 2023 presidential hopeful Peter Obi. The group described the former Anambra state governor as an unstable politician, hence he no longer deserves their support. Correspondents report, correspondents understand that the group was reacting to obese withdrawal from the People's Democratic Party PDP. The presidential aspirant had on Wednesday shocked Nigerians after he announced his withdrawal from the opposition party a few days to the party's presidential primaries. In a statement obtained by correspondents on Friday, a group which identified itself as the Democratic Forum for Justice and Equity said it regrets supporting the candidate. Though Obi is yet to announce his new political move, there are, however, speculations that the presidential hopeful may join the Labour Party to realize its ambition. So that has since happened. It has been also, uh, it has been said also that talks are ongoing with Obi to have him join the, so that, that's, that's already in the past. The pro, uh, so yeah, so that paragraph is to say NMPP, but that's no longer in play. The pro OB group, in a statement issued on Friday through its national coordinator, Malam Isha Ajalite, said it regretted support. The pro OB group, in a statement issued on Friday through its national coordinator, Malam Isha Ajalite, said it regretted supporting the former governor of Anambra State in the first place and has now withdrawn its support. The group noted that it was on the basis of equity and fairness for the Southeast that it initially declared support for B. We have withdrawn our support for Peter B, having realized that he's an unstable politician who has taken his desperation to a selfish level. We made bold to say that we regret ever supporting Peter B in the first place, and we have since shifted our loyalty to a stable politician, the group said, but doesn't state who that stable politician is. So there it is right there. That's the menu. Ajale Koko, I see you. Uh, uh, Tony, I see you. Baba Akure, I see you. And uh, Soli, uh, I see you. So good to have you all, gentlemen. So let me go first then to, let me go first to Ajale Koko if it's ready. Uh, uh, but if you're not ready, let me know. So Ajale Koko, are you there? Yeah, one more. Oh, all right, brilliant. So good to have you, Ajale Koko. So of course, I mean, we could start anywhere because they are just, just uh, impactful news, the totality of it. But let's start then for, by, by INEC shifting uh, their schedule by six days. What are you making of that, uh, Ajale Koko? You said they are shifting it by six days? By six days. I um, mean, uh, that's not bad. I mean, um, the matter of uh, seeing some reason why they have to uh, shift it. Uh, six days is not bad. If they have shifted it like for a month, yes, that uh, will have been suspicious, will have been. Um, um, Will have uh, want to know why are they shifting it for a long period of time? For six days, uh, it's not it's not bad to me. Um, it's not bad at all. One man. So uh, should, 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 should I not be moving to accommodate the uh, parties, or should they stick by what they have laid down as schedules? And the parties then must fit in with the INEC schedules rather than INEC fitting in with the party's lack of our uh, organization? Uh, I, I, I wouldn't agree in totality that this six days is in compliance to, um, uh, or, or rather as a uh, result of uh, pressure from political parties. No, no, it was because uh, that, that's the readout. The parties went to pressure them and they folded. Oh, well, if they agree, you know, to shift it for six days. Uh, six days is not too, it's not too bad for me. I mean, uh, but uh, for your question, I don't think um, they should be 
15 days if not necessary. Uh, I believe that uh, uh, those six days, uh, they have looked at it well uh, and they feel well. Uh, they don't have to be too rigid. They have to uh, be flexible a little bit, accommodate uh, their reason uh, for um, shifting the date. Um, uh, six days is not is not is not too much. It's not too too much because uh, political parties, uh, if uh, all of them are asking for uh, more days, uh, I think um, uh, uh, INEC as an organization that uh, conduct the election uh, should, you know, uh, listen to them and accommodate um, uh, uh, whatever problem they are putting before uh, before it in order oh, to oh, have. Oh, oh. Uh, all right, Ajane Kokasi, we're talking. I, I was actually looking to see uh, how um, these dates conflict with uh, INEX schedule, but it doesn't look as though it does conflict with INEX uh, schedule because uh, we were under the impression that the parties were meant to submit their names, their names of their nomin mm -hmm. nominees on the 3rd of June. But it's actually the tenth of June that they are meant to submit names, but they were meant to have ended primaries by the third of June. So the extension it doesn't conflict with still our next timetable. So okay. I think they had that room to maneuver. Okay, yeah, that's that's good. I mean, that's why I was saying that uh, if for this uh, for only six days, I don't think uh, it's a, it's a big deal. But if for a long period of time, like for a month. Uh, that should be that 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 we call for questioning that uh, why do they have to shift it for a long period of time? But six days is good, uh, one man. Oh, all right, thank you, Daniel Coco. So we've been speculating where, where he will land. Speculate no more. Peter will be now is registered at his uh, local word as a member of the um of the Labour Party to fulfill then his ambition to become Nigeria's president in 2023 on that, that on that the platform or on the platform rather of that party. So Peter Obi joins Labour having not gotten his way with NNPP. So what are you then making of the move by Peter Obi? Well um finally he found the party to accommodate him. Uh, but um, politically uh will it help him to achieve his uh political ambition, I will tell you no, uh, because um, uh, Labour Party is not a party on the ground. I don't think they even have any representative in the assembly. I don't, I'm, I'm not sure if they have any um, local government uh, uh, chairman, uh, anyone at all across the Federation. So, um, Labour Party is uh, the most disappointing party uh, 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 among all parties in Nigeria. Uh, Labour Party should have been the strongest party um, uh, in the country, uh, considering the number of workers across the country, uh, considering what the name represents. Uh, uh, Labour uh, is, a, is a party that uh, uh, should represent the interests of Labour. Uh, I mean, the interest of worker, rather. And, you know, when the workers in the country uh, strive, uh, definitely uh, it will have an impact in the economy and the overall um, um, uh, economic, uh, 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 economic uh, position of the country. So what Labour Party that it means, though, I don't know what is... I don't know what uh, is taken in there. He did not take anything to PDP. Uh, PDP made him what he is today uh, in the national politics of the country. Uh, he, he, the platform of PDP, platform of PDP, uh, which is uh, a nationwide that brought him to limelight. All the people that he was meeting across the country, they are members of PDP that have been there uh, before him, uh, they are not people that he brought into PDP. So, what did he take out of PDP? 
Zero. It's taking nothing out of PDP. So yeah, what yeah, is yeah. it bringing into APC? Does it, is it bringing structure yeah, Labour, into Labour APC? Party. I mean, sorry, into mm -hmm. Labour Party. What is it bringing into Labour Party? Is it this noise over mm -hmm. the internet? No. It's men on the ground that we walk across the country. Eve is running away from PDP, as he says, that they are spending money or it's the monetized politics they play there. There's no way it's not going to spend money in, 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 in um, uh, what do you call it? In the Labour Party. You still have to spend money to drive people. You have to pay uh, polling booth agents across the country. You have to, a lot of money have to be injected uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not, um, uh, I, I'm not in support of bribing people. But what I'm saying is that you have to print your protests, you have to carry out uh, um, um, uh, uh, commercials or advertising. You have to deploy a lot of resources. Into because, because Labour Party doesn't have any money, so he's going to self-fund his campaign. It's not as though he's left a behemoth like a, a PDP that have structures to fund the campaign. But Labour Party, the biggest thing that has happened in the history of that party is Peter Obi joining them, and he is small fry from uh, PDP. Yeah, <laughs> so he, he, uh, the money that he's complaining about, the spending money or they are bribing money, uh, he, he might not have to bribe anybody, anybody there, but he has to spend money to uh, promote his campaign to make it competitive on the ground against other candidates as well. So he should be ready to take some billion of Naira out of his pocket. If it is not billions, he should be ready to take multi-millions of Naira out of his pocket to fund his campaign. Because workers are not going to give him nothing. Because workers in Nigeria, uh, um, uh, economically, they, they, are, they are in poor shape. So if you don't expect workers um, you know, to, 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 to start running around for him, for, for are, anything. Are we expecting GoFundMe? Is this where he's going to, is this how they might have, they will start doing GoFundMe on the internet for... Uh, uh, well, Toro Kobo, five five dollars or whatnot. Uh, well, he might he might do that if the law allows him. He might have to, um, to out, raise to a, a, a public <laughs> a public funding. Uh, maybe that is what it's going to depend on. Uh, but my point, my 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 position is, um, he did not take nothing into PDP. PDP made him, brought him to limelight in his recent campaign across the country. The delegate he was meeting, they are PDP men. They are not people that he brought into the party. They are people he has brought. They are people that some people, those are the structure that some people have put in place across the country. So he was meeting them. Camera was shooting him, showing him around the world, making him look like, yes, he's carrying out a, a successful campaign. It is PDP platform that make him sue. That, that, do, that do, you him him so. get, do you think he will get? Do you think he will get the same level of media coverage that he has enjoyed so far uh, under the platform of the Labour Party? Well, if he have to go around the country, hmm. who are who is he going to meet? Like the delegate was meeting, does Labour Party have that? Do they have structure across the country? Obviously not. They don't have. Who are the delegates they are going to use? They don't have, but they might just come up hurriedly with some people to show that uh, maybe some workers or some of these, uh, uh, what, 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 what do you call it? Some of the uh, chapter of uh, NLC and uh, workers' organization to show, but you know, are they competitive? Are they political relevant? No, they are not political relevant. They are not strong on the ground. They are uh, 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 um, um, the, the weak of the, if not the weakest political party in Nigeria. So uh, Peter Obi have not helped himself with his decision to leave PDP. He has hurt his political ambition. He has 
done more damages to him to, to himself political politically he has set his political um he has set himself political bad war backward than ever uh before well some people will not agree let's see how it's going to play out it is now accepted as um is it the presidential candidate of the party or just it just well, he just joined the party that. so he will still yeah, have to go through the their, their primaries yeah. process yeah. you know yes so yeah uh, 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 let's see how it's going to work out maybe it's going to change the uh, um, um, the, the the political landscape of Nigeria, maybe he will use his um, uh, recent gain or uh, the recent gain he has uh, he has uh, he has made from 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 PDP. Maybe he can use it to transform uh, uh, Labour Party. Maybe he can use it to mobilize uh, workers around the country, uh, mobilize Nigerian people. Let us see what he's going to what he is going to do. If he knows how to play his game well, if he playing the game well, I have to go with money. You have to push, you have to spend money to energize people. I'm not talking about by bribery. If you want people to work for you on the ground to campaign hard, you have to pay them. It's not things are very, very hard in Nigeria now. They, 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 they'll be looking for you to get to get paid for 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 what they are that working for. People right. cannot be on the field from the morning till night campaigning for you. No food in their pocket. They have to go to work. They 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 they, they, they want them to abandon their work to come and work for you. They must get paid. That is the way it works. So uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, coming that day, yeah, yeah. I'm um, sorry, sir. Um, I don't see. I don't understand why you are blaming. Um, Peter will be for leaving because I don't think this guy is looking like there is any chance for him in the party and I think that is why he has looked for an alternative um, means to carry on with his um, ambition and, let, let, um, let, uh, Yeah, let me put a position to you, uh, D. Uh, do you think that uh, Peter Obi's political career will be better served with the um, vice presidential ticket under the uh apc under the pdp which he might not even get or the promise of the position of secretary to the federal government under the pdp or he him getting the presidential ticket for the uh, labor party which one which one is more uh, of a, a career progression for him uh if we look at it with what is on ground we will say oh, the progression is more likely for him to stay in pdp but I think he believes in more of what he wants to do. And if he's not seeing people going in his direction in the party he is right now, um, I don't see anything bad in him trying alternative means, even though we look at Labour Party like, oh, he's not he, he's not in the level of them PDP and APC. But with the way things are in Nigeria, I think if he can if he can put a good thing together at, at least in like for other parties like sdp and all that i think labor party still has more grounds in nigeria they are in most of the states do, do you because think do you think do you think is threatening the presidential seat from labor party do you think yeah is, sure sure you, you, you think you think, you think it, there's a chance of him becoming the president on that I, I, party? It, the chances are slim but if he's how, like how slim, obvious, how slim? Let's say he has 60% chance. <laughs> you know why I said that? Because a lot of people are clamoring for these guys and a lot of people it's want just an, it, the it, only it, The only thing I see that might be of interest is obviously the um, government of the day has um, a lot of weapons to use against even PDP themselves. But obviously, I'm not blaming that guy for leaving PDP because I think he's an insider and he can obviously see they won't give him the ticket and he wants to move um, forward in at least getting the ticket and contesting, which I still see like a stepping stone even for the East. Even if he doesn't win election, I think at, it's, it's a... It's a um, 
right way to well it will have no political together. relevance it will have no political relevance it will at some point because things will change a lot of people too will cross to labor party even if they don't win 2023 election at least it has a chance to go again but if it stays in pdp obviously when the next election comes, they will have somebody else that wants to counter him. But if he yeah, stays but, in the Labour Party... If, if, if he gets the vice presidential seat, then it will... You saw what the vice presidential seat has done for Shibanjo. Yeah, um, I see. But what's the chances that even PDP will win election? <laughs> then well, what's the chances? Chance what what is the chances? <laughs> and again, what is the chances they are going to give him the VP? For PDP. Yes. And secondly, he yes. might not be ready to go in that route with them. And obviously, these guys are in the party. I think they can see what is coming uh, more than us looking at them from the outside. So I, I think the guy has just look at the situation and thought, okay. You are, you are contradicting yourself. You, you are now saying they are seeing what is coming. Now, and yeah, yes, probably see what is coming with the primaries, yeah. so you might not get the ticket. Why would they waste time okay. staying in a party that won't give him the ticket? That's what I'm saying. Why, 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 why must he be desperate to get the ticket where you have not invested? It's is an ambition, it, it's an ambition. Why is Tinubu desperate? Why no, is no, Atiku no. desperate? No, I, the, um, it's the same is not the... the guy no, wants no, to no, achieve no, something. You don't, you don't, you don't get it. It will have moved to it will have moved to Labour Party from the onset, but it came to PDP. It, oh, you can't say and that. It gave it, no, 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 no. Hold on, saying... hold on, hold on. B, okay. did you listen to his reason of leaving the party? Yeah. I so his, his reason. reasoning, his reasoning is not tenable. I mean, it's not. It, it's not tenable. It's not. It, it, it's it, that re that reason is uh, to me is too. Try this, and it, it doesn't it doesn't hold no water at all. I, I mean, this is PDP and APC. You know the politics they play there is a politics of money, and you got there because you already seen it crystal clear, written on the wall that you'll be badly defeated, and you hurriedly go out, and now you are accusing them. Oh, they are sharing money. They're, this is the way he was there. He was there in 2000. I don't think it's because they were sharing money. I just no, think that he, is what he said. He said they, they are, they are, they, they are sharing, the they are paying reason, some people. For me, yeah. the way I yes. see it, I think he says that his chances are we have, slim. We have to, we have, yes, we have to party. go by what he Even said. Even if he spends money in that party, he wants to we, get the ticket. I think people like Atiku and Bukola Sharaki are more favored than him in PDP. So if a, a sensible person, that's one of the reasons I won't even want to spend my money if I'm in his shoes, because there is no, no guarantee. Even if I spend this money, um, I'll rather uh, sorry, this D, money. So, so, sorry, D. Everything you are describing now was already in place six months ago. Um, he knew it was money politics. He knew that uh, Article will outspend him. He knew that because Article is one of the founding fathers of the party, so he knew that Atiku somewhat owns the party. So everything that you are, you are now adducing as reasons for him leaving yeah, was already in play. But uh, what uh, Alexander Gomez is suggesting, which a lot of people, uh, they, they sort of reason along these lines, he says that I think he left primarily because his vice presidential slot is not guaranteed. So not only was he not likely to get the uh -huh. uh, presidential ticket, it's almost unlikely not to get the vice presidential slot as well, yeah, so which he, is what he, I said he, earlier. He, he, he might not even be up. guaranteed, yeah, for the VP slot. Like you said, oh, is it not an opportunity for him? Is it not a progression for him? Maybe there is no guarantee he's going to even get the VP ticket. What, one man, one man. The, the VP ticket, he stand eighty percent chance of getting the VP ticket because of the way he has carried out his campaign because of he among other candidates from the from the east uh the only aspirants that can make him waves rightly there in the public space so that position he occupied will have propelled him will have propelled him to uh 
uh, becoming the vice presidential uh, candidate because it, it is clear that is the only leading is the only one from the east that 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 had, had came out amazingly among among others in the recent time. So uh, if he has said there with the noise making going on on the internet with the way that he has marketed himself that will have been i mean it, 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 it wasn't in the in the in the race last time when atiku pick him atiku is still there today and i believe abiku must have seen something in him before he picked him last time and I don't, I'm not, I'm, I, I don't doubt that. But what is the guarantee we have that he wants to be Atiku's vice president this time around? Yeah, because, well, are... because that's, his, that's the extent of his reach now. He's a politician now. He knows the game. He knows he's not going to be president. He knows. You did, look, he have not invested in PDP. What I mean by investment in PDP is that how many states do you control? Uh, or how many senators do you have that you have sponsored yourself? How many governors have you sponsored yourself within PDP? How many House of Rep have you sponsored? Those are the structure of PDP. Those are the leaders that can promote your, your, uh, your aspiration to the highest level. When you don't have that, and you're thinking that you're going to get the head of the year, it's not possible. It's never done anywhere. It's never but, done anywhere. But, but Janko, wasn't one man, I remember, wasn't one man, one man, said, one man told us that Peter will never be president or vice president. One man said that in the staff room. One man told us that Peter B will never be vice president or president. So why? That's how he left. One man told us in the staff room. I remember one man said. Yeah, but, but that, still yeah. Remains, that still remains the case. It's not going to, even more so now than before, he's not going to be president. You see? Woman just answered the question. What was saying? So, uh, look, uh, Obi have not invested anything in PDP. And for him to think that he wants to jump in the race and think he's going to, look, and think he's going to get the head of the ticket, it's, it's, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's never happened. Why do you think that you see Tinumbu in APC and the Eurobars? are the leading contender there, or particularly are the ones saying, oh, yes, we want presidency, we want presidency, is because they have invested so much in APC. The Igbo did not invest as the way Yoruba invested, Yoruba Tinubus and all of them, the way they invested in APC, the Igbos did not invest on APC like that. And that is why you don't see a strong candidate from the Igbo land. So look, this is about interest, interest for power, and that interest have to be pursued by, I mean, will be determined by amount of invested you have injected in the in, in the field. How much, how much investment has it put in PZP that he is looking forward to, to yield him? that number one ticket that is the most exalted exalted position in nigeria the ticket to becoming the most exalted man in nigeria no you have to invest so much hold on charles hold on hold on charles adale koko wrap up your commentary uh with this wrap this uh headline into your commentary uh 2023 presidency Peter Obi unstable, we have withdrawn our support group. So the group, one of the big groups supporting him, they are called Democratic Forum for Justice and Equity. And they said they, they actually, so let me just give you what they said. It says, uh, we have withdrawn our support for Peter Obi, having realized that he is an unstable politician who has taken his desperation to a selfish level. We made bold to say, that we regretted ever supporting Obi in the first place. And we have since shifted our loyalty to a stable politician. So is this a sign of things to come? Is this the backlash then? Is this anticipated or is this just a, a one-off? Uh, do, you, do, you, do you feel the sense that people somewhat disappointed 
even some suggesting it a cowardly act. And so the backlash now against uh, Obi's move. I haven't left PDP to go and park in labor. So what are you making of that group's comment, uh, comments and their reasons? Those people are correct. He has shown he's moving out of PDP, show that he's unstable. And uh, and and uh, that that as well can be described as a, an, an act of desperation. So um, he, he shows that he's so desperate, he's looking for the head of the ticket by all means. And uh, he has seen it clearly that he couldn't get it in PDP. And that is why uh, he moved out. And I can tell you this one more. Uh, he didn't want to face, he didn't, he didn't want to, he didn't want a, 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 a big, um, um, a, it, it, it's, it, it's afraid of... Um, he thought he would be humiliated. It, it, yeah, he doesn't want that uh, political humiliation um, um, after the uh, primary. The result of the primary, we show that uh, he, he, he's nobody in the party. He, he, we show that uh, even... Um, among his, uh, the delegates in, in Igbo land, he might not be able to win uh, convincingly among them uh, because they represent some people. They belong to some group of... Uh, um, 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 uh, they represent some uh, uh, political structure uh, that are totally... Uh, I, I, I mean, they, they represent... Um, uh, 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 the destruction of some other people. So uh, he doesn't want that uh, humiliation, and that humiliation, he believe, it, it might set him back more than uh, uh, ever before, and that is why he's jumping out. Uh, but you see, those people are right. I agree with them that uh, he, 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 his, his action uh, show an act of uh, desperation, and... Um, he has taken a very bad decision. He should have remained in PDP. Losing primary uh, does not mean that you 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 lost everything. Uh, that will have uh, 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 the fact that uh, you contested under a very big party uh, will uh, bring you to the limelight and uh, make you relevant in the political scheme and things in the Nigeria. So, but he had lost it all. I would have loved him to move. If he had moved to Abga, I would have said, yes, this guy has moved to East. Natural, origin, na natural place of, yeah. Natural place of political. Uh, but, uh, uh, is that not the point? Yeah. What sense does uh, it make if he moves to Abga? If he moves to um, Labour Party, Labour Party have people, nothing. Labour Party, Labour Party have on. nothing. Labour Party is bigger party than Labour. Abga people, hold on. Abga people are his people. They, he will still get their vote. They don't have any presidential candidate or so. So they, he will still eventually get their vote. So Look, why would let they me tell you? Abga let me tell you this. Why is it? So Look, I let, let me let me tell me, you. You've been saying on here, Peter Obi is the man. Is this? Is that? and of which this guy can't get the ticket in PDP and he's moved to Labour Party. Why can't we now start campaigning the way you are campaigning for Showery, for people to vote for Showery, even if Showery's party was no party that nobody knows, we should vote for Showery. But we are not, you are not saying we should vote for Peter Obi because he has moved to Peter to oh, Labour wow. Party now. Okay, let me, party you, okay hold on. let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you, hold on. Let me tell you the difference between Peter Obi and Shogure. Shogure, so far, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, CBD. Yeah, yeah, go on, Jan. Shogure, so far in Nigerian policy, politics is the most consistent politician. From day one, that he set up his party, he never left. He's facing problem. He remained there, and he's fighting the battle. That is the that is what you need in a leader. A person that jumped from pillar to pole is easier said is, than done. So where oh, hold, has on, no hold on, hold on, hold on. You want me to make points? Yeah, you want me to make points? Hold on, hold on. You want me? We don't to need. Him. We don't yeah, need but, to be arguing here. We don't. This we, on this platform. We don't need to be arguing. 
let us make the point. You ask me a question. Yeah, and I'm just pointing it out to you. Whether you want to accept it or not, but the fact is there. So where is the most consistent politician in Nigeria today, whether you like it or not? He formed his party. He remained there. He did not win election. He's struggling hard. He still remained. He believed these two parties are worst. They are not good for us. They are corrupt party. They are destroying the country. And he never want to align with them. Peter Obi, he is not a corrupt person. To me, as far as I'm concerned, I might be wrong. Some people will not see him like that. I want to go by his record in, in Anambra State. He run the state well. But you joined a corrupt party. You know what characterized the administration and operation of that party. And you join it. Are you, can't you see? Are you not, can't you, I mean, a leader, a leader must be a person that can see beyond this nose. A, a leader must be a visionary person a person that you know where to go and not to go. You cannot want, you cannot go into the midst of corrupt people and you want to play saint. No. Can I ask you? Let, uh, uh, let me finish the point. You cannot go into the midst of corrupt people. 99% corrupt and you only want to be a saint. You cannot, you cannot defeat them. And number two, number two is this. He has practicalized the corruption with these people in that party. For buying political form, by buying nomination form for 40 million, that is corruption in itself. It, it was also part of that process in 2019. That's what I'm saying. You are part of this, in, of, in, of, in this, 2019, of, this of this process. Because uh, I think we bought the ticket in 2019, and he yes. was part of that. You are part of this thing. You are part of these corrupt people. And now you are saying that you are bolting out and that, and you are accusing them that, oh, they are spending uh, dollars. They are dead. That is nonsense. You didn't see it before before you go and, and join them. If you join bad people, you too you'll be tagged as bad people too. And that is what um, um so wrestle and say, I'm not joining these bad people. I want to remain a good first, a good person for Nigerian people. I will stand out among good Nigerians, and that's what makes Chore better than him on their times. I should worry better than him. Should worry only have a chance. Let me really have a chance in this party. Let's hear from in CBD. Be as being. Let Let's hear from in CBD. In CBD, let's hear from you. Yeah, I was just going to ask Ajani Koko. If he had not joined PDP all this time, would he be as politically relevant as he is today? No, I'm not talking of ideology because everybody is an activist somehow. You know. But I'm saying, will he be relevant politic in the political scene the way he is right now if he had not been in PDP all this time? Let me tell you, uh, in CBD, is Chowre not politically relevant? No, in, not in the it's political space. Because he has not won election? His name is known quite all right, but not okay, politically yes, relevant. Yes, yes. But why must he go and join the team of corrupt an organization, I mean, a party that is immersed in corruption, a party that that have, have destroyed everything, every fabric that 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 uh, that is connected with that country. Why must well, Jerry, he go and join this party it? for years? For he didn't just join them yesterday or two years yeah. ago. For their structure, like, that is what. Okay, you, that is to see. He cannot see well now. The structure, he think that he can manipulate, he can use, he can, he can, he can hijack from them. Those owner of the structure have showed to him that look, go and sit on the back bench. We, the owner, we are the landlord of this house. You are just a tenant. This is what belongs to you. That is the way it works there. Ajani Koko, I don't think he ever he ever had in mind that he was going to win the primaries. 
Because from oh, the really? beginning, he always said, he has always been saying. What, what are you talking about? Like, CBD, oh, come on, man. I don't, I, 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 I don't, wait, let's now. CBD. Let us stop all no, this, man. Don't allow people to express a contrary oh, opinion oh, oh, sometimes. Oh, 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 that's what, yeah, it's not what we're doing now. Sometimes it feels like we're all trying to push a particular narrative. Just, and, just yeah, go to no, it. Not oh, that. Oh, 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 CBD, you must stop the belly again. Just go to the point. Yeah, no, but I've been, I've noticed the stifling of my voice. Go to the, if you don't go to the point, then I have to move on so go to you have the floor go to the point yeah so so what i'm saying is that uh, peter obi has never from the beginning he has always been saying that he's not desperate and he, that is like in is only people that do not understand that are not thinking deep into what he's saying that will be surprised that he moved because he knew from the beginning that it will get to a point whereby will he, have to, he will have to leave even in the interview he, he, he made some time back he mentioned that uh, he has to move. They asked him why he left Abga. He said that he left Abga because what he's trying to do at that point is no longer uh, feasible with Abga. So the people are moving. So me, I'm just seeing it like the man used the, he was in PDP for that uh, political exposure to know how the, the, the politics, that's just my opinion, to know how the politics is being played in the main, you know, on the main stage. You know, the major then he doesn't he I don't think he ever had in mind that these people owe him uh, the, 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 the their delegate votes. You understand? So uh, that's what I think. In oh, oh, oh. can I can I ask a question? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. You, you said he said he's not desperate. Do you think he's not desperate? I'm saying he said it. I'm not the one who okay, said it. He's asking you, what you think. Yes. Yes, I think I believe him. I believe you, him. Totally. You don't think he's desperate. You don't so, think he's desperate. So, so in CBD, you believe that he left PDP and went to another party, in another jurisdiction, and he's not desperate. And even if he says he's not desperate, that's not that's even a good thing. Exactly. For me, it's not a good thing to say because if you want to become the president of Nigeria, you should be desperate. You should, you should be, desperate. be desperate. Is it yes. by is it by yes. saying it? Is it by is it by saying it? If you're if to show you that he's not desperate is the fact that he went to the party you that many of us uh, some of not us some of you are, are disparaging like uh, 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 labor party is nowhere that's to show you that someone is not desperate if he's desperate uh -huh. he would have at least even said to so, he would so, have so even so been who started in the vice presidential uh, no, 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 hold on he courted um nmpp but they rejected him at least they couldn't give him what he wanted. They told him that he was going to carry bags for Kwakwansu. Yeah, obviously everybody knew that he was never going to go there to become vice presidential candidate for Kwakwansu. What was the point? So he made the right. So, so no, so so labor was not his first go-to. Yeah, Kwakwansu is more. You know, it would have been more strategic. I would, I would, I, I, I would concede that because of um, you know, Kwakwansu. So he's uh, gone further uh, and further down the league. So that that, but, that, that but, then tells you what, what his allure is. So it doesn't it's have the easier, allure that... It's, it's easier to find a structure under Labour than, than NNPP, if you ask me. Because Labour Party is... Labour, it's a Labour whatever is spread across the entire country. And if they if they use Who that platform... That? Are you talking about the Labour Union or the Labour Party? They are, they are distinct entities. I know, but are they not? Uh, is it not? Are they not uh, in, in in synergy somehow? No, they are in not in synergy. No, because the labor union is a is a is a home to all political uh, um, um, thoughts. So you have okay. APC, PDP, Chowere, etc. Abga, they are all. There, there is a workers' union, isn't it? And the Thank workers you. are caught across the political spectrum. So they are not yes. part of the labor party. They, they're That's, a unique and distinct uh, entity from Labour La Labour Party. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That uh, Labour Party itself is not. Uh, maybe I'll need to do. I don't want to say things that I'm not sure of. I will. I will have to do a bit more uh, uh, finding on that Labour Party. Well, good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Can I interject a bit? You know, hold on. I want. To, I want to hear from Echo next, but let him see the land. But I want to hear from Echo. Yeah, I don't want to ask him to something. No, no, hold on. I want I want to hear from it too, but uh, let okay. us see the okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So me, I was just gonna say this that if we say that Peter Obi made the, the blunder, why did he leave PDP? So if the man knew that he was uh, not going to get the 
position in PDP and he left at the time. So what, why are we uh, angry that he left? Because we knew he was not going to get the thing in the first Nobody place. Nobody is angry. angry. We're just befuddled. But yeah, I'm uh, angry. Let, let's hear from HO. So HO, you're hearing the conversations. People scratching heads on uh, why um, why uh, Peter B left uh, a, a PDP where his political career would have gone forward to go and start digging, digging trenches in Labour Party. What is your take then of all this uh, confusion that the Anambra ex-governor has put in play, uh, HO? Well, to me, his, uh, his move is out of desperation in the sense that in his statement, he said he was not desperate. And somebody who is not desperate will just say put where he is and like, okay, I'm going to put in my best to see if I can win the primary. And if I don't, I know I put in my best. But knowing fully well that he may not likely win the primary, and he decided to relocate to another party and seeking for the, the, the presidential nominee form, to me, that is an act of decept, deception, telling us he's not desperate, where are within him, his desperate, and that is not consistency. And somebody who will be able to pull us out of this is somebody who will be stable and consistent in his statement, truth to what he meant. Would you describe Peter Obi as a man of principles, uh, H.O.? Well, based on what he has done in um, Anabra, as we can look backward to, he seems to be a man of principle, but that statement that I'm not desperate and his last moment of movement does not tell me he's truthful. Sorry, Angel. Yeah. yeah. I, I can't, uh, sorry, uh, one man. Let me, uh, let me um, say this. Uh, Peter Obi said he's not desperate when they asked him. He said he's not desperate to be president, that he's desperate for change. So I don't know when someone says desperate for change, you can interpret it in different ways. The change is talking about is not is, the change is talking about is political change and removing this thing from these two party and the uh, money politics, uh, you know, uh, uh, politics that they are doing there. So if someone says desperate for change, you can uh, you cannot say that he has done something contrary to what he's saying by going to Labour Party. He's he is not desperate to be president and alone. He said he's desperate. He's not he, desperate for to be president, but he's desperate for change. But the change is wants to to give is under the platform of becoming the president. That is no, where, no. Uh, that's what I just said. Yeah. That is not about the presidency alone. If it, it's about if it's the, not about the presidency, then why did he move? If it's if it's not because of the president, then he he, he wouldn't have moved. But, but how could they have wait, made that change? Wait. How could they have made that change in PDP, the same place because where they are doing the money? The change. Change. That is where the, the change thing. is needed. See, we are but. still saying the same thing. <laughs> HO, wants to make it not wrong with one at a time. Let, uh, yeah, sorry, let, let your, your land carry on. HO. He wants to make a change under the leadership of becoming the president of Nigeria. And the change he wants to make is in the system. So he knows he cannot get it in PDP. And this is not the first time he knows that PDP does not go through their primary without this bribing and corruption that is taking place now. He has no need from the beginning. So why did he not make that change from the beginning to go into a party that believes in his ideology and also believes in his principle and work with them from the onset? Why did oh, 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 Hold on, hold on in CBD. Let's hear from DOG who wanted to interject a little. So G, D, you wanted to add? Yeah, I, I mean, if this guy said he's not desperate, he's not saying he, 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 he's not desperate in the sense he probably doesn't want to be throwing out five five thousand dollars to delegate and all that, but not like he doesn't want to be president. And because I don't see us now judging him as being desperate compared to the likes of them, because I think Atiku is desperate, I think uh, Tinubu is desperate compared to those guys, even in moving to labor party i think um 
it should be positive and we should support this guy because um in the past month i've seen a lot of people come here support showery even showery was in a party that nobody knows and this guy just look at his oh, situation right. let, let, let's leave so right one side for a no, moment no no i'm just uh, i'm uh, just uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not let, i'm not let, no, I'm let, let's stay example. with let's stay with that desperation but rd he said he's not desperate to be president what is desperate to change the process and change Nigeria. Yeah, so, but one man. So, so yeah. hold on, hold on. He said he's not desperate to be president, but he's desperate to change the process and Nigeria. So that change of the process and Nigeria is not going to be actualized in Labour Party because that's not where the change is needed. The change is needed in PDP where the process is rotten, but the chance of getting the, the ticket is, is, is more enhanced. So if, if what he's saying obtains, then he should not leave because the change is not needed in Labour Party and Labour Party is not going to deliver Nigeria to him. PDP needs the change, is, the change, the change and they can deliver Nigeria is, to him. The change he's talking about is the change of Nigeria, not the change of the party. And right. if I, if uh, as a reasonable person, if he sees that he, he doesn't have a chance in that party and he has plans, why won't he try other places? Everybody here has said, oh, if Tinubu didn't get the ticket, he probably will move to SDP. Are we going to be saying the same thing about Tinubu if he moves to SDP too? Right, but Tinubu I think is a this desperate guy politician. Who has looked at the situation, obviously, moving to Habga doesn't really make sense to me. Politically, he has moved to Labour, but obviously, Habga will vote for their people because he's Igbo. Habga is an Igbo party. So it's more like he will now merge with Abga when the election comes and we've been calling here for a third party to come and at least give these people some challenge and we can't just have APC and PDP all along and this guy has done this and I think if we keep clamoring for this guy and make ways Labour's can win party. Uh, in, aren't Abga winning over APC and the rest in other states? So I think this is the time we need to know. How many reps does Labour have in the in the House, or how many senators? I I don't know about that, but I know Labour Party is more popular than they don't all have NMPP. anything across the country. They, they have nobody. They, 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 have, they, they don't even have council. Is a nonsensical party? Yeah, it's a nonsensical. This guy was under them before. Um, the uh, governor of your state was there as well. Mimiko he, he, he was he under left, them. He left so they have he left they have like a structure in ground, but with the popularity Peter Obi is getting now, he can build on that. And Ajayi is always telling us here, like, two, two to um, eight months is not too small to change things. I think this guy too can, with the popularity he's getting uh, and work on it and put a good team together to work on his campaign and give these people some fight. And at this time, I think, even if he doesn't win the election 2023 come, this is now where the Igbos now are doing what we expect them to do, and he will have a better chance next time, rather than stay in a party that will just kill his ambition forever. All right. Why is that people oh, still oh, here trying to contest? Because about right. to just kill his political ambition. All right, let's hear we from to Tony. Oh, oh, thank you, yeah. Adi. Let, let's hear from Tony who wanted to come in. Tony, you wanted to come in. Oh, yes, sir. Good evening, everybody. Eh? Hello. So, yeah, uh, evening, so yeah. yeah, what I would start to say is that... Uh, that uh, I'm, you know, I'm very happy that uh, this guy didn't join the NNNPP or whatever they call it, you know, because uh, he has averted a very big problem between the North and South again. Like, uh, because back in the days, Aziki we also team up with the North Party, and then uh, the other guy turn up, turn up with the North Party. So this time around, I'm very happy that uh, he didn't do that. So going to Labour Party, even though I know that uh, there will be no election next year, but at least he has done the right thing by moving to... Uh, to Labour Party, as a Janiko have been preaching here, that uh, no APC, no 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 PDP, that uh, any other party, any other party vote for other party. So as a Janiko should try to help this guy out to make sure that uh, they build the Labour Party up. And then uh, beside that, whether they have senators or not, this is just to get started. So they are going to have them, you know, in future. If uh, you know, if, you know, if election is coming up, but election will not come up because uh, the money they are using now to buy uh, tickets. And then all those uh, bribing uh, delegates should have been used to establish industries in the all 700 right. local, local government of the country. Thank you, all sir. Right. All right. Thank you, Tony. So, Ajan Lekoko, back to you. Ajan Lekoko, are you there? Uh, one man. You yeah. see, 
people can say, uh, we are going to see this movement of, uh, of, uh, show, I mean, uh, of uh, OB to Labour Party in different way. But in the real practical aspect of it, is it good for us to have other functioning party other than these two party? Yes. But why we are querying him, or somebody like him is querying him, is because he lacks a, a sense of judgment from day one before joining this party. Why must you go and join corrupt party and you think you are going to get the best out of it? That is what I am querying of this guy. If you may recall, I have said it several times, these two parties are not my party. They are not, I will not support any candidate from this party. And I have said it several times here that OB is one of the best that we have in Nigeria. But him joining this wrong party to me, I think it's a wrong choice. He choose a wrong choice. But for him to now realize three days to their convention or two days to their convention to say, mm -hmm. I am bolting out, that tell me that he is acting desperate like every other politician. And uh, he has even chosen the wrong party to go. Labor Party, is not a party that can give him anything. Abga would have been better because his base now, politically, particularly in this presidential base, the stronger base he has is in Igbo land. The Igbo are strongly yearning for presidency this time. And he has played it very, very good. He has played the game well using the platform of PDP. Now that it's going out of PDP, he should have returned, returned to base, he returned back to his base, which is Abga. Abga will have been a party, he will have been in a position to promote Abga, to bring Abga into the center stage of our national politics. But Labour, Labour have, Abga still have representative in the North. Abga have some assemblymen in the North. So Abga have some local government in the North. So uh, Abga is still more on the ground than Labour Party. He will have used this opportunity to promote Abga and now put Abga in the center stage and he will have come out as a real leader in Nigerian politics because it's contesting it's contesting for presidency it's not contesting for the uh, 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 for, so, for, for, so, for 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 Hebo he will so, have used so, this to lead Hebo into a real contention into the nation I mean into the national polity and he will have used that position to negotiate to go into alliance strong alliance with any other party not P PDP or APC, you know, in the pursuance of... Uh, um, uh, uh, so, uh, sorry, Ajane Koko. Uh, Ajane Koko, can you coordinate the conversation for a moment? I need, I need to come off the screen just for a second. I, did you hear me, Ajane Koko? What did you say? I said, can you coordinate the conversation for a moment? I need to come off my screen for a second. Okay, one minute. Okay, all right, oh, that's cool. Okay, oh, so carry on. All right, um, gentlemen, if this guy had moved for Abga, as I was saying, he would have done a big favor to the interest of the Igbo people. He would have used that to galvanize a strong campaign from the Igbo land and to the national, to the center stage of our country, and not labor. Labor is, is a weak party. 
It's a very weak. Don't you think it's like using one stone to kill two birds, him joining Labour Party? Because it's easy for him to form um merge with Abga. He won the gubernatorial election under Abga. So he have his people there. So him going to Abga, for me, I think it will first ebolize the move. But now he has joined the Labour Party. He can bring Abga in. And we don't know his other alternative moves that he wants to make while joining the Labour Party. Uh, because I don't want us to... I still even see him joining the Labour Party more sensible than joining NNPP or whatever that party is. And for me, I don't even think Abga has um, any roots in the North because Abga is an Igbo party. I don't see how they will have grounds in the North. Maybe somewhere in the Southwest, maybe yes. And they, I have think some party, they have some representative in the North. Not much, well, though. Not much. Not, that's not what I'm much. saying. So, yeah. yeah so, but, so yeah. it's more like uh, you have a house, your family is there. And you need the vote. You know, in your house, people will vote for you. You would rather go and bring other people in to come and join your house members. Because why why would they join Abga when obviously even we will come and say, Oh, for me, I would think it's a wrong move to join Abga because it has first equalized the stuff. So now he has joined the Labour Party. Abga, he won the gubernatorial election under Abga. So he have his people there. He can bring them all together for presidential election and they can vote for him. And you've been always telling us here that eight months is enough time for things to change. I think if this guy walk and with the popularity is gaining, and for me, we all know he's the right candidate, even while he was in PDP and we keep weighing the option, even the likes of them, Tinubu and the rest, he seems like the right candidate. So why won't we just support this guy and ignore the party and just talk about the people themselves and the plans they have, you know? Uh, come in, uh, can I come in, uh, Johnny Koko, please, sir? Uh, can yeah, I just yeah, interject? Come in, come in. Okay, thank you, sir. So, you know, what you are just saying now... Uh, come, tell him to come to the side. Okay. Uh -huh. so, so, what you are saying now, uh, uh, DOG, you don't know this guy very well. This guy is a, you know, this guy is a dubious, is, you know, it's of dubious character. For abandoning Abga, which was set up by Ujuku, you know, a Southeast based political party that was, that is gaining uh, uh, ground in a uh, uh, those state data state and the uh, on those state and if you know with your culture most of all, all these evil politicians i hate all of them because of that for abandoning no no settle no, down you can't say things yeah. like that no, no, okay sorry 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 no, 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 so yeah let me finish, let me finish let me finish so for abandoning that party no 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 hold on hold on hold on please sir. no hold on hold on please sir. so they should have they should have no they should have stayed there and build up that party so like uh, we have that in germany here the, the you know the munich party just a city party it's, it's a kind of a regional party that is a power broker in germany here so this is where i'm very mad at those uh, you know those people positions okorocha all of them came into Abga and then they destroyed it because of money, they were crossing party to party. All right, thank you, Tony. <laughs> you see, um, OB is OB is just logical about um, his move uh, because joining Abga will first, like I said earlier, will equalize the whole situation. And even people from like the South would think, oh, is Igbo thing, is Igbo thing. This guy won the gubernatorial election under Abga and they are his people so i think it's even a more logical and more sensible for him to join labor party than when he cannot bring Abgahin to work for him when it comes to presidential election which makes sense rather than joining abga because to me if he joins abga i would think he's not serious and no. i think he thought about it that way too like you get so that's the logic behind it so you, and i don't want you to come and be saying oh you don't like this Igbo people people are making the decision and the option and what they think is good for them and what they prefer to do in the routes they are going so you can't condemn an ethnic a, a whole ethnicity for that is there no we did not condemn ethnicity we are talking about okay, uh, the, party, the party the party no, 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 okay ah, okay ah, yeah, 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 okay yeah. i did not condemn i did not condemn you know you, you know it's just that because i i i, I do speak so fast you didn't understand me you know i was born in stamara that is why i speak so fast 
So hold on. No worries, so that right, party, yeah. that party, that party was uh, was set up by Ojuku, a very great leader, a credible leader. So and that is what brought, brought all of them to political limelight. But they abandoned it for money. Right. Oh no, 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 that's problem. not where the conversation is. But thank you, Tony. So yes. uh, let, let's hear from Baba Kure. Then I want to move the topic on. I think Baba Kure wanted to comment on that space, but uh, oh, oh, all right, let, let's move the topic on. Uh, um, Ajale Koko, are you still there? Yeah, one more. All right, brilliant. So let me move you to this space. Um, so this now, um, this is a real turn up for the for the, for the books. So instructions from Malam Buhari. Buhari directs Adamu to prune APC presidential aspirants to ten, and he will name his successor after that. So he's saying that he doesn't want to appear to be imposing on this space, but he will still impose on the space. He's asking the chairman then to prune it down from the twenty eight to ten. Of course, that Ted will include whoever he has decided he wants to succeed him. So why does he see, why does he not just name that person? So what are you then making of uh, Buhari's directive to Adamu? Uh, one more. Uh, before I answer that question, before I talk on that uh, one, I want our people to know that uh, you can run your emotion any way you like about the uh, my position on OP. But what I want you to know, OP is one of our best. And as such, Nigeria is a country that will never go for their best. And the political party you have in Nigeria will never give you the best that will work for your people. So, uh, but a real leader, as I'm saying, should see it very clearly that none of this party no, a real leader must not consider any one of this party as a choice in the first place to um, promote his uh, political ambition or rather uh, a political campaign uh, to savage, I mean, to take Nigeria out of this problem, not any one of this party. So any, any leader that cannot see it, uh, I'm surprised. I mean, um, uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, I, I will see that leader as uh, a, a person that cannot see uh, beyond this note, a, a non-visionary leader. So that is what uh, Obi demonstrated to me by joining that party. He demonstrated his non-visionary and uh, he, he got it wrong from day one to join uh, PDP. So let's leave that. Let me go to what uh, the next point. Um, one man, that is illegal. You cannot tell anybody uh, how they are going to do it. I don't know. It is part of illegality that has overwhelmed our political uh, play in Nigeria. And as such, it is playing out in practicality. You, you, you no, Nobody that will really want to solve Nigeria, that really believe in solving, in working, in working for Nigerian people should ever join any one of these two parties. This is what Buhari is displaying now. This is what he's telling the chairman. Prune them down to 25 and we go from there. To from 10. 28, I mean to 10. From 28 mm -hmm. to 10. How do you want to do that? How do you want to cut short the ambition of people? This is what the party represents. So anybody that think well about that country and not should not join that party you see i praise this do you, not think they, do you not think they feel this too saturated look look at even this at abiola boy call abiola for yeah. that guy to have got it right i have my my great respect for him for him to come and say look i am not joining them i'm going for prp He's a visionary guy. He's a visionary leader. That is what I expected to be to have seen. So, but he's trying to, um, you know, um, take where he did not, uh, uh, he, he want to reap where he did not sow, uh, and they've shown to him that, no, you have no place here. So, uh, but in, in um, 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 what do you call it? Um, uh, 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 the president telling them to prune it down, it is illegal, and um, we want to see what is going to play out uh, 
uh, they, they are, and I'm sure it's going to be successful because all of them, they are, they are uh, corrupt people. They are people after their own interests and not for the interests of uh, Nigerian people. So uh, they will do it and they will get away with it. He has been doing it and he's been successful with it. He do you took not, out do you uh, not think they but they need to get rid of names like uh, Tunde Bakari and all these names. You know, they need to clear them out of the way. Uh, people like Rota Sokorocha, people that are not really they there for They don't have to. Delay. All, they, all yeah. they need to do is to organize, a, put a process in play that will um, uh, let, I mean, let, let the process be free and fair. Let everybody go uh, on the field. Let them contest uh, let them let them go and test their popularity, and whoever that wins, and whoever that wins, we emerge as the winner, and not by instructing. Oh, let us take some people that that is illegal. That is highway robbery after paying hundred million. Yeah, that's my imagine? question. Will, will they give them their money back? Is the thing. Uh, yeah, uh, they, they're not going to give them back. It's not refundable. That is what it is. Oh, would you it's know? Not refundable. They're not going to give them on their money back. So what I'm saying. Uh, one man is that uh, these two, this, this, uh, what Buhari is telling them to do is what they're going to do. It is not democracy they are playing there. It is militarocracy. And um, um, uh, 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 it is totally out of line uh, uh, of the constitution, out of line of uh, democratic rule. So uh, they will get away. It's been doing it since the day of uh, Oshio Mone. Who took an elected chairman out, replace it with a uh, um, um, uh, illegal um, uh, ad hoc uh, chairman. Ad hoc chairman that's supposed to be there for six months. That one was there for how many how many months? It was there for over for, for going to two years. So and look at the way they 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 impose this one this new one on them overnight. It just came from nowhere and they impose it on others that have been in the party invested hard invested their time and money and everything in the party, they impose it and they get away. The same way it's going to do with the presidential, it will get away with it, it will, it will manipulate the um, uh, the process and then impose on on the party um, uh, whoever he likes and, and those are the ones and that is the person that they will give out to Nigeria as an option for them to vote for. So it, it is a it's a manipulated process. It, it, it's, it's complete. It's, it's completely um, 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 nonsense. But let's keep watching. Let's see how it's going to go about it. But I know, yeah, they will do it. They mean it. They will do it. That's it. Oh, oh, all right. Thank you. So, Ajale Koko, just to progress the conversation, I'm going to go on to NCBD, but I think um, HO wanted to come into that space that you were talking on. So, did you want to um, uh, contribute to that, uh, HO? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is what what is really happening in the in Nigeria that they are ruling that is taking place in the party. And uh, that is another evidence of what they are going to give to us if at the end of the day they are still able to wiggle themselves at the end of the election to become our leaders tomorrow. So to me, if they want to cut the number of people to, to 10, in reality, every other people's money should be refunded back to them. Because 100 million naira is not 100 naira, and it is not fair. Oh, all right. So so it's, it's almost like it's 419, really, if you think about mm -hmm. it. It's, it's 419, but then, of course, Buhari 419 now. What else is it but 419? That is the, same, the same Yahoo Yahoo they are doing in the public mm -hmm. office. But when it comes to the street boy, they will... They will uh, they will arrest them, display them in the in the in 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 the in the system with a play card. But these people are doing the same yahoo yahoo in a bigger form, and we are just letting everything slide by. And that is what has led us as a nation to this point where we are now. That we are just swimming. We don't know the way to swim out, and it's so sad. Oh, 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 all right, thank you, Hio. So, thank you, Hio. So, in CBD, let me come to you and take you. Uh, back to the East, really. This is going to be an Eastern narrative. And really, is this... Uh, uh, you, of course, you've been on this platform for, for a good while. So we've been in this space before, and we knew this was coming, and finally it lands. We knew that, well, very, very quickly, 
uh, Simon Ikwa will build such a followership that he will be in a position to challenge that uh, IPOB space for supremacy. So it looks as though that challenge is now on. Nandi Kano's family writes to Simon Ekwa, wants Finland-based disciple to desist from using IPOB leader's name for material gains and broadcast. So did you hear me read it out? I can reread it if you if you want it fresh in your memory. But uh, please, that is... Uh, yeah, yes, let, let, let me... Just for the benefit of... Uh, so so that's the headline. Uh, Nandi Kano's family writes Simon Ipa wants Finland-based disciple to desist from using IPOB leader's name for material gains and broadcast. The family of Nandi Kano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB, has formally... Let, let me actually share the screen uh, so that our people who might want to read along can read along. So uh, let me just share the, the screen. I think uh, that, that will uh, uh, make it... Um, more, more interactive. So the family of Nandi Kano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB, has formally written Simon Ipa, a self-proclaimed -pro disciple, to stop using the name of the agitator for material gains. In a letter addressed to Ipa by Magnus Johnson, the family said the Finland-based Nigerian should not mention Kano's name or use the agitator's image in any of his broadcast. The letter dated May the 17th warned Ipa to stop describing himself as a disciple of Kanu and should stop disguising as a member of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB. It also warned Ipa to stop defamatory publications against member of the Kanu family and ensure such does not occur in any of his broadcast. The Kanu family warned that Ipa's failure to comply with the demands will attract costly legal actions, including petitions and criminal complaints against him to the Finnish authorities. The family also threatened to institute injunctive, injunctive claims against Ipa for civil injuries. Pardon me. The letter reads, the family, the, the letter reads, the Kanu family, both in Nigeria and in diaspora, has retained undersigned to formally demand from you as follows, that you should forthwith cease and desist from using the name and image of Mazi Nandikanu, either in your broadcast or otherwise, for any material gain whatsoever, including any fundraising that you should forthwith cease and desist from addressing yourself as a disciple of Masi Nandikanu, either in the guise of you being a member of IPOB, which we are informed you are not, or in any other manner relating to the Biafran agitation, that you should forthwith cease and desist from any further defamatory publications against any member of the Kanu family, whether such publications are personally altered by you or by others you invite to your social media platform networks, uh, that you are hereby given 14 days from the confirmed receipt of this legal mail within which to comply with the demands in this letter, that your failure or refusal to comply with the demands herein will result in costly legal actions against you including but not limited to the following. A, direct criminal complaint against you to Finnish authorities and or to any European country in which you are encountered. B, tortures and inju injunctive claims against you for the civil injuries enumerated above. C, petition against you to the Finnish authorities that regulate legal practice such as you are currently applying in Finland. Finally, you are hereby warned that this legal mail constitutes a pre-action notice that no further formal warnings will be forthcoming to you before our commencement of foregoing legal action against you. So th there it is right there, quite punchy and quite potent, and there is the fight that we anticipated in CBD. So now, who takes the, the crown? Is it uh, Simon Ipa or the Kano Space? 
Uh, well, uh, one man, my answer will be on that will be a bit uh, brief. Huh? I think I'll put it this way. Um, you know, we've always said on this space that it will turn into a money fight, and it has turned into a money fight. Uh, well, I, to be honest with you, I wouldn't look at it as a money fight. Mm. Maybe, maybe influence, influence, uh, but not fight money exactly. Because financial gain is not money. No, no, financial gain, financial uh, activities is part of it, but I wouldn't look at it uh, that way. But to be honest, with the way I've uh, understood that space, I wouldn't look at it that way. But I see it more of um, uh, Simon Nepa, if we are being uh, honest, the man has been broadcasting for years, you know, and he has been talking about the Nigerian government, the, the you know, the injustices, the, the you know, the... <laughs> And the Biafran struggle. That's the that's the truth about the whole thing. As much as people, as much as the Namikano and uh, you know every other uh, like the hype of itself has followership. Let's not forget that he came into the uh, IPOB, but he had already created. Uh, he had already started his own mechanism of broadcast. So. It's not like he went there and it's not like he was inside the organization and decided to break out and go with people. You get so that's how we look at it objectively. But I think also he should be able to 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 um you know have that synergy with the structure. I know the the reason why a lot of uh, people are angry with the main IPOB structure, or should I say some people, is because they feel like uh, maybe they have something. There are some people that feel like maybe there's some kind of uh, um, influence, external influence, maybe from the government or for some politicians into the main structure. So some people feel like uh, 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 Simon Epa is still, you know, is still following the original template of uh, uh, Namdikano. That's it. That's the truth. Some I'm not saying everybody feels that way, but quite a number of uh, people, especially diaspora, and uh, you know, just this diaspora structure that Namdikano uh, was really known for more. You know, many of them feel like the Simon Nepa is still following the same template. So now, when he's not, I don't think it's him that they might be so much angry with. They are just angry at his influence but if Namdikanu's family is involved in the whole thing then because these people are close to Namdikan and uh, there should be some kind of synergy and there should be some kind of understanding that I think uh, even if uh, uh, Simon Epa needs to compromise a bit for that uh, for that piece or for that synergy to be there I think he should be able to listen and uh, but on his own side, we cannot just rule him out as someone who is trying to take any uh, thing because people are just seeing him as a continuation. Uh, that's the truth. A lot of but people... But the, 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 the Kano family don't. They are saying don't yeah. mention our name again. Otherwise, we'll lock you up. Yeah, because most of them, you know, they are on ground. They are like in the, you know, they are on ground and they, you know, they, they are dealing direct with the... With the with the you know with the situation on ground you understand so uh that's what i'm saying i cannot i cannot uh, support simon Epa against the family of namdikano i can't do that the only thing i wish that he can do is to be able to uh or the, both of them do you think simon Epa is just on a money grab is it just on a money grab well this man has been doing this thing for over i think i heard about him the first time maybe like some five years ago and then you know the space is not that heated. So even Namdikano at some point endorsed him with his own self. He said, "Listen to Simon Epa." He said it several mm -hmm. times. Listen to this guy. So uh, 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 Simon Epa came in, but he did not start what he is doing uh, as a result of coming in. He had, he had already been doing what he's doing, only that now maybe he has a larger uh, uh, you know uh, um, audience because of uh you know the situation with uh, mazinam the Kano. so you find out that most of the people listening to mazinam the Kano now they like search the space for 
the most uh, relevant and familiar voice that they can follow. So they decide to follow, uh, to listen to Simon Ekpa. But Simon Ekpa has been talking about the Nigerian government, about Biafra and about injustice for years. So that's what I'm trying to say that we cannot just look do, at Do you think the fa can the family feel threatened by him? In in what way? Like in terms of that, the that, that he's trying to you know he's trying to seize a match on them because the way he's uh gathering momentum is almost good is almost turning into a bigger name than Nandekano. I think they are uh, hitting. Uh, 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 no, uh, they are just it, it seems like they are hitting, you know. Because what can they do about it? If it's gaining momentum, it's gaining momentum. And you keep the on doing it. What but it's, going, it's going to grab what they labeled for, yes. what they're saying. Yeah. Yes, he has the open space to do it. He has the rights. Why should he stop? How, the, but, but but the, this, is, this is a what? A, a quarter of a billion dollar industry. Okay. They're not going to... And so because somebody... Oh. Because somebody somebody, mm. is, somebody is... is I, I don't want to seem... I don't want to sound too, you know, but... I'm just stating facts. Somebody is in jail. Okay, because of loyalty, you shouldn't now progress to the next level. You know. Then mind you slowly again, um, everything that still goes on with IPOB and all that outside there affects um, this guy's case. So that must be part of why they are like you need to chill yeah, stop putting exactly. his picture stop all those things because are you sure that that what they case. filed for is that what they filed for no that's what i'm saying that uh, they need to be some you know i'm sure so, even there was a time i was uh, listening to simon Epo and i saw a few people that made that comment that they should be um you know nobody is uh people are they're not seeing him as uh, they are seeing him as the maybe authentic uh, continuation to be honest a lot of people, maybe not all, but I think that you should also have that understanding and they should work. Yeah, even if it's not going to do exactly everything they want, but there should be some kind of, um, you know, there should be some synergy with the family at least, even if there will be none with the main uh, DOS, uh, you know, the IPOC, the guys who uh, feel like, uh, you know, they, you know, there's still that other main structure of IPOB. But people need to understand that this. This broadcast method was one of the methods that Nambikano used to uh, spread his message more potently and, you know, gathered a lot of people. So you find out that, and that was, that's the space that who, Simon who, 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 who do you think commands the, uh, uh, or controls or commands the, uh, the narrative more within the Biafra space? The IPOB uh, platform or Simon Nepa, who, who has more of the ears of the people? Simon Ekpa, obviously. You know, yeah, but you know, Simon Ekpa called his own the autopilot, meaning it's the same IPOB, but you know, the continuation, somehow, the continuation without the leader who is who was at the main. Yes, CBD, can I ask you a question? So, so uh, yeah. Have you been to Finland before? No. Has anybody here been to Finland before? No, I'm, I'm not sure. Take us there. Take us to where you want, you're going. <laughs> because another question is, I know Europe. Europe is, you know, they are more they, they they are more quick to take in action. What I'm wondering is, why would do, are there a way in Finland that is making this broadcast? Maybe yeah, nobody has made a formal complaint. There has yes, to be a formal complaint. It's very surprising. In how in would you not know Finland yeah. that sorry, is sorry. doing this? Solely, what broadcast? You know, in what way? Because they can't say he stop anybody. Because he makes some provocative kind of broadcast, no, no. and this kind of broadcast can affect the daily life of an individual. It doesn't matter if it's local or you know or international. You are you are you are making broadcasts affecting the lives of people. And can you can you be a bit specific? Is entering, there, you know, violence. You is know. there any particular broadcast that you had him inside violence? Okay, just look at it. Let, can we go to his YouTube channel and look at the titles <laughs> of his videos? My brother, what that's I'm going the, to say... the titles of his videos? No, you see, forget the, the title of the it, videos. It's usually <laughs> burned them down, isn't it? Usually, yeah. <laughs> he has never, so, he, that's, wait, sorry, let me give, tell you this. That's what I'm saying, that um, the one I heard him saying recently that um, if they're accusing him of that, that, you, that uh, he's trying to what he's doing will make IPOB, you know, he was saying that some people are accusing him that what he's doing, 
uh, will make IPOB, um, uh, you know, a target for being tagged the terrorist organization. Then he was saying that, well, if he, if he doesn't know what he's doing, why would he even endanger his own, uh, you know, his own his personal uh, reputation and safety, and also his family? But my point is this. <laughs> Yeah, it's a quarter of a billion dollar industry now, so it's not a, it's not yam. Meet your one man, it doesn't matter. Those money, that's one. Republic of Nigeria is a civilized society, and you are inciting violence. It is not about it's, being a geological republic. There is, there is a freedom of speech. There is a freedom, freedom of speech in Europe. There is, there is a freedom of speech. You're not even aware. You're not sure. Up to this level, if they do it in Germany, they will not hold him back. Stop no, they will not hold him back. So long as they don't uh, go to the secret site. You can't say that. They will not hold him back. No, they have laws against hate speech in Germany, especially. I know. Why is why have YouTube itself that have the strongest that is so sensitive and everything? Why have they not taken his videos down? No, so YouTube that's what I'm missing. YouTube does not take anybody's videos down, so they don't do. Down they, they do. They, they do. do. What no. are you talking about? Why are you talking uh, like uh, I don't, up, sometimes no, I wonder no, 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 no. This kind how many times I'm just saying there are worse type of videos. Saying, yeah. Yeah. There are worse type yeah. of what? Yeah. 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 Have you even the Simon Epa you're talking about? You, I don't think you've ever listened to his broadcast. I don't think. It's very boring. You're not, everything, it seems like everything you're saying is based on uh, speculation and uh, assumptions. So, so if you go listen to his broadcast and you find anywhere where he told people to go and do this and that to anybody, then you can come out and maybe send but, that. But why are the Kano family recoiling from him, even warning him and telling telling no, te it, it, what that they say is profiteering of the agitation? Yeah, it's the profiteering part. They were clear about it. Is the profiteer? They feel like um, you know, there's a, you know, just the way maybe you might be doing something, and people are so much pleased, or maybe they're in support of what you're doing. Then they will probably be sending you money, maybe apart from even the normal maybe donations that the organization do, but maybe they, they feel like he's uh, maybe some of those benefits that maybe uh, Mazinam Bikan or some of those supports that he was getting from some people voluntarily so they might feel like he's now the one getting that you know, so you it's know, a money several, fight like i said several, so it is a, it's a money fight then there are several dynamics to it but you see in from what you read he also he also mentioned that um he was using the you know he should stop using the is it the picture or something the like image, that so, yes yeah the image so i think that's why i'm telling you that there should be some kind of i'm not from everything, I'm not saying that. Uh, is it or is it not anything. a money fight? Is it or is it not a money fight? It's not. A, it's not a straight answer that you get with that one man because it it uh, it has several dynamics. Like I've told you that um, you cannot just tell this guy that has been broadcasting for years, even before they brought him into the struggle, to just uh, uh, maybe maybe you tell him to stop talking about uh, Mazin Namdikano, but it's not it's no longer possible because when Mazin Namdikano came in, onto that space, he covered the entire, you know, narrative about Biafra and all that, you know. So you cannot just tell this guy to stop mentioning Mazin Abikano's name, but he has always been talking about Nigerian government and the injustices and the, and the corruption. He has always been talking about it for years. It's okay, when did, when was, uh, when did IPOB Oh, uh, should I say Mazin Ambikano? When did he his, his popularity spread? So if, you if know, the if the so family if the Kanu family are now distancing from them, it will be very difficult then to still continue to insist one that is a disciple of Kanu when the family have said no, and two that is agitating on behalf of Kanu, which the family no, have man, said no. One man is like uh, Abiola, maybe uh, so Awolo, or, you know. It's like the way an average Awolo a Yoruba man will see, or you know, a regular Yoruba man will see Awolo as zero. Maybe even if you have a yeah, problem, with, Awolo, uh, wait now, Awolo. wait, wait, wait. Even if you, even if maybe you have a quarrel with one of his offsprings or his lind or his children or grandchildren, and so you mean that child will come out tomorrow and say, okay. Uh, you know, don't use my father's name again, even in your political. You know, people will say, "Okay, we are bad," but your father is not just for you anymore. Your father is for 
you know, it's for the entire yeah, Yoruba. Yeah, but he can, he can also say he's agitating on behalf of Nandekano or he's a disciple of Nandekano. If the family are saying that his politics and his pronouncements does not align with their family. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. That, uh, uh, woman, woman, you know, CBD, please, uh, well, you know, woman, uh, I, I, I guess that uh, it is a 419 accusation. They are under duress to do so because uh, they don't want uh, so, so they want to uh, fight for Umnadu Kanu's uh, release. So they will be playing that kind of game, which is very clever game. That uh, they will say, okay, no, we have nothing to do with uh, Samuel Ekpa, who is still propagating all this, uh, or still preaching uh, uh, whatever. So they will say that, no, we don't know him. So they will tell the Nigeria government or the international community. That maybe they don't want to distance themselves from uh, the, that is for one eye. So let it's us. Uh, it's no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, sir. So that is why. So it's just a for one acquisition. So they are not. They, so they are not serious with that, sir. So but they are still with some man, One man, I can believe Tony too. I can believe you know. I, I can believe what Tony too is saying. That's a possibility. <laughs> no, oh, oh, all right. It's just, it's just, it's just the, it, the emphasis was on finances, though. That was just, exactly. that's just the main thing. Just like yeah, the yeah, they must find a reason. Yeah, 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 yeah. They must find a reason. They must find a reason, sir. You know, you know, they must find a reason. But yes, Tony, how long have you spent in Germany? But Tony, what right. means why? Why why why? He hates the um, government and the state. He like them can bad than some apple. Is that too a fact? He does. The government and the state. He likes he like them can bad than some apple. He visits them in Canada, but he hates them in the airport. So how do you know he hates them in Nepal? So what means why? The government of what? An umbrella state. Okay. Oh, it says Simon. <laughs> but he went there to visit him recently. You know? So, but, but, oh, you mean uh, Simon Ekwa or, or Namdekano? No, no, he says he likes Namdekano, but hates Simon Ekwa. Well, they, they don't want that. Not, you know, they feel like um, um, they are trying to, you, you must understand that one of the reasons that some of these politicians, because I believe that there are some political, uh, you know, uh, people in the East that also aided in the renditioning of uh, Namdekano. And one of the reasons they did that is to, you know, die down that uh, agitation and all that. So when they see Simon Epa, we are still moving in the same uh, tempo or a little bit lower, but still in the same, uh, you know, uh, trajectory of Nam So they will have to, uh, they will definitely not like him because they, 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 they've just fought to, to, you know, to bring that agitation down and it's not working. So how will they like him? If they like him, people will stop following him, you know? So that's why the people are still following him because they see clearly that he's the one that is still moving in that direction of uh, Namdikan. So, but uh, that's what I'm saying that anybody, the family, as much as they can, um, you know, they, I understand their concern and we know you still need to respect the family. You can't say you love somebody and hate his family. So, but they need to be able to come to some kind of understanding about, uh, you know, but they should not also expect that uh, people will not, uh, you know, follow, should I say, the legacy of uh, Namdikano just because of the, uh, the ones that are blood uh, related to him. Like recently, uh, what's the name? Shemo Kuti, I had one of his interviews, he was talking about... Uh, I don't know, he was saying Bonaboy should not be using the father, something like that. That is not Fela. That Fela has only one so you know, they have only biological children, something like that. So, but Bonaboy is going everywhere carrying the 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 the, the, the you know the necklace of Fela's image on his uh, on his neck and always uh, paying tribute to him. So it's just like that. Uh, your influence will definitely uh, supersede your you know, your family um, uh, relations, you know? So, oh, that's oh, all right. Oh, all right, thank you, CBD. So, thank you, CBD. Let's go on to Baba Akure, who I think we may have now, or or maybe not. Uh, oh, all right, Let, let's go to DOJ then. D, D, are you there? Mm, yeah. All right, brilliant. So, so D, uh, event moving very fast. Uh, so, we came into to the announcement that the INEC has moved. The primaries of their party are forward. Uh, they've moved up uh, primaries. Uh, they've given them an additional six days. So very swiftly, APC has moved to move their primaries forward uh, now by by that by by those six days. And uh, also, Ikerimadu he has gone to join um, 
Peter will be in Labour Party. So everything recalibrating as we speak. So, uh, so what are you making of that? APC set new dates for primaries. This this is the latest development now. So uh, uh, they, they were the list ready of all of the parties in play because the PDP primary to, to start off tomorrow, but APC now, they get this window of opportunity. Buari goes to uh, Equatorial Guinea, and then shortly after, uh, the INEC announces they've moved the primaries. So that tells you that Buari had already instructed them to move the primaries. That is what aligns with thought. So what are you making then of APC moving their primaries in tandem? So it's now June the 6th and June the 7th. So what are you making of that, uh, uh, GOG? That, that shows us um, how confused and undecided that party is because um, they've been extending and extending this thing. And I think by now, and I think this is the first election, things is this slow and it's the confusion. And um, I think, and I think it's a bad thing even the president has to tell INEC to be moving date and they are moving date. They should have just ticked to wherever and allow the party to catch up with whatever they are doing to do the right thing. But now, mo most PDP primaries are, has been done already. So what opportunity do they have? So that means the president has influence on INEC and that's the problem of fighting with the government of the day. So it's quite tricky when you have opposition power and the, you are fighting a, a government of the day that has the power to control things. And I think it's sad because I don't even know what APC is doing, to be honest. And that tells that there's a lot going on in that party right now. And I'm just waiting to see who he's going to favor, to be honest. That's what I'm waiting for. What, 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 what does this bode for uh, any any thought of a free or fair election? So uh, Bwari travels and then immediately, and uh, they've not done their primaries. They told us they were good to do it on the, their screening. They, they told us they were doing, good to do it on the 23rd. That came and went and they've still not done it. And we all just yesterday, we were saying, how, how is it possible that with three days to the primaries, you know, they've not even done screening. And then by today now, INEC tells us that they are moving the goalpost by, by six days. So that is to tell us that Buhari must have gotten wind of something before he left the country because we're criticizing him for living at the most crucial part of his party's life history. But then, of course, he knew that he had already instructed INEC to move the goalpost. So if INEC moves the goalpost to facilitate for, for APC, what does that then tell us of what is coming in our 2023 February? That means, um, obviously, as it has always been, there is no guarantee it's going to be free and fair. They will probably rig and they will probably, once the person it wants, because it said, which I don't think it should have even said that in the same situation, you shouldn't have said they should screen, then you will say who, you're, who you want to support. You should just leave the delegates to do their job. You put your vote for whoever you want to put your vote for. And whoever comes is your party, you just support the person. But you don't have to have one person that you want to favor. So obviously, to me, so if the person you favor comes in, you're going to rig election for the person. Even though we all go out and vote for who we think is right for us as a nation, that means the president can actually make eye neck change results which is not the first time they've been doing it so i don't i i it doesn't make any sense it doesn't really make any sense should we just abandon this idea that we're having a democracy let's just whoever is there just stay there till till that comes uh, what what's what's yeah. the point in which wasting all these billions only to arrive at an already predetermined position exactly what, what, what's the again, sham? nobody is fooled so why are they doing you know, it um, the, and the painful thing is um even the people that are eventually are except like people like um peter obina that has moved to labor people like showery and other parties so it just shows us that the main party in that country choose whoever they want for us not like we are the people choosing 
the person because now you can put anybody there. We just have to now go out and vote for whoever you've put there, which I don't even see any sense in it because I think that should be a way they screen people to get that ticket in a way that it still has to do with what people of the country want, not what the party choose. So I'm just waiting for all these primaries to end, and I think Nigerians will um, put their thinking cap and be sensible about how do, they Do vote. you think we are already fatigued by the electoral process, and they, we don't need, and there's still months to come, and we are already fatigued? Are, are you not fatigued? I'm, I'm tired. Like you know, I said few was it few days ago. I was saying every day you permute. By the time you wake up the next day, there is another news in the space that is changing the whole narrative. So that's why I said me. I'm tired of even thinking about those guys. And I think um, this guy even having a thought force is very important at the moment because it just let us even concentrate more. On probably one person or two other people. Because you think about this, by the time you wake up, they've changed something, something is already up. Like now I've been thinking, okay, APC will have their primaries too, PDP is already having their, and obviously six days extension, why? Why can't you meet up with the deadline? Why are you, and then why would you have that kind of control? And I think INEC as a body should actually be independent and not let, even if we've given you a deadline, that's the deadline. You as a party should now know how you speed up your process and do your things to meet up with the deadline, not somebody from the party controlling and determine when things end and things start or, you know, it's just crazy. And that shows how sad things are being run in that country. and why we are really lacking behind um uh, pdp are enraged by this extension now uh, dog they are enraged because their primaries is due to start tomorrow so everything would have been gathered for the primary so it's almost too late for them to move it but then of course as we know pdp uh, apc already had pre-knowledge of this and they did mm -hmm. not show any signs of uh being in a hurry to do any primaries so with this move now that INEC has made, they've sort of uh, caught a, a PDP off guard, not giving them enough time to calibrate this now new position into their own politicking. So PDP now almost started to hold their primaries by tomorrow, which then gives APC a week to counterweight whatever PDP decides. So mm -hmm. we've seen Mahmoud Yakubu wearing um, an APC cap before, and it looks as though that cap is still on his head. Yeah, yes, um, uh, one man, one man, sorry, one man, you remember that, on, that you predicted no, that? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 I mean that you was wishing that uh, they should take this, uh, their primary the same day. That, that was what you, you, you know, you was uh, suggesting that if they can do it the same day, then there will be no cheating. Now they have pushed it forward, you know, against your wish, you know, because that was, could have been the best thing, that they do it the same day, like you suggested, that they should do it the same day then, so that there will be no need of cheating each other, you know? But they didn't do it, you know? Oh, oh, all right, thank you, Tony. Thank so, you. so. So yeah, um, yeah go, go on, go on, uh, DOJ, and then I think uh, uh, HO wanted to come in as well. So so uh, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, but to you. Yeah. Uh, um, so uh, for me, I think this just give the extension just give APC and hedge over PDP, honestly, and it's actually unfair. And obviously, <laughs> if you look into what is coming, this is what is going to happen. Everything that will happen to other parties will be unfair and it will favor APC more because who says PDP doesn't need more time? They need more time too, but they are mm -hmm. trying to catch up with the deadline INEC has given. Which Every, more everybody is that? is that their hotels, the rooms are booked, all the delegates are in town, everything ready for PDP to go tomorrow, and then just midday, in fact, PM on the eve, and then you move the dates. It's, 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 uh, it's quite crazy and it shows us even how, how this government has been run for eight years. So if you factor this to how decisions have been made in that country so far for the past eight years, this tells us a lot too because everybody needs time. We, if you give me deadline, I might need more time too. 
But I'm now, I've arranged myself, I've planned to meet up with the deadline, but all of a sudden, in few hours to me, trying to meet up with the deadline, extension now favors some other people that are going against me. I, I think it's really, really not done anywhere. It shouldn't happen. And I don't even trust INEC, honestly. <laughs> I have never trusted INEC. I've seen INEC official bribing people in pulling boots to thumbprint for a party and all that. So it, it's just the world we have in that country. And oh, oh, all right, is... let, 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 let HO come in. I think she wants to uh, say something on that space. HO, you wanted to come in. It's sad to know that I was supposed to be independent in running the affair, but from every indication, the president seems to be still controlling the affair. And it makes me wonder what kind of election are we working towards to run in 2023 if the government of the day will be having the finance in, in almost every decision that's supposed to be an independent one made by the people of Nigeria to choose their next president to be able to change the situation of the country. So it just... It just saddens one's heart when you see all these things that continue to play in our country every day. Do, it's almost too late because to, to, uh, today now is the 28th, you know, depending on what day of the Saturday is when APC, PDP are meant to have their primaries. So the 28th and the 29th. So by Sunday, we should have known then who the PDP ticket carrier is. So all, they are all in town. Everybody, everything is geared up. So do they at this minute then move it? It was almost impossible for them to move it now. Well, to me, I next should be able to stand on their, on their, on their foot to know that people are in town. Money has been spent, and they are ready so that they should do it instead of this is extra day that they are adding to the cost of expense for each of the delegate and the political parties it is it's a travesty but mm -hmm. uh, uh and and again should we even be surprised a country where somebody that came forth <laughs> has been given <laughs> <laughs> you know and it's so, and it's um it's true you know so honestly it's always a hopeless situation with nigeria with the government we have and um I just feel PDP don't have a choice. Why would they? What? Why would they want to? That's double expenses, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Moving now for another six days, would the delegate go back to their destination and come back to the same place? So they will. And, and all the bribe that the delegates got, that's cancelled. Though, if they come back in one week's time, they want another round. They'll of get dollars. another. Because you have to pay for the <laughs> hotel again. So, so don't <laughs> worry about that. it. That ten thousand dollars so, spent is bring another. I think one they will there. just carry on with what they need to do and um, everybody should just focus on what they need to do but um this situation is 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 sad uh, it's sad because it just favors one party i would understand if it was last week and all the party knows that okay not like they have is quarter they are like few hours to their primaries then you are giving some people edge over them in what they do because whatever the outcome is gives APC a hedge on what decision they should make, you know. So is is sad. You, you, it's you sad. know, you know, D, we treated this topic on this platform before because this is not the first time that the idea was muted that they move dates. But mm. um uh INEC was quite categorical. They said they cannot move dates because everything is sequenced to, to happen one as a consequence of the other. So if they had to move a date, then that will affect the date. You know, they've now moved the uh, portal. When they, when people have to submit names, they've now moved it from the, seventh, from the 10th to the 17th. So they told mm -hmm. us that if they move a date, the, the cascading effects, the spill-on effects, mm -hmm. is going to move every date. It's going to affect... Every year, every uh, other date yeah, going yeah. forward. Yeah. So, so they said that about a week, 10 days ago. So what uh, the same organization that went to pressure them went to pressure them and they said no, that the dates are sacrosanct. So now about uh, 3, 4 p.m. on the eve of when PDP is meant to have its primaries, you move the dates. Well, uh, 
this these guys and that's why i just think sometimes all these people wherever they are anywhere all these institutions they, they've been put there by the president and none of these guys they don't even think about every other people in that country everybody just think about themselves and what they want to achieve which is um quite sad and honestly so what kind of election are we going to even have it just is is it breaks my heart when i see situation like this just simple election we can't even organize just normal election to be free and fair people how can you say independent electoral stuff and they can't even be independent a president can just tell them okay shift the date and they are shifting the date and what happens to you standing on your ground and say mr president we've put this date it doesn't look good if we move it let you people people should do what you they have time they are just buying themselves more time they have time all along to do whatever they need to do they should realize all this the deadline why they are collecting 100, 100 million from everybody that wants to be um, be an aspirant in the party now you are looking to shortlist over how many people so why are you even accepting the money from all these guys initially so it's just uh, apc to be honest they are they are doing too much and it has really killed the country. And for me, this election itself doesn't even look as if it's going to be free and fair. You yeah, can all see yeah, it. Yeah, all yeah, it's yeah. it's well, all written all over the world now. Because well, obviously, I I believe... H, you want to say something? Yeah, there's nothing like free and fair now when uh, we have to bribe delegate to select... Select the person, exactly. To select. And again, you know, what, so what is really are, painful? We, we, they, they've already told us what they are showing to us is the fact that if when they select this, this, these uh, people for us, this is how they are still going to determine with money who rule us. Exactly. So when you look at this pattern of uh, democracy in Nigeria, and we want to continue this way, we are going nowhere because they are not going to come in to serve the people. They are still going to come in to run Nigeria as a business center. Exactly. And the painful part again is let's even look at, okay, let's say everybody, every individual in that country just ignore the two parties and vote for what they like. What's the guarantee your vote will count? Obviously, these guys are going to shank your vote aside and no, it didn't count they in, announce uh, whatever they want to announce. Uh, yeah. let, let, let me give you the I PDP. I think it's oh, possible uh, for vote to count if what happened in a do state can repeat itself generally in this next election. To me, if Nigeria people really want a change, if we want a change, the third force should be the one that we should focus on when all this is over to be able yeah. to put things in the right perspective, if we really want to get out of this mess, we find ourselves. Let, let, let me bring you PDP's response. Thank you, uh, Echo. Let me bring you PDP's response to uh, the INEC headline. PDP faults INEC's decision to shift party primaries by uh, six days. The People's Democratic Party PDP on Friday criticized the decision of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to extend the deadline for party primaries by six days. The commission had earlier on Friday extended the primaries in a bid to give the parties enough time to prepare for the exercises. The PDP National Publicity Secretary Debo Ologun Nagwa, who reacted to the development in a chat with correspondents at the Moshud Abela Stadium Abuja, accused INEC of altering the goalpost in the middle of the game, emphasizing that election certainty is the backbone of democracy. He said, the consequences will be grave for the country. And of course, we have to look at that. Olobun Nagwa said, the bedrock of democracy is the certainty of elections and the fact that the rules are clear to every participant. You cannot shift the goalpost in the middle of the game. So that, that's just a snapshot, uh, just a latest response from the PDP who have been caught off guard by this uh, move by INEC. 
Exactly, because obviously it's more like um, a cock of the champagne for APC now, because I don't think PDP will at last minute now cancel their primaries. I think they will still go ahead with it, but obviously it gives um, it gives them it gives APC a hedge over other parties, because why why wait till now if you think that it will be an extension? Why wait till today? Then why is it now when the president just left? So that is is easy to just know what is going on, you know. So the president is leaving the country when he should be in with his party while they are going on with the primaries. But he traveled, then obviously from nowhere, I came out and gave six days extension. They should have given the told people a week ago. Oh, we are extending, not when some people are few hours to their primaries. So, so uh, it's frustrating, honestly. I, I don't know. I don't know. Nigeria matters sometimes. You just think about it and you just... That's why sometimes I've been saying, <laughs> me, I was permutating and permutating from month, month. I got to a point, I thought, okay, you know what? It's better to just wait. Let them do their primaries. Yeah, because you wake up the next day is another news. By the time it gets to evening, you get another news. The next morning is another news. Due to this party, they are not even sure of what they are doing. Mm. So what, the, what the, else... let, let me let, let me bring you APC's uh, response to our uh, next announcement. So breaking APC shifts presidential primary election. The ruling of Progressive Congress APC has shifted its presidential primaries to June the sixth and June the seventh. The decision was reached moments after the Independent National Electoral Commission extended the deadline for political parties to conduct their primaries. Um, after the massive pressure from the PDP and APC, political parties under the aegis of the Inter-Party Advisory Council had asked INEC for a 37 to 60 days extension of the deadline for primaries and the nomination of, of candidates, but the commission refused the plea. The electoral body, however, in a statement obtained by correspondence, granted the extension of six, six days for political parties to conclude their primary activities. APC had earlier fixed its presidential elections for Sunday the 29th of May uh, at the Eagle Square in the Federal Capital Territory. So very quickly after INEC made the announcement, uh, P APC quickly announced that they've moved dates. So they didn't even have the, the, ch the chance to meet to discuss that, so fresh was the news. So that told you that they had already pre-arranged uh, only to wait for INEC to make the announcement so that they can make the announcement the after announcement, that. So, yeah. so they had full knowledge. And their statement is making it look as if it's both party that hacks for extension. Because even if you are really going to do your no, primaries all, all, all on Sunday... Parties, to be fair, sorry to, to interject you. To be fair, uh, um, DOG, all parties did ask for the extension and INEC said no. But then uh, every party then carried on on the understanding that INEC had said no. I said no, but, yeah, but, I get But it. then at the, at the last minute, they then said, okay, we changed our mind. <laughs> yeah, you know, but then this one they said, me, okay, then we move our day. So that told you that, they, me, that APC, if knowledge. you fix, if you if they've said no and you fix it for Sunday, and you don't have any hand in this, obviously some people should have been in hotel already too by now mm -hmm. because it's just Sunday. It's just tomorrow, <laughs> isn't it? So mm -hmm. that means they know what is going on because they should have been preparing too. Because if PDP is having theirs today. So tomorrow, I know how primaries work. Every delegate would have been in the, wherever they are having the location, in hotels and all that. Different meeting will be going on back and forth and all that. So why we, why are you guys not on that move like PDP, then hear the announcement, then announce? So but everybody was laid, laid back and waited for the announcement. They now came out and mentioned, I said, oh, you've extended yours. Why other parties? Were. So it's just unfair because if you've said no, I make have said no. So why are you coming when already people are making plans and they are already putting money and their time in place to go ahead with the primaries? Just came just to favor the president and his party. Just came to make this announcement.
it's sad and i don't even think i don't even see how we are going forward in that country with election this is the is it not the third or the sixth one now and we can't we are not even getting better with it i think we should be improving but sadly buhari has come to take us backward times 100 times backward from where we started from oh, 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 all right thank you doj so let's see if baba Kure is there we, we've tried him about three times are you there baba Kure? All right, we don't appear to have Baba Kure today. So thank you, Baba Kure. We did try to come to you, uh, but uh, let's let's go on to uh, to HO. So HO, let's take you then to the space. Um, this is a narrative that goes back to 2015, and a lot of people, of course, are of the are understanding that um, uh, uh, Rotimi Amechi effectively liquidated a uh, river state to cascade the the economy of that state into Buhari's campaign. So uh, I want my money back is what we is saying. Supreme Court dismisses Amethyst's appeal to stop 96 billion Naira fraud probe uh, by Wiki. So Wiki instituting the, 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 the case then against uh, Amethyst. So he sold everything that that state had to cascade it into Buhari's administration. These are some just some of the things that uh, Rotimi Amethyst sold. He says the list of valuable assets include Omoku gas turbine, Afam gas turbine, Trans Amadi gas turbine, Eleme gas turbine, Olympia Hotel, and the award of contracts for execution of a monorail project. So all of that money, uh, 96 billion naira, are stolen from a uh, uh, um, uh, river state. So what are you then making then of this throwback lawsuits? Uh, and how does this even affect our uh, Rotimi Amechi's presidential ambitions, all of that, HO. So, why is he asking for the court? Why is he asking that the, the, he, sh he shouldn't be probe if his hand is clean? He's claiming it's a political witch hand. No, if his hand is clean, that he didn't, he didn't have nothing to do with that <clears throat> money, then why is he asking the court to drop the charges? This is this. Because he sees the one who stick came out to tell us, I think in 2015, that if we don't stone that they will not stop stealing, right? So that means he stole that money and he should refund the money back to the state. Full stop. Then if his hand is clean, he should go to the court to clear himself. It's so sad what they are doing with our money. Oh, 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 all right. This is somewhat a bit of a good news. I, I'm not sure how you are digesting this, H.O. Senator Aisha to beats Ribadu, ex-governor, to win APC Adamawa Guba ticket. So this seems to be the first time that any real serious candidate uh, of a female persuasion has a real chance of becoming uh, a governor within the Nigerian space. If you think that Nigeria is roughly 51% there about female, and uh, we've never really had any elected female in any real senior political position. It looks as though this is about to be corrected. Senator Aishatu beat Ribadu to win APC Adamawa gubernatorial ticket. So what are you then making of that as a gender development at HO? Uh, Whether well, it's a good one in a good direction, if only she will not come in to play the same politics the men are be playing in a atmosphere for some long time now i wish you would come and make a big difference you know as much as i detest apc i want that woman to win just to break that uh, glass ceiling just so we can have uh, uh her excellency it's always his excellency maybe the first time we have her excellency uh so that'll be that'll be a good uh, thing to happen uh but to the uh Nandekano simon Epa space uh, cease and desist is uh, the letter sent to, to Simon Epa. You are rubbing too much using our name, is what Kano's family are, say, are saying. What are you then making of this contract term between the two Eastern juggernauts? Well, I think uh, Kano came to stand for. <laughs> oh, man, which one? Okay, sorry, continue. Mm -hmm. Eastern which juggernauts. Uh, is that not? I don't know the juggernauts. The uh, Nandekano is juggernaut, and Simon Nekwa now is jogging, but not nothing <laughs> yet. Uh, uh. I think oh, Kano oh. came to speak for an organization which is the Biafra family, and I think that's what uh, 
Sama Epa is following Sue. So it's not, Kano is not, he came into a space, an organization. So the family coming, except they is not, they are not asking Sama Epa not to speak about Biafra as a family. But there's no way you can remove Una the Kano out of that space because that is what Biafra stands for. Do, do you believe in Simon Epa's message, uh, HO, or do you think he's just really in it for the money? Well, I don't think he's in for the money, just in for the organization. And since the organization entails using money to run it, so money must exchange hands in that space as long as they continue to operate there. One man, can you tell HO the amount of money, please? Uh, it's a quarter of a billion dollars. Do we know what was coming in when Kano was there? I, yes. Now, if we if, if we look at the mass that is the IPOB space, and we look at the um, one man. The, the, sorry, sorry on, to cut you. Hold, hold on. No, let me land it first. If if we look at the mass that is the IPOB space, a, a followership of about roughly a million and a half thereabout, and if you look at the demography of the people who are on average uh, first degree holders. And if you look at where they are spread all over the uh, in terms of their base, they are especially essentially their, their uh, diasporians. So you have a, a professional class diasporic uh, followership who are paying monthly subscriptions. So on average, that that that, that organization is taking some five million dollars, if not ten per month. Uh, X zero, you wanted to say. What? One man, I just wanted to, I just wanted to say, uh, I will, I will join back when I'm at home. So I, I put my my phone on on um on charge because my battery is almost dying. But I want to tell you that now that my my prediction has come to pass that that OB is in Labour Party, what are you going to give to me now? Eh? Aren't you going to congratulate me? Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll I said you, I'll, I'll give you a well done for stating the obvious. We congratulate <laughs> you, <at> Zero. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Black League, there. Black League there. Black League is not is that, here. It's DOG. Who is that? DOG. DOG. Okay, DOG. You know, I was saying it here that OB is yeah. going to. Yeah. One man, yeah. I'm ready. Yeah, yeah Baba, I've been trying to come to you all the way. Yeah. But, but, yeah so one right. man, you should be, you should be, you should be giving us our, 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 uh, you know, our, our, uh, uh, what's it called? Due respect. Accolades. Yes. Yes, our due respect. When we talk, you listen now. Yeah. We'll send the shark collar. We'll send the shark collar to you. Look, look, look at that. Yeah. I, I, I was expecting you to be the first thing to be, you know, pumping chest. I was at it. I was at an event. I'm going home now. So once I put my phone on the charge, I will come back in. Okay. Just reserve one space for me. Oh, I need right. to I need to enjoy this night. Oh, oh, all right. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, but is it a victory? Is the thing. Somebody rejected <laughs> by uh Kwakwan so then finding himself. Uh, in the uh, uh, see, small room, see your story now. Your story yeah, is changing yeah, yeah. every day. <laughs> Look at your that. story is changing every day. Uh, right. Actually, you, need to come back. you need to come back though, because some things are I will, I will, I will, I will. I will. Mm -hmm. I want to say in your next view. 10 20 minutes, I will be back. Okay, uh, 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 all right, yeah. we look forward to that. Uh, so, back to you, HO. HO, round of your thoughts, and then we we'll go to Baba Kore, who we've been trying to hear from. Bakri has been eating pando on the corner. You look at that. The, <laughs> chick, the, the, the chicks get rosier every single day. But uh, yes, back to H.O. To me, all, the thing is, there are just too many disorganizations in all these um, different uh, groups that are trying to ask for their freedom. And there's no way they can get what they are looking for if they don't make up their mind to work together. So I don't really know. I'm not 100% sure if it is Unam, Unam the Kano's family that is writing to Samuel Ekba, but there should be a better way for them to resolve that by calling themselves and have a private discussion and see how they can work together for what... As, do you think they are just fed up of him? Because, I mean... Uh, the, 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 that guy is making a fantastical amount of money from that space because he has also gotten himself these uh, monthly stipends that uh, the IPOB space was getting from followers. You know, just they're just throwing money at him, aren't they? The Eastern spaces, you know, and the Nandikanos, uh, the IPOB movement, they are seeing how much money this guy is making and they want to cut it off. Well, the thing is. 
I think the organization do have an account before uh, uh, Nam the canal was uh, adopted. Does Amaikpa have access to that account? Or, no, but he has access you, to where the money that is coming into the account. another account to receive this money they are talking about? I think he was, I think one he, man he's is stealing uh, customers, stealing customers. I think he's referring to that voluntary, <laughs> uh, you know, that voluntary <laughs> thank you <laughs> money that we are making. <laughs> <with. laughs> stealing, stealing customers. One man, <laughs> isn't that the same account? They changed the signature the few months, yeah. was it a few months ago that we talked about it here? The whole thing is enmeshed in dodgy money and fa dodgy financial deals. Because lady now. took over yeah. a bit. I don't, I don't think you people can notice what one uh, man is saying. He's saying that this is just a subscription service. <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> is it not? It, it is now. <laughs> He's playing them for Mugu. Hey, you wow. know, look at the, the guy is just... Look, it's now... <laughs> you see, honestly, his, his, guys, his clothes aside, have gotten more expensive. Man, He's buying more hard work. You know, really, really. Like a I think aside the money, I think a lot of things going on has to do with his court case too. With mm. the court case, true, true. Um, the canon court case because obviously the lawyers will be using it against him. Like, oh, okay, they I want to like, temper the narrative down. Yeah, of his name in the space and all that. The space, and that's why they think that. they brought up the question of it, saying, oh, stop. You um, put in his face, his name, in everything you say, and all that. Because obviously, if you are saying you are, they've locked you up, but there are people out there saying they are your disciple, and almost every statement they make, your name still come out of it. It, it affects your case in a way, and with the way exactly. Nigeria will, they will use everything they they have against you. The, that might the, be part the, of it. Too. Sorry, sorry, woman. The, I was also mm -hmm. going to say that's the reason why I was saying that. Um, uh, you know, they should be able to have that uh, understanding with the family because I feel like there's something that uh, the family probably are trying uh, to, to, you know, to do that they need to put that letter out there. So he should be able to, uh, you know, Simon Epa himself should be able to, you know, um, relate to the family. There should be compromises, you know. And like what uh, I had uh, Mayego say some time, it's a very good uh, idea. They should uh, look into that, you know. They no, I think if Ekpa is genuine, if Ekpa is genuine too, it should, it should reach out to did the you family. See the they, should, they should be able oh, to... Is it from Canada? <laughs> yeah, I saw, he's always he's a mischief maker, Canada. Yeah. Canada is from uh, Oyo Alafi, so there's no problem. He's not from Oyo Alafi. He's from Ekiti, I'm sure. Yeah, is it? Is this, yeah. Uh, so... They should be able to, uh, you know, um, uh, like what my ego was suggesting, I think they should take it serious somehow. They should be able to also, you know, with all this... Uh, what was he suggesting? Know? We don't know what he's suggesting. You're assuming that we all know. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. Uh, I thought uh, we know, but I think he was suggesting <laughs> that, uh, you know, with all these people, all these criminal um, groups, and all these people committing all these atro atrocities in the name of... Uh, so trying to maybe use the name of agitations, they should be able to even do some citizens' arrest. They should be able to, citizens you know, just go, up, go after these guys and guy. try to clear their, you know. What you is know, that? They, they, what, what is it? Talk, what is my ego talking about? Yeah, <laughs> citizens' to, arrest. You go and yes, citizens' IPOB, arrest somebody carrying AK-47. No, no, no. IPOB should be able to. You, you, you know, know what they call Aaron sure Ogun? Do you know what they call Aaron <laughs> Ogun? Eh? <laughs> Look at this guy. When they pray for you, you see the guy. Say, oh, go and arrest somebody. Go and arrest a citizen arrest somebody called uh, Karin AK-47 and you find out what Aaron Ogun is. Eh? Yeah, yeah. But they should be able now to, oh. uh, you know, you get my point. Yeah. So they, they should not allow these guys to just uh, they use their criminal activities to you know, to cover the narrative of that space. I think that was what my ego was trying to say. So, yeah, they should be able to to, to separate themselves, even if they need to do citizens' arrest, if they need to, whatever, they should do it and make sure that these guys will not, uh, you know, uh, uh, tarnish the... And anything that inside, even when they're talking about this it at home, I think Simon Ekba, to be honest with you, I know, I know some people have also suggested to him, they should always insist on those guys that it is a, it should be only a voluntary uh uh you know um activity but the is supposed to sit at home 
Yes, that's what I'm saying. Is uh, they should go? They should not even do it anymore because Namikano is no longer uh, in. Pepper is four. Is four sit at home. I think ever since uh, Namikano, uh, that thing came out that uh, Soludo said Namikano has uh, condemned the sit at home. I don't think Simon Epa has uh, pushed about you know, about it anymore. So, so, so you see, is is forming a rival group? Is it not really? No, but if he has not done anything contrary to what Namdikano is saying, then I wouldn't call it that. You know, I don't. I wouldn't call it that. You know, so I think they should be able to have that understanding, synergy, and play the game more tactically because these people are trying to just change the narrative. You know, they say uh -huh. the first victim in every war is the truth, so they should be able to uh, 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 to uh, read uh, between uh, the lines. Oh, 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 all right. Uh, th thank you. So thank you, thank you, Isibide, and thank you, Echo. Echo, let me go on to Baba Akure, who has been patiently waiting for his turn. So Baba Akure, to, uh, just a lot of things to go through. So I next they move the date of the election. Uh, PDP meant to hold their primaries tomorrow, but they announced yesterday now, just around about uh, 4 p.m., that suddenly they've moved, uh, they've, or, or, or at least they've facilitated for an additional six days for the primaries. So PDP caught on off guard somewhat, and they are annoyed. APC very quickly moved their primaries to include the extension that uh, uh, INEC uh, uh, has now facilitated for. So Baba Akure, do you think it is now time for us to drop that independent from that INEC name? So it's just it's not there because there's no chance, no no show that it's an independent organization. All of that, uh, Baba Akure. Yeah, good uh, good night, good morning, good evening, everybody, wherever you are. Thank you for having me. Uh, to start with, um, I think um, I next should be uh, independent and they should be firm in their decisions. I know that uh, Professor Jan Legoku said that. Uh, is very contented is very okay with uh, with them shifting it for another six, six days the timetable has, is there already it has been there not just uh, not just one month not two months not three months not four months it has been there for a very long time i think since last year since last year the uh, INEC of uh, INEC um, department has been talking to um all these political parties the, the timetable and their timelines, but now shifting it for you for 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 another six days to me it doesn't really make any sense for me, to me. It is it means that um, all what these people are doing they are just doing for their own selfish interest, not for the masses. Because um, you cannot say because of uh, because one political party came to you, uh, they need more time. Meanwhile, they had all the time in this world to have put their house together. But they didn't do it. Then they requested for another six days so that they can perfect their, um, perfect their, their um, whatever they want to do. Uh, but, but, but my question now is that even giving them that six days, does it, really, does it really mean that they are going to select a good candidate? Does it really, matter, does it really mean that? To me, I don't, I don't, I don't see it. To, to, to be to be okay I think it is very very independent I mean I next should be independent so if we are seeing this now just for just for primary and their shift they are shift they are shifting go goal post you can imagine what is going to happen during election maybe they we have one story or the other to tell us that oh well we are not going to have an election in, uh, in February next year okay we are going to move it to June because as we are seeing things now, they can do or not do. They can say, oh, well, because of security challenges in, the, in this uh, country, I'm very sorry we won't be able to have a have election. So the idea we can shift shifting goes post, which we already been hearing from 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 so-called some people who call themselves state uh, state uh, state uh, state men that uh, um, Buhari can stay for another another. Another four years. For, no, no, some, uh, there was a there was a, one of the something clerks from the creeks that was asking yeah. Buari to stay for another four years. Okay, because he is benefiting from the from the from from the loot. Because I don't know how somebody in his right senses will say that with what we what we've experienced in Nigeria. So go back to the issue of uh, INEC. I think uh, 
if they start compromising in little thing right now, so how are we going to show that the election is going to be fair and uh, free and fair? Even even that's why the fact that they are they they, they are they are planning to transmit it through electronic uh, method. How are we sure that it's going to be is going to be transparent uh, transparency? So that is my take on that. I I think it is very it is very bad. When you set your timetable, you've already give them enough time. You should be strictly stay on that so that the people will believe in you. They will have confidence in what you are doing. But with this, I don't think we really have confidence in them. But but I do, anyway. do you think this is shaping up to be an even worse election than 2019, which, uh, which we thought it couldn't get worse? But do you think this will shape up to be a worse election than 2019? Uh, I'm not going to say that. Um, if they can really manage that electronic uh, transmission of um, uh, vote, uh, votes, I think um, it will be a little bit much more better. But uh, in, uh, in, in terms of uh, security-wise, I, I don't think it's going, to, it's going to be worse more than, more than 2019. And when you're talking about the security challenges, I think in that aspect, it will like it will be worse more than uh, more than uh, that of 2019. But if we can stick with this electronic transmission of uh, uh, votes, I think it will a little bit curb the issue of um, issue of um, manipulate manipulation of results. You know what will happen with that electronic transmission of results? They will blame network problem, blame the well, telecom that is exactly what I want yes, to say. and then they will rig, they will rig it anyway. <laughs> they, they will say, "Ah no, <laughs> the network problem. The network was bad. The signal, I couldn't get signal. I got one bar, you know." And one man, you know, you know, you know, you know let, let me just kiss you, right? You know, they can, they can, they can just send their talks there and mm. take and and just and just rank, ransack the whole place and take the whole the whole electronic machine. In fact. Well, like you like, like you said, we might even get it worse more than 2019 because these people they are they really mean business. I think God will save us in Nigeria. But funny is, enough, there, there is nothing in the process so far that inspires okay. confidence. There's no they, can, they can send you yeah. yeah. go and take up the take up the take up the machine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then so, again, um can you guys hear me? Yeah, perfect. Yes, we can hear you. Yeah, um if you remember the argument were with the people that doesn't want electronic um stuff was because they say oh network but obviously even if there is network issue once you get to wherever network is the results will pop up so um should should that be an excuse truly if the oh network issue is not making them use the electronic because that's what um INEC used to back themselves up like even if there is network issue once they get to the where there is network, all the results will come up. So should that be an excuse in a way for a, it should that be a loophole for an excuse exactly to say, oh, there was no network, so we 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 we're solving using thumb printing or whatever they want to use. Well for you know? for that if that is the question, or you are just uh, making a statement, I think I, um, it's I like a question. Should that be okay. enough excuse? When elections start to say, oh, there was no network, so we resolve back to using Tom okay. because INEC really backed themselves up when they went to counter the, for, um, the people in the of, house, uh, house of Senate. Uh, house of Senate, like, oh, yeah. it's, it's not a problem if there is no network, it will still count when they get to where there is network. Uh, and INEC believe that, uh, okay, they can conduct it with, with that electric, uh, with trans transmitting uh, uh, the voters from results, the, yeah. mm -hmm. the results from that and uh, from the polling booth. But the question is that these people have been trying to, to manipulate, try all their way to go, uh, all every other means to go back to the, to the old ways. Like, oh, network is not going to work properly and they, giving different excuses, like you said. Mm. But even though uh, INEC backed themselves up that, okay, well, they should not worry about that. We are capable of transmitting the, the uh, um, results from, from the polling booth to, directly to the database of INEC. But they, these people, they can do and undo. Like I rightly said, they can send their talks there. 
to go and take the machine away. Or you, it, it might be okay. Well, one day we just see that they buckled their high neck office and they took they, they took they took away the the, 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 the the machine. Then they have to resort in then turn printing. If if I, like I said, it's only God can save us in Nigeria. What even tells us the the materials have not been tampered with because exactly. they said they were moving. Really? They, yeah, they said they were moving. <laughs> they were moving materials up and down. And I remember back in the days. There are some places even by if election is Thursday, they are already thumb printing since Thursday That's to right. go hard to the ballot, you know. So mm -hmm. if they've been moving, because I don't see why if the guy is not gonna leave the place, you force him to leave. But why moving? Why are you gonna move the material of an election that has a lot to do with people's uh, life uh, and move uh, it away from a location? I think transporting in the midst of transportation, self, a lot could go on with those batteries. Exactly, you are you are very very correct in that because you know remember they can turn print. It's this turn printing. They will see turn print, but it's just that you you where you can't write there, you transmit it right away. So anything can see happen. They can they can buy their ballot paper and put it in their room and, and start on printing, turn printing, turn printing. Then when the, when that day comes. They just send their talks to go and to go and scatter the whole polling booth and put and replace the replace the one they've already uh, uh, thumb printed, replace it with the one that is there and take the one. Should, should, they, not, should they not be thumb printing on a tablet though? Okay, so, that they, every, so they remove paper completely from the process. Yes, if they if they do that, that might, I think you have you have a very good idea of mm. what would have been the best. If they do that way, I think that we that that will not really cover cover well, cover it too, but well it will much more much more better than turn printing. Then you transmit the results from the polling booths to the database of uh, INEC. Because if, if they are turn printing on a tablet and that tablet is electronically linked to a server, which to, hopefully to the they have now, which they told us they didn't have in 2019. Even you don't have to transmit any as soon as your thumb printing is registering. Exactly. You know, and mm -hmm. and that's where it's registering. All the journalists are there, so they are seeing the numbers coming in. Mm -hmm. So it makes it even harder for them to burden a course, you know. Yeah, but is that but is that not why it's electronic? <laughs> it should be thumb printing on the tablet. Uh, on the tablet. Mm -hmm. But yeah. my problem again with this election is you know, when the guy one of those guys came out and said the voters' registration, like is he they say it was like 40 percent that was valid or something <laughs> so they're already That's, building up the narrative for Regan. yeah you know that it was 40 percent registration that was valid then again i saw on some social media that they were sharing some link for people to go and register for their pvc or so so <laughs> so if you as an INEC official is coming out to tell us oh a lot of people that are registered is only 40 percent that is validated that is valid in their registration so that means other a lot of people have pvc in their hand right now that they can't even vote when election day comes so how are you trying to solve those scenarios but when, when Tinubu was saying the pvc has expired they were they were throwing stones at him yes yes yes, yes. <laughs> you know? So me, I'm thinking, is that not what the, is that, those are the things I next should be working on and not even listening to anybody about extension if you have totally refused extending. Exactly. Exactly. Sorry, we are getting it wrong. Okay. The the templating will still be manual. Is the tr transferring of the result that will be electronic. Okay. So the thumb printing is gonna still be on paper, but after counting the results, then the result will be transmitted electronically. So that so is what's was, what the difference from what was happening before. Yeah, that is so what we are saying too. Thing. That's what so we are saying. No difference. We we, we are saying, that saying that because no no before they are not transmitting it electronically. They will write the results and take it to the to the collation center manually but now they are they will be sending it electronically to the collation center before taking the manual one okay so thomas, it's quite different thomas what we are what we are what we are discussing here is that maybe you don't really understand it correctly 
I, I could be wrong as well. What we are saying is that we are not saying that it's not going to be transmitted uh, electronically. But we are discussing about the loopholes that can still affect that transmitting of a voter's uh, result from the polling station to the database of INEC. Remember, you are, you are turn printing. I am saying they can still send their talk having been turn printed in their own house fill so many ballot uh, ballot boxes and tell their tell their uh, talks give them guns go to polling booth uh, scatter those people who are voting over there replace the, the replace the ballot box the one they've already vote they, they've already voted in, in, in their room bring it to the polling station put it down there remove the one that is there and take it away so it will still go back to the same way it is the result they can't hear they are going to transmit i think you get if you get what i'm saying uh, so all right we, 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 we are talking about the loopholes hmm. that is even still that we can still see in this issue of uh, transmitting of uh, of uh, voters uh, voters uh, result um, uh, to, to oh, I, 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 think, I, I, I just think want you Thomas... to clear me. Oh, um, is what Thomas saying the real fact about this election? I, I, I don't know that to be the fact, but uh, <laughs> you know, I don't know it to be wrong either. So I, that's why I didn't say anything. But I, I don't know. Uh, but uh, if, if they are not doing it on the tablets, then the whole thing is a nonsense. Yeah, you it's know? nonsense. Yes, then, because no, well, that means right. what yeah. are we talking about electronics yeah. all this all these months yeah. about electronics? That means it's rubbish. Yeah. I don't know if Adele Kuko just came on whether he, 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 he agrees with what Thomas is saying too. Because uh -huh. I mean, I'm not sure that's the thing. I think it should be thumb printing on the tablet. Then yeah, it's I automatically. Think, I think that would be the best idea. Yeah, it auto, but if you are still using paper, what's the point of all this argument that we're having? Well, on, on? Are, we, we, because they can still they can still manipulate it. They man, manipulate it. Uh, you want to transmit the result? Some some people can still uh, thumb print it ten at a time. They can they can give ballot paper to one party agent and just go to one corner and start thumb printing. Thumb printing is that? Do, do you have any integrity in that? No, because the same. The woman, same, can I come in? Woman. Yeah, co yeah come in, Tony. Yeah. Yeah, so I consider you yourself, you don't cool down, say so you don't tire you, eh? the situation don't tire me, you know, <laughs> you know, yeah, it don't tire me, the way, you know, the way I'm, uh, Baba Kuregeri talk and I like, uh, all those talks who come, shoot guns in the air and all those kind of, you know, that is you totally know. animalistic, uh, you know, I mean, I don't know what, what is wrong with us, why we can't just get not nothing right, we can't even yes. get delegate right, we can't get this right, we can't get that right, so where are we going? I want to make give me also. The, this, the election is shaping up to be the worst we have ever had. You know, because <laughs> INEC does not look like they know what they are doing. APC does not look like it knows what it's doing. Mm -hmm. PDP certainly does not know what it's doing from PDP to be narrative. So the first bit, there's nothing you can be confident. We are not filled with confidence that this thing is in hand by people who know what they are doing. There's no indication mm -hmm. that anybody knows what they are doing. They're very frustrating. So frustrating, huh? Yeah. It's a, it's a mess. Oh, but, man, did, uh, you, did you see yeah. that? Uh, did you see that uh, interview uh, speech that Wiki was giving, and uh, and he just pointed to some people somewhere and told the police to go and arrest them because they are making noise. Imagine I, when I, that man, I, I, that I, man I didn't becomes, see that. Uh, no, yeah. he just say go and arrest those people. Man. <laughs> Imagine yeah, but is that, what, is that not what they all do? Do you remember the press conference <laughs> by Faneka Yode that some journalists asked him a wrong question and he told his orderly to go and beat him up? Yeah. Right Imagine right there. That. Do you remember that, Ababa Yes. I yes. remember yeah. that story also. I remember. So I'm just wondering uh, if someone like Wiki is there, are you sure this your platform will still be? <laughs> yeah. he, will just, he will just tell the British, uh, you know, to help them bring the other man called Woman. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't worry. Yeah. They, 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 they will bring you first. So we are all in the we, 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 we breakfast as your as your as your champion we say. We will have the breakfast. Uh, but uh, Baba, let me take you to a different space. Uh, that Peter will be narrative. We discussed it at length just at the last session. Wondering where he's going to park his much vaunted supposed popularity. But it looks as though now the Instagram babe called Peter will be has landed at Labour Party. Was this your expectation? And what do you think it will profit from there? 
a baba kore i think um uh in dbc is uh, is it it was it in dbc uh, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I think I think whatever I, I think whatever he says I think whatever he says I will have to go with him because it seems he is getting right information from right angle. <laughs> no, no, that was uh, X zero, X zero. Oh, it was a zero. Okay, yeah, yeah. A zero said, yeah, yeah. 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 In CBD, they never get anything right. You for, know for the past yeah. for the past few days, I think it's um it's um information is always genuine and correct. Because I think he mentioned yesterday, though I, you know, I was listening at the background. He mentioned that uh, uh, Peter B is going to go to Labour Party. However, uh, I know that some people said, "Oh, he should have gone to Apga and uh, this and like uh, Professor Jaleko mentioned." I think uh, going to Apga wouldn't have, uh, would not have been the best option for him. I think uh, Labour Party is a little bit uh, better than Apga because Apga is a regional. Uh, we can say regional party, but the Labour Party is is not. They, they may not have a governor or have a um, have a representative, but it is spread across Nigeria. Now, I think uh, Peter Obi uh, may have a very big chance, and in the sense that um, you know uh, people like uh, uh, Agbakoba, Femi Falana. Uh, Jiga and uh, some other prominent people like that, they are forming third, third force. And it happens that uh, this Labour Party, is, it seems that they are all of them going to merge into that uh, metamorphosis, so, in, meta so that uh, la uh, Labour Party. That could be the reason why Peter will be just, okay, well, or you, we, 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 you never can tell. Maybe those people already see what is going on and they just... Oh, you just come to this party and then we will support you. Because based on what I made to understand, uh, these people are they are trying to convert some uh, some other little little parties, join them together and make a third force. So if that is the case, you never can tell Peter Obi may, may, may eventually be the president of Nigeria. Yeah. To me, I'm not going to doubt that based on the calculation that is going on right now. That is my own but, 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 but what are you making of the Igbo exodus from PDP? So as soon as Peter B left, they all packed their their, their red caps and they left the place. Ikerimedo has left to go and join Peter B in a mm -hmm. Labour Party. Okay. Abaribe has left. I'm not quite okay. sure where his destination is. Okay. And really, all the senior voices in the PDP, mm -hmm. they, all the senior Eastern voices in the PDP, mm -hmm. they are all living. And you have to say in sympathy with Peter Obi's move. Uh, so um, the, is this a cleansing and evil one, cleansing? One, in the one man, PDP? one man. Let me tell you something, right? Hmm. Like me, I'm not. A, I'm not. I'm not um, a Peter Obi's fan. But I just tell I just tell you what I'm what I'm reading from here too, because uh, all politicians they are all the same. They are all thieves. It doesn't really matter if that bit or be or whoever. Because uh, some people are saying, oh, he never he never did this. He never you want to trust politicians, right? Even in the Western world, politicians are all the same. So let's forget about that part. Now remember, Southwest are they saying that oh some Eda 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 statement in the Southwest. They say oh well it is Ibotan. When you go to Middlebet, they say, oh, it is supposed to be Ibotan. Then when you go to East, they say it is Ibotan. So South South in general, South in the southern part of Nigeria, they say, oh, it is Ibotan uh, time. Let's just say now. Let's say Tunubu did not get tickets. Right? <laughs> Let's say Tunubu did not get tickets for APC. Then uh, maybe I may she get the tickets then uh, uh Atiku, as we are reading it to read get the tickets so what do you think is going to happen <laughs> mm -hmm. so so technically all these people that have been clamoring that they want it they, it's supposed to be both term that is where they will go that that labor party that is where everybody will go and you see this Femi Falana, um, what's the name of this man? Agbakoba and um, Professor Atari Rujiga and all those people. Mm. I am telling you, with this small, small uh, party that convite themselves together, that is where they, they are going to go. So before you know what's happening, you just see the narrative change. So, so is let's uh, continue reading. 
So it's red caps and yellow gary all round at Labour Party now. Uh, so so let, 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 let okay now look at this like a, a Kremado left PDP and uh, all those all those people uh, left PDP. Just wait. Let Atiku get the ticket, and let the ticket miss Tinubu. Then you will not yeah, see. Uh, uh, you Ababa Kure, leave even uh, those uh, Kuremadu and even Peter will be to some extent. And someone for the fact that uh, Abaribi, you know who is Abaribi in the in the east, the uh, one man. You don't the need to no, no, uh, he's a big, uh, yeah, you know, he's one of the names that I respect. Uh, uh, exactly. Abaribi, Soludo, those it's are the names I respect. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I'm so, telling you, if Abaribi tells the, the east, how everybody go out from PDP, I'm telling you, the, I'm not talking about politicians. The, 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 the masses, they will all leave PDP. So but let, 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 let PDP. just wait until until when they finish their primary, then you will now see. But uh, these people, they, 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 they know what is going on. They, they read better than us because we are not politicians. We are just we are just reading on the surface. So and I think a zero may be better understanding of uh, he has better understanding than us. <laughs> yes, this is, don't, don't say that too loud, Leo, because it's coming back now. now we will not be able to say this big already. So, <laughs> Baba Kure, I, I yes. agree with that, your thought, though. You see, um, things will change after the primaries of the PDP and APC. And, like, for example, like you said, if Tinubu did not get a ticket and Atiku gets the ticket in PDP, it will change the narrative a bit, and I think it will favor Peter Obi's move. And for me, I don't even see why people want Peter Obi to go and join Abga because Abga is people; they will work for him, you know. So fingers crossed, though. But I agree with your with that thought. Though. I agree. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, all right. Uh, so, so Babakure, let me take you to another talking point. Boadi has now given a, a, a direct instruction to Abdullahi Adamu to prune the uh, presidential aspirants in the uh, APC down to 10. So they have 28 people at the moment, but by the time he gets back from holidays or wherever he is, he claims to be on a <laughs> seminar, Boadi <laughs> wants a list of 10 and he will pick one from that 10. So what are you making of this, this uh, directive? Ajane Koko insists that it's anti-democratic, but I feel that the field is too busy with people like Tunde Bakari and just empty noise, a, a lot of them. So he wants a list of 10. So is this the right thing to do? And then he says he will pick one, but is that also democratic? All of that, Baba Kure. Well, thank you for that question. I, To me, I, I, I think... Um... To me, I will say it is uh, a good idea in the sense that uh, because, like you said, it is too busy having 28, uh, 28 uh, candidates aspirants, yeah. aspirants going for the one, one ticket. I think it's too busy. Uh, and I think uh, uh, it, it will keep them on their toe. So giving them a mandate to have uh, just 10 candidates, I think... Um, I think it's, I mean, 10 uh, aspirants, I think it's the best, uh, best bet. But for him to say that um, he is going to, he will support, uh, I don't know if, if it is you make it up or that is, that was what he said. For him to say that, okay, where well, I will decide who, I, I, will, I will pick one out of them, that is. No, no, that's, that's what he said. That's what he said. Yeah, um, that, but that part is not, uh, shouldn't have said that. But for them to, 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 to cut it down to 10, that is okay. But, oh, I will, then when I come back, I will, I will support one out of 10. That is out of touch. You shouldn't have is, said that. This is the headline, Baba Kure. It says, uh, Buhari directs Adamo to prune APC presidential aspirants to 10 to name successor afterwards. So it, give me a list of 10 and I'll pick one, essentially. So but I, then, I, I, I think that is a, that is a uh, very wrong move. So uh, for, uh, the, is, in, uh, in a democracy, uh, by the way, yes, in a democracy. I mean, give them instruction to, 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 to cut it down to 10. That's a very good idea. But like I said... Telling them that okay, then you will pick one out of them. Mm -mm. That is, you should have just leave that ten. If he said okay, well, cut it down to five. Well, that is still okay. Let those five go to the feed. It is you know who you want to support. So then, but like saying it publicly that you want to support uh, one of one out of ten. That is okay. that is not good. One man, oh, one man, oh, please, oh, oh. sir. One, one man, please, sir. Please, mm -hmm. just very little bit. Uh, yeah. Baba Kure, you yes. are in Canada. 
you shouldn't be supporting that a, a president should be coming to influence the, the, the political process at all. This guy should have had his face, whoever is the president should have his, his or her face. One man is in England, I'm here also, this, but they don't interfere. Then they said they will be shaking. Look at Trudeau last time, Danny Justin Trudeau. When he was, uh, you see, it was about losing the election, but he didn't go out in flames. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. 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 We also we have to encourage his foot to continue. What, what is meaning of trimming down to 10 being uh, encouraged? You know, okay. being encouraged. No, okay. they shouldn't interfere at all. Thank you, sir. Okay, okay. Uh, now, now, you see, you see, you see uh, Buari is the, uh, I would say, maybe leader of the party right now. He can he can tell them oh, well, I think the best thing for us to do is to have just 10 uh aspirants among these 28. Where I will not support him is if he is trying to influence, which is already which he has already done anyway, like influencing uh INEC timetable. <laughs> that is the part that I will not support because he is interfering with other parties. So, but based on his own party, okay, well, we don't, we only want 10. That's okay. So, if that answers your question, that is my own opinion anyway. No, yes. no, 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 that, uh, that uh, he will come and pick one later and then we are sanctioning them. The fact is that the fact remains that uh, this election should not hold place because, you know, you, you know, it you know, should not take place. That uh, we should also look for that topic. I think one man should be looking for that topic to be discussing here no, because no, this so, is... No, don't worry. Let me pick the topic, but uh, okay. it, it's, at, it's at your discretion if it's for you or not, but uh, let me pick the topics. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not, no, I'm not suggesting that. I'm just saying that probably if you have all that topic, also you'll be bringing it up. You know, we are also happy to prepare your your your. No, 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 that's pitch. fine. Uh, it, it's yeah. essentially... Uh, um, it's, it's a political uh, discussion platform, platform. Okay. which is okay. based on Nigerian politics. So what else will we be talking about other than, and we do sometimes human interest occasionally, but essentially okay. it's a political. Uh, but uh, uh, Kore, just allow a, 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 a small window. This uh, chap, uh, uh, some tech, he says he has uh, a, a, an expert knowledge of how the Nigerian electoral process works, having worked within that space. So he wants to give us an inside uh, understanding on the workings of Nigerian politics. So some take, uh, let's hear from you. Some, some take Hello. space. Some, Hello, good evening. Uh, yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Hello, good evening. Carry on. We're... Yeah, good evening. Yeah, we can hear you. you. Carry on. Hello, good evening. Can you hear me one man? We yes. can hear you. If you can, can hear me. Hear you. You. Carry on. Oh, oh, all right, it's from Afghan. Are you in Afghanistan or something? What's going on? <laughs> eh? yeah. Oh, it's not oh, poor. All right, uh, oh, all right. <laughs> this is uh, Wama. Wama, good morning. Good, good morning. Uh, uh well, peace. I was uh, watching your last night's uh, session. I couldn't because I was carrying my son, you know, but we just uh, he was, he was crying all night, so I couldn't join the section. Well, anyway, I just so, woke uh, up, yeah, I yeah. met uh. Baba Korea analogy about uh, how people are jumping from party, how they're going to make Labour Party great again, like Trump Party, which is funny to me because we all have our opinion and we all like to assume in Nigeria that things will just work the way we think or try to say it. Any of that that's going to Labour Party, they're going to Labour in vain. <laughs> that's just a simple you, truth. You've been waiting to use that line, haven't you? <laughs> you look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you not doing rehearsal before coming on? You do rehearsal. Look at this guy. <laughs> no, the truth of the matter is people are shouting that be left labor. And my good friend in CBD that I follow for bumper to bumper, I will always follow him. That I once I better be say Bush should leave the part APDP, or then we leave. But I'll be left. Nobody has left. Uh, uh, I better be run to Africa. You started Hold again on. with your Hold with on. your Hold on. Wild assertions without Hold any on. Is that what our assertion? Oh my God. Hold what on. Assertion. Baba Akure has the floor, you know, and Baba Akure doesn't like yeah. nonsense. So uh, 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 hold on. I don't want to. I don't want to say anything. Oh, oh, okay. So, have... Sorry, in CBD. Let 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 um World Peace have his insertion so we can get back uh, to Baba Akure because we are now yes, in late uh, hours. Yeah. Yeah. So, so nobody has left now. That is a white. So, no, we've already state said state. now. Uh, uh, Equiremadu left to join uh, uh, Peter Wayne in, in labor, about. and Abaribe hmm? left to go back to Abga. Yes, those oh. were left because those were left because they didn't get ticket. They didn't leave because uh, uh, Peter B left there. 
They want mm. to make the Igbo to get the Igbo commit to get the presidency or to show you, that you don't uh, you don't think a Senator Baribe would have gotten the ticket for Abia State? Who will get she didn't get it. Didn't get it. So he didn't get it. That's why he left. All right. He didn't get it. That's why he left. So losers. So losers. <laughs> so, so losers. So oh, they are living for their greedy interest, individual interest. When you start acting one, individually, they would not man. make one man, you know what is what is you know you need to be reasonable and you need to be analytical. What you are, what you come here to say sometimes, is like you don't you don't think it through. You don't think it through. No, you no, just come no, in. No, 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 no. Hold on. Play the no, ball, not the man. Play the no, ball, not the no, man. He just came in. You, yo, yo, no, no, no. I have to be. I, I have to I be allow this. you. I, I allow I you. Express I feel, feel like, no, 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 no. I mean, don't get emotional. You know, you know. I'm going to have to make the decision that if in CBD is on, I won't let world peace on, and if world peace is on, I won't because the squabbling, you know. No, but it's external <laughs> talking now. It's external talking now. Yeah. The problem yeah. I see in world peace is that you don't want to give reason a chance. You are rather antagonizing. A man moved from a party. Everybody said, oh, he's not going to be president anywhere. No, but no party is going to accept him. Eventually, he gets a president a ticket in, or he's probably getting a ticket from another party. Now, the problem now is is laboring in vain. Why are you so antagonistic? <laughs> No, no, he's right. not impressed now. That's it's his your, opinion. He's entitled now. He's entitled. Well, yes, but you, can have, your, you can have your opinion, but you cannot say a man labors in vain. If they tell listen, you that your all your labor is in listen, vain, how would you feel? Listen, that's his uh, opinion now. Peter B is a, uh, Peter B is a public figure, so he, 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 he will get the lashing now. It's a uh, you, you, that's why he's not. Are we not public figures? A zero. Yeah. Mark Rafa came here two days ago. He said something. Could, you have not even finished his statement. You can't tell him it. You know. When we talk about Tinubu here, Shaki Shaki Daddy, you don't. You laugh. You don't get emotional. We talk about other people. You don't get emotional. It's politics. I'm speaking about no. the public domain. So don't God be, may God thing. bless you. May God bless you for that statement. When Tinubu was talking, was he not shaking? And we said this man is not well. But Peter will be but from you, know, you have his medical records. I didn't we say he's not well. I just said he's making. All right, let's go. Let, 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 no, 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 so, so sorry. I, I don't want yeah. to go. It's because we're 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 we're, 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 we're we're in deep hours now. So let's anyway, just get, was, let, let, let's get back to Baba Kure. Oh, hold on, Adi. Let, let, let's let's get back to Baba Kure and let him just continue with his thoughts. Uh, Baba Kure, you were speaking of uh, um, Peter Obi joining Labour Party and the accoutrements mm -hmm. of uh, Eastern politicians that have left a PDP in sympathy, mm -hmm. some to join him in Labour mm -hmm. and others to other other spaces. So you are saying how that would uh, work out for Peter Obi? That is the way I stand on that. Uh, mm -hmm. That is my own opinion. You may not buy to it, but uh, like I said, I am not a fan of Peter B. And, uh, and I also mentioned that uh, saying that Peter B is not a corrupt person, uh, all politicians in the world, they are all the same. Uh, you are talking of Canada, you're talking of UK, you're talking of US, they are all politicians, they are all the same. It's just that they're a little bit better than one another. Now, like I said, if Tunumbu did not get the ticket and um, they give the ticket, let's say they give the ticket to uh, Ameshi, then uh, Atiku. And we'll be hearing from every quarter, because I will repeat it again, from Eda statement, from uh, uh, Pa Yuadibanjo, from uh, Edwin Clark and all those people, that, okay, this is time for Igbo presidency. Northern parts of Nigeria said they do they know they have to throw the ticket open, which they are still doing right now. So now let's say Tinubu didn't, didn't get the ticket, Ashibajo didn't get the ticket, ticket for APC, AP, it goes to Ameshi and Atiku uh, get the ticket. So then there is high possibility that Peter B is go, uh, Peter B is going to win the election because the the, the Southwest is going to support 
in my own opinion, support um, uh, the OB. South South is going to support OB. Then all the uh, vote from the from the east is going to go to Peter OB, and it will still get some votes from the northern part of Nigeria. So that is it. Oh, all right, Baba Kure, is this somewhat of good news? How are you digesting this? Senator Aishatu beat Ribadu to win APC Adamawa gubernatorial ticket. So this is the first time by my reckoning that any female candidate is getting any real chance of becoming a governor within the Nigerian space. As much as I loathe APC, I would like to see this woman win that election just to break through that glass ceiling. What are you then making then of this woman now coming forward to lead the female charge? Well, it's a, it's, it's a good news, uh, at least for Nigeria. It, uh, uh, it is showing that uh, maybe we are, will I say that we are, we are getting mature? <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> the funniest part of it is that that is just for APC because PDP will also come out. So now, how much is the influence of this woman in the states? I mean, in our state. She defeated Nuhu Ribadu, who, who was mm -hmm. the former EFCC. Just so forget, she, she about, just, just forget yeah. about Ribadu. When you're talking about right. uh, Posse, you saw, <laughs> you saw, <laughs> another yeah. woman. Uh, uh, all right. you just forget about Ribadu. That one is finished. <laughs> so, so, and you know, money. But she also, also defeated one of the ex governors of the state. So she built, she beat a very strong team to get that. It ticket. is still, it is still just that it is aligned with uh, Cancos. You remember the the new logo, the new logo for APC is that when you commit sin and you come to us, your sin is being forgiven. She might be the one of those that um, that uh, this uh, corrupt people really supported. That could be the reason why she won the won the the, the, the ticket. Which is okay anyway. But some people is I mean somebody is going to come out from a, a PDP. Some people is going to come from other party. So Baba Kure, yes sir. What I see playing out there is that the present governor possibly s supported that lady for that um, uh, ticket. Ticket for that ticket, yes. Yes, that yes. is why I want. Is yes. the is the is the candidate? She is the candidate of the for government. That governor. That's why okay. she won. So because she defeated good. she defeated the former. Is it not former governor? Yeah, the former governor, former, former governor. Yes, yes. 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 So field. The, yes. Okay. It's in the is in the political caucus, the political group of that governor within the APC, exactly. and that is the structure that we're talking about. All the time, exactly. When you so, don't have a strong structure, when you are, when you when you don't belong to a strong structure, you cannot win that kind of number one ticket in the party. You cannot win it, either yes. at the state level or local government level, or even at the national for presidency. You can't win it. So the that, governor that, is, the, I believe, it's back that woman, and that's why she secured that ticket. Uh, you can that, continue, back, right? That is right. But uh, we still we still have candidate from PDP. So how much do we really want a female governor in Nigeria? Because even in the United States, they did not allow Hillary Clinton to be the president of the United States. I'm, I know that Ajay Lego I, I know that with their Ajay Lego Exactly. Sorry, I know yeah, that yeah. Professor Ajay Lego will attack me on this anyway. <laughs> but I don't really care. I know for sure. United ah, States. Yeah. United, oh, States my <laughs> United States, they are not even mature to allow female to be the president. They can give them a senatorial there's whatever, whatever. Let alone Nigeria want to allow a female a female governor. Uh, woman, let's talk about that. That's it. Yeah, I don't yeah, see yeah, that I, woman I, go I, anywhere. I, 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 I think <laughs> Canadian <laughs> network, he took the words out of my mouth. I, I was saying, how possible is it in the patriarchal north? Exactly. Uh, and uh, exactly what Canada yeah. Network is saying. He yeah. says, uh, well, he's losing religion, but really, their system geared more towards a patriarchy, so I'm not quite sure. Yeah. So so they, they will say the woman want to be their, be their boss when they're supposed then, to be the boss. Then you will carry a bag for a woman. 
or where and they will start to stone her. They will stone her. Just forget. But <laughs> anyway, if he, if he, if she gets there, that is how God wants it. But to me, I don't see that. Somebody mentioned uh, Mama Taraba was the first uh, female uh, to get a ticket under APC. Yes, uh, uh, Alexander Gomez said that earlier as well. Yeah, so but, but I don't, don't know I, if I she don't, was on the APC though, but uh, I, I don't I don't see I don't see uh, a female uh, governor in Nigeria for now. Would you like to see it? I I I will of course like to see it. I, I would like I would like her to win the win the win the win the seat and the, the this white guy in the, uh sorry one man yeah. Oh, that, yeah one man I sorry like that guy, uh, that guy on the, the seat too sorry that guy on the comment section uh, that British uh, victim I think he's always coming to this platform. I uh, remember yesterday uh, when uh, Babati wrote something about Babi uh, and everybody was like furious. Can you check that guy's comment if it's okay? It says one piece want... is a uh, crumbled Benin kingdom supremacist. Those call of oh, oh God, uh, 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 all right. Uh, could, could one of the uh, could, could one of the uh, moderators delete that comment by British uh, uh, victim and put him or her on a five minute timeout? So sorry about that, war piece, but this is the okay. nature of how we go sometimes, sir. Uh, but uh, Baba, could okay. I, let, let me take you to the Simon Ipa space. So the, the IPOB movement they are seeing the dollars rolling into this guy's account. And for every dollar that rolls into his account, it doesn't come into theirs. Cease and desist. Don't steal money. Don't stop stealing our customers, essentially, is what kind of family is saying to Samonipa. So as predicted, do you think it has now turned into an open money fight within the Biafran agitation space? I, I think uh, that is uh, very, very wrong. If that really happened anyway. I think it is not a very good idea because... Uh, it seems that uh, they, are di they are diverting from the main cause of uh, of um, getting Biafra or whatever. So if uh, they are fighting, fighting dirty in the public, so it means that uh, the reason uh, for the agitation is being uh, messed up. So those as uh, as uh, Epa, I, I have been I've been seeing him for. Quite a while before before Namdi Kanu was arrested, he has his own program that was going on side by side with uh, um, Namdi Kanu. But um, when Namdi Kanu was arrested, I made to understand that uh, he was the person that was anointed to replace uh, Namdi Kanu. But um, I think if if I, I know for sure that they'll be making a lot of money anyway, uh, but. If things like this is going on, money money is always cause the problem between the between the two parties. So I think um, uh, things like this, we 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 of course uh, in that the the objective of of IPOB uh, um, uh, IPOB. Oh, oh, all right, thank you, Baba Kure. So um. The uh, river state space, river, um, 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 exactly, yeah, is Yem Sen Wiki. So, so, mm. so he's uh, setting up a probe to probe uh, all the lootings that Rotemir Amechi did to fund the Boaria uh, uh, first term attempt. Mm -hmm. Supreme Court dismisses Amechi's appeal to stop 96 billion naira fraud probe by Wiki. So if you are thinking that that 96 billion uh, naira was actually in 2014, so that's really uh, is nearly a, a trillion naira now in today's mm -hmm. uh, broken mm -hmm. uh, naira. So mm -hmm. he sold all of the um, gas turbines, all the electricity facilities. He stole uh, the rail system that they were going to, you know, similar to what they are building in Lagos intended for. He stole all of that money and cascaded it into Buari's um, uh, campaign thing. So uh, Wiki wants to probe him, and he's trying to probe that. Uh, he's trying to stop that probe for reasons of claiming it is a witch hunt. But the Supreme Court have now opened that space. So where is my money? Is what Wiki is saying to the uh, funny guy. What are you making of all that? Okay, to start with, it's not Wiki's money; it is River State money, anyway. Mm -hmm. But uh, we all know that Rotimi uh, Amishi um, uh, did. Are, are, are very good for 
uh, Buari, we knew that uh, he spent a lot of money. And I think uh, it's, um, it is very barbaric that he could go to that extent, um, selling um, public prop property uh, that uh, the, the um, people of uh, Portacos, I mean, River States, supposed to use for their betterment. And it is also good that uh, Supreme Court did not um, uh, yield to the APC government uh, for, for not uh, probing um, uh, Ameshi. Because um, we, we, we have seen so many, so many cases in which uh, APC government will interfere with, uh, with uh, either the judgment or whatever is going, to, whatever is going on uh, to the to the party members, so it is good that uh, Supreme Court stand on his uh, on uh, on his toe uh, to make sure that uh, the, the 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 justice uh, is prevailed. Though we have not we have not seen the fi uh, the the final episode of the of the case, but at least for what they have done, I think uh, they are heading to the right direction. And um, the same um, uh, Wiki also, he is not he is not a clean man. Somebody who is uh, who is fighting uh, fighting uh, somebody for 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 selling property, he should also wash himself also, and 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 whatever he has stolen, <laughs> because you cannot tell me that uh, the fifty million five hundred million that you are giving to people in the northern part of Nigeria when something happens, you cannot tell me that that's your money, you cannot tell me that's your salary, you you but cannot tell friend. me that. So he uh, yes should. These people under probe like Amechi be liable to contest in that country. No, no, they're supposed to be on suspension until when their case is done. Even this, it is just that even even in their party, one even in, even in their party, once the, the allegation has been leveled against you, it should be you suspended. supposed to be on suspension. Mm. We, we even in small small Caribbean island, when they find any of the any of uh, any of their member having a problem with the law, they just put them on suspension. Let alone Nigeria as big as we. So we we still have long way to go. We still have long way to go. We we really need to get our institution correct, get the, get it back to normal so that uh, we we do the right thing. But me, Amechi, yes, is he being accused or is he under probe from? The state government or from uh, the federal government? The state is government it, is instituting the probe, but he, he is wanted to use law to stop it. That is a political witch hunt. So, so, yeah. but the law. So, yeah. I, 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 know, I know where that person is going to. I know where that person is going to. Yeah. I, I, mean, I, I, could be, I could be wrong. It doesn't really matter. Even if it is just one citizen, it's not even government at this time now, just ordinary citizen level case against you and that case is the court your party is supposed to suspend you it doesn't really matter if that is if that maybe you want to try to to corner it that uh, shouldn't have been suspended for, like i like for, i said for the party the party where do they come in uh, in the in the whole scenario because most of these politicians have something against them almost all of them people are accusing them of stuff so i don't think the party will go by what uh, Unless maybe the person has been probably accused by the federal government. And so what do you mean the party? What, what party? Are, what, what are you talking about? No, he's saying the party should have suspended the uh, Amici because of the, the uh, yeah. Because that program. is right. Yeah, yeah, no, no, right. they should stop right. suspend him. But but then of course, I mean, we, we, I think we all have a good idea why he stole the money. Uh, as, yes, exactly. So, but in in, in a normal in a normal in a normal case, he's supposed to be suspended from the party. But uh, you know it is Nigeria, so everything goes. And APC, when you come to our party, your sin is being forgiven. But Wike said he's not going to forgive this. He said he has to jail Amishi. So let's see how it plays out. Well, he doesn't uh, have the power. That's what I'm saying. He doesn't have the power to do that, and he should to, let to do what. <laughs> he, 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 
and all these other people, ICPC and uh, mm. no, uh, mm. the, the, it should let the federal government, you know, deal with uh, what the federal government deal with the federal government, government on the state case. case. What are you saying? Now? This, 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 this is the funny thing court, people say on this platform. I, I wonder if they attend school. This is oh, federal no, no. government. There's a there's a state government, there's a local government. Uh, one exactly. man, I'm telling you, there, there's some there's something wrong. This guy, you need to control, you need to be able to uh, get no, no, the no, world no, war. No, 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 <laughs> Let me finish my point <laughs> now. Why is every time I want to talk, you <laughs> start talking? When I attack you, you now, you know, you start know, attacking. Every time I want to talk, I was even talking. I've seen, I've seen better behavior Listen. in the primary school. Look at I beg, that. I beg, I beg. What I was trying to say, Nigerians, we Nigerians, is this the problem? When it comes to something that we, we can use logic, we start using emotion. When we want to use emotion, we start using logic. I always like to speak from public space. We when time to see the truth or see what's really there, we start try to use logic. There's federal government, there's state government, and uh, there is local government. Where is the case is under the uh, state, state government? Fed, federal state government don't have jurisdiction there. If it's under local oh, government, oh, okay. I, state I, government don't have jurisdiction uh, there. I, I'm going to okay, give a okay, direct. Thank you. I, I'm yeah, going to give right. a. I'm, I'm going to give a. I'm going to give a direct instruction now. Uh, on CBD, please apologize to uh, World Peace. For, t for stealing chair marker from him uh, in form three. <laughs> so that chair marker, or is it uh, a B -A -A if you're my or Please, mm -hmm. I, I apologize for stealing that girl so we can just I, I move think, on. I, yeah? think I, I, I will yeah. apologize, but I think I will apologize for, for, for our sisters not giving him any face. Okay, so, so I will say thank you for all this because this has to, eh, is there some, is it, when two men are squabbling, there's usually a babe in between, but uh, so, 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 Baba Kure, thank you. Let's, I want to hear from this chap, uh, who wants to give us some insight into the workings of Nigerian politics. So, hopefully, we can hear from you now. Set uh, some tech, some tech space. Uh, can we hear from you now? I'm here now. Good evening. Oh, all right, brilliant. You said you had some experience with the Nigerian electoral process. Yes. Um, first of all, I partook in the last election. So the thing is this. When you're given the machine to go to the polling unit, the machine won't work. So you have to call them. You have to call everyone to come around. The last one I did, I had to use my... I just found out that this stuff is like an Android device. I had to connect to my hotspot to let it work because they're already shouting answer us, you guys just delayed us here. I connected to my hotspot and started working. So secondly now, you have to address them. Let's skip that step. So now, when they come in with their PVC card, you scan the PVC card. If you are if you are not in this world, it will not show. So after scanning, you give them the paper to thumbprint, they drop in the basket, in the, um, in the um, bag. So, once you scam some people PVC card, they are not in that world. They will stand and fight with you that this is their world. They have been voting on this world. And those um, PDP, APC, those party representatives, they will also fight you that this is their world. They used to vote here. When you see that this thing is turning to Wallow, you will tear paper for them to let them vote. But they are not showing on the machine. No. You've scanned their PVC on that machine. And it's not bringing out their details. We eventually turned out to let's give to that they will not beat us. We'll give them paper so that they will also vote. They will turn print and go. So when we get to the collation center now, the scanned um, cards, the scanned PVC cards, it will show on the machine. And you cannot submit it when the counted votes and the vowed votes. It, it must be equal to the scanned, uh, scanned paper. So now you've, you've given more paper than what you scanned. So when you just get to the um, collation center, we just minus maybe one or two from any party for you to balance so that you can go because you'll be all stressed out. You will just remove maybe one party own or anyone so that your counting will be balanced. Because for instance, you scan 200 and you have five um, 250 papers that you that you don't print. You will just remove figures from anywhere. 
and just balance the account and submit it to them and nobody cares. So I just hope this um, submitting electronically will work because people, Nigerians, you will tell them, when they scan their card, go, you are not in this world, they will start fighting you, that you've been voting in this world ever since and they must vote. So, and you are a stranger there as a core member or the uh, presiding officer, you have to let them vote for your own safety. You give them the paper to vote. So I think that was one of the problems they're facing. And is that is that the experience pretty much throughout all the voting units? Is that what your understanding? That's how it works right across the board. That's how it works. Most of my colleagues, when they come back, they say they almost want to beat them. Some people say they ran away when they wanted to beat them. Some will say they scattered their own polling units. Mine, it happened to me directly. The, these guys were saying they've been voting here and they must vote. We have to give them the paper to turn print. What state was this? Oh, hold on now. Um, no, hold on. There. Uh, the, this narrative of stuffed ballot boxes, do you, do you have any understanding of that? Already pre-stuffed ballot boxes. Do you have any understanding of that? I heard about it outside Lagos, but I didn't, I didn't have a direct contact with that. Oh, oh, all, right. Oh, oh, all right. And, and were you impressed by the process that you participated? Did you feel a sense that the people's voice were being heard in that process you participated um, in? Secondly, most of the core members they use, sorry to say, they are not qualified. Once they get to the polling unit to submit, to count, to add one and two, three, three together, it turns to a big problem for them. Do they, not take you through, do they take you through a training process? There is a training process for like two weeks that will go to a place, train, do this, do that. By the end of the day, when it comes to collating, like it's only a big problem for them. Some people cannot add one or two together to collate, add this party, add this number you can't. It's turned to big work for them. They wind up just writing anything and just so that they can... Because by that evening hour, uh, you are so stressed out. You sit under the sun from some some place. My own place, I would not provide shit for us. You will sit there by evening when you want to go and submit. You are so you just want to do everything and get out. So the process is not even the core members that they are not encouraged. The process is not smooth at all. Uh, Number uh, one, you have to yeah. sleep in the polling center that night because you can't move. We all slept on the floor. Yeah. Mosquito bites, everything. In the morning, we just brushed, washed our face and went to the streets to start um, doing the work. You won't sleep in your house. They won't provide shelter for you. You will just sleep anywhere in one big compound. So from there, you move out the next morning. So the, this, this, the environment is not suitable enough for, for the workers already. How, how do they perform a good job? What, what what about the bribing? Did you see any any of that uh, about uh, all these narratives that we hear about you guys being bribed? So how much did they no, give you? you? Okay. How much did you collect? <laughs> yeah. It's not like a bribe. It's just like okay, there is a certain amount that is being shared. Like the POs, you get ten thousand. No, not not from have... the INEC or from the parties. So how much did PDP no, yes, give you? The, how much the money did is already get? provided. It's already provided at the collection center. Hmm. So the POs, they collect like 5,000. People are assisting them. They share like, um, the POs collect like 10,000. People are assisting them, they like 5,000. It's just the hierarchy of people that work because the core members are like the superior there. So some people that apply to work for um, INEC that period, they'll just give them lesser amounts. So we don't even know where the money is coming from. But when you come back, you know you collect money. You don't know the party, you don't know anyone that brought it, but you just take that one as your take home. No, oh, okay. And what do, well, what do you understand that that money is for? What do you think the money is for? What's the what do you have to do for it? You just said they said it's from the parties for uh, some local. It depends on local government you are. If you're in local governments that are, are buoyant enough, some pay twenty thousand, some receive ten thousand. Some receive 5,000. It depends on the local, but we believe or we know it's from the parties. But you don't know it's from this, it's from this party, but you get it after each day work. Um, what, what was your overall impression of the process? Uh, aside really? the inconvenience to you uh, in terms of what, what was your overall in, in impression of the process? 
why I think about this is, is this again is this the core members participating and people participating. I think they are in my own world alone. I think we are more than 500. Taking 500 people out of the voters is a lot, and we have a lot of polling units in Nigeria. Try to know the amount of people that are taken out of the voters. What, what was that number vote. necessary? Was that number necessary? Yes, it was. Like each polling unit, we have like five people attending to the voters. Like each polling unit, four or five, at least four. So a ward we take like 500 or close to 500. How many wards do we have in Lagos? How many people are you taking out of the voters? That should, that's another big problem. I mean, just I can't come from my polling unit and come and vote in my house. That's a very huge problem again. That should be addressed. Did, did you think the process that you participated in represented uh, the outcome, at least from the from your own specific uh, area of operation? Did you feel what mm -hmm. came out of that space represented? broadly the will of the people did you think the will of the people held sway um yes to a certain extent because um why where i worked it was a close call between pdp and apc and overall in our center as well it was a close call between both parties it was a close call and that reflected in the voting that you saw that reflected somewhat yes. in yeah yes 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 and if you were to make three recommendations to improve the process, what would they be? I think it would be the thumbprinting. If you, once you scan the, some people have damaged their PVC card. Once you scan it on the machine, on the, um, on the machine, and it can't scan you, you should go. Home. So once you know you can't scan, you can go. Home. But once you know you can scan, I can still use thumbprint paper. They will still want to use paper, but you scan the card and use your thumbprint, you can go. The second one should be the people operating the machine. They should have a system for the INEC workers to vote as well because they are too much. To count a lot of people out of the voting system is too much. People working for INEC. So they should have a system also that will enable the workers to partake in the election. I think that should be it. Oh, all right. And what do you think the biggest problem with uh, Nigerian electioneering is? Is it the process or the people? So is it the electorates that are the biggest pro uh, pro problem or is it the people superintending the process? So what's the bigger problem, the people or the we, process? We already know um, we Nigerians, we need strong and and they should have a way to cop them, like a way to direct the people. We know people won't hear until you put uh, measures in place. So there should be measures to guide the people. Because if you tell the people like they should stay, this, stay in this place, they won't. They wouldn't. So the electoral, the commission, should have um, a way to align people to to the destiny, to the um, to the promised land. I think that should be it. Uh, from from your experience, do, do you think violence still plays a role uh, within the Nigerian political process? And if so, how much of a role? How significant was it, or did was it even still there at all? Uh, it was there. Um, in the in my own area where I worked, it was um, less of violence. But people that worked in areas like Moshi, they said they had to flee their polling units when they saw boys arriving some said they took their ballot paper i had a friend that had an experience that they said they ran into the bush that it was farmers that came to aid them the violence is still top notch the violence is still there and uh who, who are the voters in nigeria what demography did you experience who constituted the bulk of the voters at least where you had direct view uh who constitutes the bulk of the voters it's the elderly people the guys around they drink around, they would just play ball around. It was the elderly men and women that came out to vote. The mamas, the papas, the young men hardly vote. 
they will even come at the tail end that you're almost living. We've been here since morning. You guys, they said they want to vote. They've been busy since morning. They want to vote now. But well, we've been here since morning. Elderly people yeah, have been are, here. They are at Bet Niger, be doing us now, Chelsea. <laughs> they will come at the tail end that they want to vote. And we've been here since morning. But the elderly men, they will be there with us, sit, start and end with us. But the young men, I pray this time out, it will be different. Oh, oh, all right. And you participated in the last round, you said? Yes, yes. Did, did you notice that there was some sort of like organized voting blocks? Because we come on the assumption that it is uh, all these um, associations of market women, etc., that they are organized to vote. Was that the experience or are we just uh, being speculative? Um, I think when I said elderly people, they should count along the people that vote because the market women are not located in one area. They are spread across the country or the um, local government. So wherever they are, I believe they come out to vote because I see old women. Once once they come out, the men, the part of the mama, the APC, the PDP, the CEO, they usually come out in masses, the old people. And I wonder how they still have their PVCs as old as they are. They still keep them. They come out with their PVC to vote. Did, did you see party agents at the units offering some some of our, our financial inducements to sway votes? Yes, they even offered the um, they offered us um, they offered us money so we could rig the elections on them. So we told the man like, okay, see what we happen. This scanner is scanning. Once you put your PVC, once we scan like hundred PVC, if we count APC and PDP. It must be equal to that hundred. If we have void among, it must be equal to that hundred. So when we explained to them that we they left us, they came and offered us that. What you you didn't take the money. You should have take. You should have taken the money now and just tell to them that okay, we will do it. As if you'll be because, long gone. Eh? <laughs> no, we were, we were we were to count it together. All right. So they waited. We counted together, and they would take a copy as well. Each party uh, delegate or member representative, they, they will have to go with a copy of what we counted. They will sign and take a copy. So we explained to them that even if you want to do it, this is how it works. The machine scanned 100. APC should be 50. PDP should be 50. If it's 50, 30, then they will not receive, they will not collect this stuff at our uh, collision center. So that was how they left us alone that day. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us to give us a better understanding of how this process works and uh, what the faults are? So anything else that uh, you feel we should know? Um, I think that should be all for now. That should be oh, all for now. Oh, all right. So does anybody have uh, questions for same tech? Because we need to get, uh, now we have an expert, we might as well take advantage of it. So any questions for same tech? Yes, I have a yeah. question. Hmm. Related to the topic. Yes, I know now. It's about this election. Uh, this guy has already right. commented, uh, you know, uh, and they praised me also for my mm -hmm. contribution there. I saw him on the comment section. Welcome, mm -hmm. sir. I'm with you, sir. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your comments, you know, uh, et cetera, et cetera. You already said that uh, the system will continue to fail. And then uh, I believe you, sir. So, you know, so what can we do now? You know, I think it's better to cancel the election. And then uh, we, so, because we, so we ought to be having a, a national census, first of all. And, you know, and then a political structure, and then a, and then a new constitution before we can talk about the election to take care of those uh, obstacles you you know that you pointed out earlier on, sir. Don't you think so? I think I think the um, this system we have in place is is working. Scanning that PVC, and as well as using your thumbprint immediately you scan the PVC card. I think that should do. If they want to rig from the upper side, let's know that we we'll now face. Where the um where the collision is going, where the scanning mm. is going, but if we can eradicate it from the downstream, we we'll know that we have to face the database or wherever the information is going. So if the PVC scanning and the thumbprinting is working simultaneously, then we we'll know we have to face the database or the um INEC office where the results are going. Okay. Uh, uh Oh, all right. Then were there no police? So were there no security officers to to guard you guys to to watch over you guys there? There were there were no police officers or something. We go with police security. officers. They just hang around 
before you know it, they are two miles away, three miles away. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's not like they will enclamp you there. They will give you okay. 10 yards. They are always around, but they are not standby with you by your side. Sometimes. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. I'm with you, sir. Uh, oh, sorry, I just hold on a minute. Sorry. Okay. Um, uh, you, are, uh, you are a collection officer, right? No, PU. Presiding officer. Okay. Presiding officer. So when you people had when you people are doing that stuff, every party members like APC, PDP, MPP, whatever, supposed to have their officials around you guys, right? They came, yeah. We really sought to APC and PDP. You just answered my question. Thank you so much. Yes. The rest are no hopers, Abi. No hopers. And, and this yeah, is what we're to, oh, oh, so, 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 me, hold on. Let me ask a question. No, sorry, Adanle Koko, but what uh, I, I think the wider point, were you making the point for the Labour Party? Is this what you are making, uh, um, World Peace? I'm making, what, the, I'm making that point for all that new party that is coming, or even SDP that we're going to come up. This so when, 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 when we are saying any any party outside of the juggernaut parties, they're in nonsense. I think that answers that, but Adanle Koko, <laughs> yeah, to you. <laughs> yeah. Without um, the coalition, yes, I can agree that they might be insignificant. Uh, well, you've heard from a real But when there is a officer, coalition, the and there is a third, there when they when they can't even coalition. they can't even go and man to to make sure that they are they are they are, they are not being cheated. That is When you are hearing, hold on, hold on. Like Dan Deco wants to ask a question now. But when you are hearing structures, that is this is one of the that's. It. But Dan Deco go to you, yeah. Okay. Um. I want to ask our guy that has been telling us about um, INEC. Uh, do you think that we can have a successful election and and uh, and population um, census uh, same year? Yeah, I believe so. Reason being that the PVC card works efficiently. My PVC card cannot work in another world. It means they have a database already that is working. So if you can scan your PVC and make your thumbprint simultaneously, then the work will now be reduced to focusing on where these informations are going. They will have to create a unit like this world, as their votes are dropping, people are here monitoring it. So it's like lesser work and easier election that will be conducted. Because I've seen, like, I took my PVC card to where I worked. I scanned, and it didn't, it, didn't show, it showed that I wasn't in that. It scanned, but it didn't count to the number of scanned PVC in that world. So each world should have a reporting um center or reporting union that every journalist or everyone will look out at people are scanning and their thumbprints are dropping so from there they can collect each word to local government to states i think that will work no, all right and cbd you had a question i, I thought it was CBD had a question d did you have the, the oh, question? oh sorry sorry yeah. one more. Uh, yeah, no no, no I, I didn't really i was i was just trying to uh, make a comment and maybe it can also, um, uh, you know, uh, expand on it. Or, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I was saying that we, with uh, obviously as it is right now, I agree that these other smaller parties don't have that, you know, that structure and all that. But uh, it was just the same thing with um, APC before 2015. So if there's a strong coalition, and uh, and these people organize themselves. Don't you think that uh, they stand a chance? Uh, something. Maybe let's say all these uh, other political parties like uh, maybe Abga uh, uh, Labour Party, and maybe one or two other parties come together to you know be that third force. Do you think that they 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 will uh, you know they have a chance? Um, I only think they will have a chance. Like. For instance, this guy that was this APC uh, representative at our ward, he followed us to the coalition center. The only thing that happened was that they didn't allow him to where we were submitting ours. So the monitoring was part of the job. It was 
it's something that will keep take your result to like a safe point. So if they have someone monitoring from the war from the polling unit to the collision center, I think that will go a long way to helping this um smaller party per se. Okay, okay. Oh, all right, D. Do you have a question for, yeah, for something? I have, yeah. I have two questions. One question, first question is, do you think if the numbers of PO are increased, it will help ease the stress? Then, um, secondly, don't you think because in, in your boots where you have just PDP and APC, um, people monitoring the vote. Even the other parties don't really have votes there. Because I think if you um, the strong party in areas where they think they can give a fight, they always have delegates to monitor votes. Like in the areas where are called have, have strength, they will always have delegates there to monitor the votes. But where you have a party where they know they will just get two votes, and it won't matter. Obviously, they won't send anybody there to monitor anything. So I don't think it comes in play like what Peace was saying when it comes to Peter Obi joining Labour Party. Because when it comes to that time, Labour has, uh, they have um, quarters in all local governments in the nation. So they will have delegates to go and monitor election. So it's quite different from past election. So you can't compare it. So yeah, to you directly, do you think if you have more COP members assisting, like more POs, it would help? Okay. Um, first and foremost, um, they should provide a conducive environment for people that want to work. Um, my brother, we slept outside on open ground. All of us in one primary school on the open ground. That was where we slept overnight. In the morning, we just poured water on our legs and our face and we went out to the field to work. Mm -hmm. They should provide a conducive environment for people that want to do that work. Some people might be smelling safe that morning to work and you'll be smelling to people that want that you want to uh, work for. Attend to. Mm. Attend to. So yeah, I, I, hear, I won't lie. You are actually, you said the truth because I actually have some numbers of people because I have somebody that works as a top official in NYC and she got a lot of complaints with a lot of COP members that have gone to um, undo the election, which is similar to yours. The even transportation for some people was like hell. So it's more like of a struggle rather than what they should enjoy and um, be happy they participated in it. So it was more like a struggle. Even some people regretted the... the, the I said the, if yeah. they were going to pay me times two of that money, I wouldn't do it again. Again, exactly what they said too. Oh, oh, all right. Um, Xero, do you have a question for some tech? You said Xero has gone to have a beer to celebrate our... Uh, uh, the the prophet prophet x zero so prophet x zero we don't I, I think everybody has asked him uh asked some some, some tech uh, uh question so if any, if nobody else has questions for some tech i'll seek to start to round off here to land as about on Ajale Koko. so any other questions for some tech all right brother so 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 some tech good to have you so please try and join us regularly so you will be our sounding board you know for our all matters electoral and of course You'll be the golden man now for 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 the uh, pretty much till till September. So anytime you have the time to spend, please come and join us. So, gentlemen, we seek to start to round off, of course, to land on Ajanle Koko. We'll try Xero, who I think may have left us, uh, just to fulfill all righteousness. Xero, are you there? No, he has left. Uh so 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 thank you for. Ex uh, he, he came here to glow too, and he didn't even get the opportunity. But I'm sure he'll be back. You know, X Zero, he would never let it go. You know, we have to leave town now because of X Zero. So from X Zero, let's go on to uh, World Peace. So World Peace, uh, you didn't get the chance to hold the floor, so have the space now to have full expression. Uh World Peace. Okay. Uh, hold on, please. Uh, Mina Rusa and Papa Hanashi, Makata. 
Yeah, uh, hello. Uh, look at this man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have to tell my children. Mm, Saturday mm. they're playing all over the place, it's making good. noise. It's good. Yeah. yeah. So um, quickly, I didn't have time to. I was sleeping. I wake up late because I was looking after my child, uh, my son, and but I was watching the uh, the section of, from my bed, just listening to everybody about the, the lady in the north. That would be a good move if they allow her to to finally get. She, since she has gotten the ticket, if they allow her run and win the, uh, the governorship of that state, it will be good. At least we will see the North are changing their ideology a little bit. But I know it will be difficult, but let's but just They will be ahead of the South because we've never had one. Yeah, the, true, true, true. Yeah. yeah, that's very, very good. That's very good. That's very, very, very good. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So at least let's see if that will start changing our political space narrative, you know. I give that to them. That of uh, uh, Samoepa, eating money, uh, IPOP, complaining. Well, it's not new. We see when they, uh, when they arrested, uh, or like say, let me use the word that they would like, kidnap or addition, uh, Kanu. Arrested. <laughs> arrested. Or, yeah, yeah. So you see how they, before you knew, before two months, they were all falling apart, fighting their silver money. So I'm not surprised that uh, Samuel Ekpa, uh, they are accusing him of stealing. It's, it's the election season, so there will be more money going to, going to his account. And that's to show you the kind of graph they want to get when they get it. So that's their own problem. So it's for them do, to do solve you think, it. Do, what do you think is driving Simon Ekpa, the ideology or the money? It's the money. Because you have seen the money involved. So he's forgetting that he's picking away from the ideology right now. Is becoming more of like a political godfather because everybody's calling him now to get in support, to get what to get to get his people to get in line of what who to support or not to support. Not like in a fair way, you know, in the ESM way, you know, who the threat not to threaten. So he's enjoying it right now. What his master was enjoying before, you know. Please just hold on, just give me a second. Let me close this door. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I told you people before. So uh, that is for some America. but it's a pity though, it's a pity if they have gone this far on in this struggle, just to start showing their to start making us see this kind of stuff coming up about money. Uh, is a very big pity. But I won't say anything. Time will tell. We are all here watching them. Time will tell. That is for the <coughs> IPOB uh, situation. Now coming to the political space that really that is really bringing us here, you know, we are here to learn. And to share opinion, share look at the facts, and facts as numbers, and numbers don't lie. People have the right to decamp to any party they want to go to, but look at the time. You cannot form a bigger party anymore. This cabal that is playing this politics, they are not stupid. The time Tunibu make uh when time Tunibu form APC, APC I think it. Correct me if I'm wrong. APC was formed like eight months or a year before the election, or be two years before the election. Am I wrong, one man? Yes. So that gives you time to have structure to bring people into the party. And when APC was formed, people moved from APC, I'm sorry, from PDP, ABGA, every other party to one party to make it strong. Now, what we are saying right now, instead of we to replicate that, Rather, everybody's moving to their own individual party. When you know the time factor is not in anybody's side anymore, you cannot form mega party anymore. You cannot, uh, uh, people cannot join PDP, SDP now, and uh, um, Peter join uh, Labour, uh, Equal Mary, uh, 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 join Afga, then suddenly they'll come and form uh, mega party. It's not going to happen anymore. He said United will stand, divided will fall. Now they're already divided. That shows you the vote is already divided. So anybody going to all this mushroom party, they might win in that region, but you're not going to win the presidency. It's the structure that matters. Even in America, England, Japan, in anywhere they pass democracy, there's always two or three mega parties. The rest are mushroom parties. When you leave your mega party what and go piece? to the party, what you piece? take time to build it. Eh? What piece? Don't you yep. think the uncertainty of these two major parties, like you call them, can actually enhance 
the chances yeah. of Obi getting other people decamping there because obviously a lot of people after these primaries will be hot and they will want to move. And already this guy has been making ads means with other people, a lot of people in the country are clamoring for him. So I think the the situation of the country's politics right now is quite different from what we've had from the past. With the way things are playing out, anything can happen. And I think his move was smart because at the long run, even Abga will vote for him. So I think it was wise not even joining Abga. So, and I think with the way things are playing out right now in all these parties, he might have a way of helping this guy with the election. It is only if now they, they rig the election, then he might not have a chance. Uh, DOJ, can I answer your question now? Because your question was yeah, long, true. like a question and the an answer. It, but, uh, it, yes, me... but, uh, but answer the question, but then follow through to the closing remarks because we're back, taking yeah. closing remarks now. So I yeah. know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, DOG, uh, what you just say from how I say emotional part of it is possible, but for the factual part of it is impossible. It cannot happen. We should stop the dreaming. It cannot happen. I've got to have their candidate, they will vote their candidate. They have their followers, their followers will vote for them. Like, let me quickly say to that guy that was, that the INEX guy that just came, that systemic guy, she be, in election, what people don't know, before you join any political party, you have to check what structure they have in every local government, world, meaning how many candidates they have, how many registered voters in that world, how many uh, in your party, how many registered voters you have in that party. From that party, I mean, in that world, I have like 1,000 people who are APC member, who are Labour Party member. Those are the things you check. So when you go to where you want to get, you want to get, a, you are expecting Agba to vote for you in their own world against their own people. That's impossible. That's just my answer to you. It's not going to happen. So let me quickly finish my closing remark. Um, <laughs> but what uh, is the guarantee you have? They won't. It's politics. It's Nigerian politics. It's dirty. So just leave it like that. Um, in uh, Tabi going to labor, it's good for him, but he's not going to win the presidency. We should remove emotions. He might start building from there for the for the next four or eight years. But this very election we are saying, you cannot beat the power of equivalency. If the power of equivalency is not important, Tinubu that left. APC since they will not be begging uh, uh, Jonathan to come to APC. So I think we will not be because people have left uh, PDP since to MPP or any northern party. If the northern part is the, just the major force, those two parties are very important. So you see, all the key players are still waiting in that party. That is the fact, and that how it's going to go. We can say anything, we can think anything, we can use emotions, but at the end of the day, that two parties will have their way. That is for that is my opinion. I came late, but it's not everybody that can come early. But thank you, one man. That that all I have. Then quickly, uh, people in the comment section, move now, like, share. Now, if you're not like me, Muna press that like where well, well, so that one man will let me come here again. So I thank you, people. Oh, I thank Ajari Koko. I said it. If you get us to a hundred, <laughs> we will ban uh, World Peace permanently. <laughs> So thank you, Wapi. So, so I know you only come here to poke at in CBD. So in CBD, your words. So in CBD to you. In CBD. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I think um, everybody have said uh, important things. Um, you know, so at least me, most of us. I don't think everybody, but most of us. So yeah, but I think. Uh, uh, yeah, like what I said about uh, Simon Ekwa, it should be, you know, I believe that um, just personally, I believe people should be able to always uh, work together for for the, for the, you know, for the greater, uh, the greater good, you know. So um, they should be able to maybe try and... Um, I, I don't believe, I still don't believe that it's, uh, it has nothing to do with money. Money is involved, obviously, but uh, I don't think that the major concern is money. <clears throat> but, um, and also about, about Peter Obi, um, <clears throat> I think that he should be able to, uh, 
uh, you know, form some kind of coalition with some politicians. And uh, within these six months of, uh, or these six or seven months of, uh, you know, before the election, they should be able to have done something, <clears throat> you know, on the ground level that will, um, you know, gather that kind of, uh, that will build on the momentum that he has right now. And um, <clears throat> I believe that, <clears throat> sorry, I believe that anything is possible, you know. So uh, that's it. Anything is possible. APC was not the giant party. It was a uh, coalitions, you know, parties that came together and made it what it is today. And if we are talking about change, then uh, someone is moving in the direction of change. I think it should be a welcome idea. And if someone has talked, kicked against delegates, uh, whatever, I'm sure if whatever party Peter Obi is becomes a major force in the country, uh, they won't have these issues of uh, delegates uh, being uh, bribed and put in a hotel room for voting and all that, you know. So I believe that everything will go well. And, um, you know, G, yeah, I've spoken about the agitation, but I think I should just finalize by saying <clears throat> that, uh, you know, uh, there's a lot, the agitation is there. It is, uh, it, is, uh, it is genuine. It's a genuine agitation for a lot of people. So I think it's disrespectful for some, for some of us sometimes to come and um, try to make it look like, uh, you know, it's just money, money. It's, it's a bit uh, somewhat disparaging, you know, for people to just uh, say that for something that people, over 3 million people uh, lo lost, you know, was, you know, was uh, senselessly, uh, 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 um, should I say, murdered, you know, in the name of war. So, and uh, you cannot just disparage that as a, as a, as a, a, a money, whatever activity, you know? So, and people know that, people know, know it. If you're talking about donations, it's always part of it. Um, so, Biafran agitation is not something that started, uh, even it has been there even before Namdikam himself was born. So, I think that they should just do their best to make sure that, um, they distance themselves that they, they've been doing that they should continue and even intensify it distance themselves a lot you know very well from this uh, uh from any kind of um, criminal uh, groups that are trying to 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 you know to infiltrate that space you know so they've been doing a great work in doing that they should continue and uh, make sure that there is no form of uh, I'm never an advocate for violence. I don't believe in violence uh, for any, to achieve any um, objective, you know, because when there's uh, violence involved, the narrative can be easily changed, you know, so we have to be smart, we have to be careful and uh, make sure that everything still continues peaceful and uh, no violence and no coercion. So at the end of the day, please let us continue to let us, uh, you know, thumb, uh, let us, you know, like, share, subscribe, and all that. Then, uh, yeah, everybody, um, you know, love yourself, love your neighbors, love your. You know. Look at this guy. He's not an Oscar. You are not. You are not getting an Oscar now. What are you doing? What? Eh? Yeah, we love your neighbors. I, I want to thank my mother. I want to thank God. It was, was, was thank you, thank you, CBD. What are okay. you doing, man? Oh, all right, thank you, CBD. So uh, let's go on then to some tech who's come out to delight us with facts. So some tech, I mean, you've been watching from the background, so you know the process. We're taking closing remarks now, some tech. Yeah, um, it's time for our bedtime. It's past 2 a.m. here in Nigeria. So oh, are you in Nigeria? Oh, just... brilliant. It's just past 2 a.m. here too. Yeah, I'm in Nigeria. Um it's been long we heard from you you've, you've not you've not activated uh plan b <laughs> we are trying to sir. okay <laughs> it's been long we heard from movie um plenty water we hope to see uh them back on the platform i think plenty water was the one that brought me to this platform like they i heard about his um discussion with uh pa Jale Koko during the answers period i think that was when i joined the platform uh, Ajale Koko oh, has two, uh, sorry, Ajale Koko has two nemesis on this platform. One is Abdul Mumuni, who attacks him from Saudi Arabia. And uh, the second one is uh, Plenty Water, who just Plenty likes water. to, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, yes. 
So I wish to see them back on the platform and I wish everyone good night rest and um have a blissful day ahead tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Oh, oh, all right, thank you. Really, really nice. Good to hear from you, uh, Somtech, and hopefully we hear more from you in the course of our uh, days to come. So thank you, Somtech. So from Somtech, we're going to Thomas, who rejoins us just in time to give us his closing remarks. Thomas, to you. Thomas. All right, I think we've lost Thomas. So from Thomas, we're going to Tony. Tony, uh, your closing remarks. Oh, okay, thank you, sir. You know, uh, thank you one more time. You know, I should go with my, my brother, you know, Sontek, for your sacrifice, you know, to our country. And then, uh, I'm, you know, I hope that you have you have uh, led to sleep now. Uh, you know, I really share your pain there. And then uh, it's a pity that, uh, you, know, our, you know, there is no infrastructure in our country. That is why you guys have to suffer in the, uh, you know, in the election, uh, you, know, uh, you know, venue, you know. So very sorry for that. Eh? Then to that woman, that woman from the north, that woman was the strongest bidder, you know, it was the highest bidder. So we don't have to sing praises that uh, they are starting from wherever, you know, that was the highest bidder, you know, for beating everybody who is very credible guy and the other guys there. So that means it's just like uh, Sadiq uh, Farouk who has, who has looted our money and then uh, can win, uh, you know, an election at any, you know, you know, you know, at any time. So we don't have to sing praises. There's nothing happening there at all. Somebody is coming to outspend her in the in the general election. So then, uh, uh, you know, that that uh, that uh, that uh, we have to be suffering like this to vote is just too strange to me because uh, in the place where I live, I don't want to be saying it every time. The people, this, this, the, you know, these white people, when they are voting, you don't know. People just, you, the local government office where I, I usually vote, just go there on Sunday or on Saturday, go there, go into the room, put your dish in and get off, not, not lining up, not queuing up. And then the police will be watching. Everybody, will be, I mean, it's when are we going to get our ass together to be able to move alongside with the rest of the world? That's where you know you go to Uganda, the same problem. In Kenya, the same problem. You know, you go to the Congo, people are dying because of elections. So this is we are. So we need to rethink, sir. So that's it, sir. Good night, sir. All right, thank you, Tony. So so that was Tony in his own uh, unique and inimitable uh, way. So there's no two Tonys, and are we saying? No, or thank God. So that's Tony, though. So that's Tony. So as ever, anytime it's around, the final word goes to know that person, the mighty Ajan Le Koko. Ajan Le Koko, the final word. Uh, thank you, Wama. I want to thank everybody that came in the platform today for your contribution. I want to thank uh, particularly our friend from Nigeria, Suntech. Uh, I believe that guy must be spending a lot of money to, um, for data uh, to be on the show. So thank you so much for your sacrifice. And I uh, thank you for uh, the service you have done for the nation, uh, giving your um, NYC uh, days. Uh, other than that, let me thank as well our listeners around the world for listening. Um, please, if you have not liked, uh, please do that right now because when you uh, put on the all the terms of, uh, that's going to affect the YouTube algorithm of the uh, platform. We want uh, our discussion here and uh, the, the coins and everything is saying here. The go far to every part of the world here, Nigeria, here, and uh, um, our contribution maybe we could bear also to um, talk to our people back home to vote right this time. We cannot uh, allow that country to continue to go down. The two political parties. Uh, the biggest political parties are the claim, APC and PDP, uh, run down that country. The country is dying, is bleeding, and dying, dying everything. So, what do we have to do? What I've been saying here is that um, it is good for our people to go their regional way, let the Yoruba party. The bad countries, or let me say, um, 
Um, Southwest have their own strong party. Let the Southeast, let other parts of Nigeria, and we give people that have their own strong party. So each party at our regional base can represent the interests of us. And then we can then um, run a coalition government at the national level. Um, but, you know, for one person to lead a, a corrupt party and now searching for another party and then talking us about crazy why it's leaving that, you know, that shows uh, the political naivety of that person. Now we're planning to put our beat for those of you that have been grabbing this this morning, I still stand by my point. We could not we knew well that that space, that political party represents corruption. That that political party does not mean well for Nigerian people. Why did he go and dine and wine with them? You cannot dine and wine with devil and think that you cannot get um blessings from them. No. Devil will hit you hard when it's time to hit you. So I'm surprised you could not see it ahead of time. It shows how political naive it is. A body bit leaving PDP to Afghan, I give praise to him because I believe he is a local man, he's contesting for a local election, and his people, he must have consulted with his people before he joined there. He joined Afghan. So he is going to Abga is taking is taking in is taking it's it's is is strengthening the power of Abga because it has a political base is taking to Abga. So that is a commendable effort and I believe if other strong politicians in the East can go to Abga, let them start showing their strength from there and then they can build a very strong political party and other part, part of nigeria will come to them and negotiate with them if they need their vote not this big corrupt party i don't stand for them so i, I commend abaridi for what he did he's a smart politician he's done well for himself and his people i've got to present evil people evil interests and he's threatening the interest of the evil by joining Habka is a good man. So, but somebody that is in the national stage, you didn't consult with your people, you didn't consult with anybody, you say you are jumping from one party, you know, that's not the way to do it. So, uh, other than that, let me thank uh, our people behind the scene um, that have been chatting uh, since the beginning to this time. You are the strength of the platform. I commend you guys. All your contributions are quite meaningful to this platform. You are all doing the best thing you know to do. So keep keep on doing it at your bed. Come back tomorrow and let's log it up and do it again. And to one man, the driver of the platform, I give a great kudos to you. Doing a great job. The job is doing, it's spreading. The, 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 the effort is going around the world. And Daniel Koko, are you seeing the numbers recently? It's quite, it's quite impressive. <laughs> uh, from where we were coming from, or it's not where we want to be, but the numbers in the last two weeks or so is just. The, you, you know, there was one that we got nearly twenty-five thousand uh, views, when we usually get just about two thousand. Three days ago, yeah, I think I saw nine point five views. Yes, and another one about ten thousand. So, and all you see why now we are pushing those that like. You know, the, the, the product is good enough, but we yeah. can't reach. If, if we get, if somebody listens once, they will keep coming back. But oh, to yes. get the yes, you know, yes. yeah. So you, you got to you got to keep pushing for that line. Mm -hmm. That is the only way to do it. Other platform, they begging for like like. Yes, like. I, I I just thought people would know to do the right thing, but uh, it looks as though you you have to push them. So. No, you have to yeah. push people because sometimes mm -hmm. some people. While they're enjoying the, the program, they don't even, they just keep flowing like that. They won't even remember to click. But when you push, when you ask them to do it, when you urge them to do it, they will say, oh, I've not liked. Okay, let me like. So you have to keep pushing intermittently while the 
session is on. That is the best solution. That's what we you need to to be doing. So it's quite impressive. I, I, I'm 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 happy for you, one man. You, you are doing a great job. No, it's all they they come here because of you. So it's all it's all down to you. I'm their I'm their annoyance. I'm their annoying voice. They just come here. They tolerate me so that they can hear you. So that's it. Uh, but but uh, thank you, Jale Koko. So good. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, always good to hear from you, Ajan Lekoko. Yeah. So, 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 so that was Ajan Lekoko who who runs it off in the in the manner only he can. So that was Ajan Lekoko, and uh, and that has been the session. So, as I was just saying with Ajan Lekoko, we're starting to see the impact of your like buttons, and I'm sure those those of you who come here regularly, you will be seeing the impact of your like buttons too. So when I'm pushing, it's just not. I, I just don't want to prick to prick at you to needle at you. Is actually something that uh, has a meaning. So you click on the like button and leave it to Ajande Koko and I to do the rest. So you bring them in and we'll hold them down. So this is essentially what it means. So by clicking on the like and subscribe, then YouTube will say, oh, there's a lot of engagement with that space. So let us recommend it to people who like that sort of space. So as they recommend it to people who like that sort of space, so, so some of them out of curiosity, will click on it, and as soon as they come in, I mean, just like you came in and you couldn't leave, they will come in and can't leave, and then it ratchets up and it ratchets up, and by the time we get to the throes of the real election, we're so potent of a voice that we cannot be ignored. It's meant to have an impact, and that impact is entirely down to you, just that click of two lousy, two lousy buttons. So don't be a yam head. Because which a lot of you are, I know a lot of you are yam heads, but suspend so being a yam head for a moment and do as Ajan Lekoko directed and click on the like and subscribe button. Uh, uh, so, so yes, uh, <laughs> the usual rebels in the comment section. So, 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 so that's it. So, uh, just in the tradition of Ajan Lekoko, let's just run through a few names uh, just to acknowledge to marry the comment section with the on screen space so that we live as one big happy family. So British victim will see you, who was a bit rascally today and had to put, be put on a five-minute timeout. Somebody that is never rascally, the first lady of the platform, bunks more. So bunks more, but somebody now chasing her title hard, the uh, person now that is consistently with us, the Irene World. So the Irene World and bunks more, we see you both uh, are ladies. And we have Chia Maka here as well. So that then tells us that we have a good complement of female following, but sadly not on the screen. Uh, BI is always encouraging that you should come and join her. So please come and come and join. You see that we are, you know, we are not, we don't bite, you know, unless you want us to. But then, you know, so just come on board. We, we want more female voices, and we want northern voices as well. This is what these are the two things really that's, uh, that that has been befuddling somewhat. We don't get enough northern voices. We barely get northern voices. If Black League doesn't turn up, then we don't get a northern voice. And the north is meant to be the vast population of Nigeria. So where are they? Where a Nigerian platform is taking place. And we are all gathered here. We have from the south-south, we have a good complement from the south, the south southeast. The southwest is represented. But where is the north? Where is the north? So we want northern voices on the platform so that we can counterbalance, we can have this family meeting and trash it out. So how can we have a family meeting when one of the key members of the family is meeting? So it's missing. So we need a northern, uh, we need a good, not just a northern voice, but we need a compliment. Also, uh, uh, Tara, Laraba and Aisha 2 and Aisha 3 or Aisha 4, whichever Aisha you are, come on board and... Uh, Musiliu or whatever, I don't think they bear Musiliu. I think it's the Yorubas that bear Musiliu. So Mukhtar and uh, Bukhtar and whatever the tasks that, that there are, co come on board and come share your thoughts. So all of you are needed and welcome. Emmanuel Ayan, we see you. Medoman, a regular stable. Oga, but is he the master? We see you, Oga. Uh, fourth of many, we see you. Uh, let's just see about maybe three more. And then we round it off and call it a day. So Adeniyi uh, Olu Olu Naga. That seems to be a new name to conjure with. So good to have you on board. African descent dis discussion. So have you done your DNA test? This is a, this seems to be the fashion on YouTube now. 
people doing their DNA tests, especially the black diasporans, they will say, oh, uh, um, a 10 percent Bantu and all this kind of nonsense that they do on that space. Oh, uh, two percent Nigerian and all this, you know, this is what they do, their uh, ancestry and, and I or something. So, Chamaka, I think we have, may have mentioned Chamaka already. So, good to see you twice then, Chamaka, keeping it 100. Uh, uh, ask Google, who never tells us the question to ask, Jaja Boise of uh, Opobo. Uh, and on and on it goes. So, so the good usual compliments, but we need even more compliments so that we have a, a fully rounded delivery. So Tarila Lloyd, that's quite a name actually. That sounds like a quick name to me, Tarila Lloyd. So I will bet my last penny that that, is, uh, that name is from the creeks. All these are uh, Sapele water people or Gogoro drinkers. So so are you an Ogogoro drinker because uh, you come from the Ogogoro region? So from the Ogogoro region, uh, uh, we see you, uh, ka uh, Kangiwa. So Kangiwa, good to have you. And we see Bethel uh, Anonihu. Bethel Anonihu. So we see you, Bethel. So good to have you, one and all. Uh, yeah, it came uh, chewed. So it came chewed. So the usual compliments of our... Uh, um, uh, Peter will be supporters, and people are telling us he cannot win an election. If the election was taking place on this platform, Peter Obi will win it hands down. So that has been the session, and that has been me. The conversation does not stop, though. The session comes to an end, but the conversation does not stop. It goes on never ending in the comment section. So I'll leave you here. Carry the conversation within the comment section, but here, I say, peace.